Yeah, that looks fine. Hi, gamers. How's it going? Do I have... Yeah, I've got Otobi over there. It's a, it's not quite the right aspect ratio, though. I think, uh... There we go. Now that's good. How's everybody doing? You guys doing all right? Is anybody here? Oh, hey, Xaver. Xaver's mad. Why are you mad? Because <laughs> I'm streaming? Because the haircut... Straw Hat noticed the haircut. I missed the pub sub. Pub sub's on sale for, like, another day or two, I think. I don't know. I'm going to have to check that Shibia tweet. Oh, you 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 were right next to the public. Saw the tweet later. Okay. Yeah, uh, Ryan Secrets was also upset for the exact same reason. Anyways, we should punch back to this cam. Wrong. Base cam. We're playing Otogi. Uh, please enjoy its interlaced video. It's an hour away. You know, sometimes it's worth it. <laughs> Honestly! <laughs> Just need, need the pub set. Uh, yes, I did get a haircut. Um, my barber's vaccinated, and he operates out of a very small hole in the wall, and it is a solo barber. So no one was there for almost all of my haircut, and he was vaccinated. So... There you go. Yeah, it was pretty nice. It was very convenient. It worked out great. Oh, yeah, Bob's here, too. I guess yes. I should have announced that. <laughs> People thought it was a solo stream that I framed for you, and you just <laughs> it would never show up. That, that'd be kind of weird. Someday. He's like, yeah, no, Dan will play Otoki alone. I that, mean. With, with the camera set up for two people. That that would just be the most Bob isn't here, outline, red circle, <laughs> YouTube thumbnail moment. <laughs> What's missing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we got some cool, like, indie, small, obscure, retro Xbox games, like, um, uh, never heard of these. Okay. Where'd you find those? Oh, hey, there's, there's, there's uh, well, okay, and, <laughs> wait, that's, that's the 360. That's 360. not even the original. Oops. <laughs> okay, well. But we also have other games we've already riffed to the hard drive, thank god. Oh yes, there are yes. quite a few. Yeah. One we, thing we didn't get was a uh, Red Ninja, which I really want to check out. Oh yeah, we're gonna we we should check that out sometime. Um Sadly that was the 360 version of Project 8. We don't get to check out. I have that shipping. Just like I have Crimson C one and two shipping. <laughs> and something else stupid. That I can't remember. Oh, it was Dynasty Warriors 5 Empires for the 360 and Dynasty Warriors 5 Normal for the Xbox Original. Yeah, I didn't even know that the Dynasty Warriors games came to original Xbox. I knew yeah. about that 360 one. I think that's one. the only one. Yeah, I'm probably, very, I'm probably very excited to see it, honestly. Huge, huge Dynasty Warriors fan. <laughs> All right, I guess I should start playing. Sure. Uh, should... Tanglefish, I actually beat Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 last night and didn't see that exclusive level, so you know, maybe we'll just pick up with that save file and I'll do the extra couple things to get that. I think I should just load it. Like, it'll be past first. I level. don't think Let's... anyone will miss the... Like, there's not much of an intro. Not really. It's you a FromSoft just... game. Yeah, you kind of just are awakened. Yeah, and, and the stuff they say to you is pretty funny in that vague Dark Souls-esque way. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, DeVos Southway. We appreciate the Prime subscription. It really, really helps out. Yes. It may not be subtober, September, but you can go ahead and sub now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, Dan, hope you're feeling better and have an easier time with the burnout. I think we're now past the point where it's a struggle. <laughs> okay. I think. We'll see. I don't know. I'm house hunting. That's to a... rent. And for some reason, our region is so screwed when it comes to that. So I'm stressing Men out because of that. But thank you. The subs help with this. Men shall pass. <laughs> oh my God! DTB Baron pass. gifting multiple Leave subs, one of which to Kirby Curmudgeon. Once. His mind is lost. He cannot be reasoned with. His loyalty is admirable, but he is no longer himself. I cut Michael, <laughs> you must grant death to this poor and foolish old Thank man. you, Admiral Comic, for the $5 donation. <laughs> to let him go uh, but yeah, how's it going, everybody? Only 
really like that. Just like you must connect death to this old man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously, if he lives any longer, you know, it'll just be sad. So kill the hell out of him. I think these models look pretty good. Nunchai yeah, no, pass. it's impressive looking. There's, there's definitely enough Xbox original games that people don't talk about enough where we could do another night like this between Red Ninja and um, Gun Valkyrie. Yes. Yeah, so like I, there, there are many I'm very interested in. This is Otogi 1. We do also have two installed. Yes. None shall pass. None shall pass. Two runs a lot worse, but there's things I like about it. Like you get the multiple characters, which is cool. Like mm -hmm. in this one, uh, Otogi or None shall pass. Raiko, that's his name, <laughs> has uh, just None multiple pass. weapons. Yeah, yeah, I just keep saying that. Shall pass. None shall uh, pass. Dan, uh, uh, sorry, go ahead. Go in, ahead. in two, each weapon is a different character. Is, I think in either way you do it. That is pretty neat. I, I do like that. I like games where you have multiple characters. Tenchu, uh, the one we'll be playing tonight, uh, Return from Darkness. Wouldn't it be as appealing to me if, you know, it was just Ricky Maru with multiple weapons? That's not... Right. Not the best. Not the best. Um, yeah, Red Ninja was also on the PS2. It, to be fair. It ran really bad on the PS2. Really, so my, really bad. My hope is that it runs better on the Xbox. Because I wanted to play that game, but I rented it from Gamefly back then. And it's like, I, this is on play. I believe it was one of the first games to use his axe. Yes. It, that, and, and, and God knows, God pass. knows Pentium would be a much better fit yeah. for that than the PS2's Emotion Engine. Um, thank you all for the hype. Oh my God, where are we at? Yeah, what kind I, of train we got guys, going? Level two, level nice. two is complete. Thank you so much. Um, every time I've had someone else's stream, I, I feel blessed pass. thinking about how 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 well we do when it comes to hype trains. <laughs> you know, right? Like you're all so amazing. <laughs> Honestly, None shall pass. I I just I'm just like we get crazy huge support from our community. These numbers don't make any fucking sense. <laughs> How is this my full time job? None again? shall pass. Oh, uh, this pass. is none shall pass the game. Someone in chat was asking if this was Otoki. <laughs> <laughs> Not every level it features none someone saying pass. none shall pass every couple seconds, but you know, <laughs> luckily this one does. Could you imagine though? <laughs> It's like if the end of every level in Tenchu 3 had an old man grope you because he was blindfolded and thought you were a mistress. Jesus. Every single one. And Ricky Maru's like, this is getting old hat. I like my, my Ricky Maru is Ricky Maru if he was in a boomer shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, that seems a lot like Ricky Maru in 3. Yes, he does have that energy, but there was a certain gruff whiteness I brought to it that... I felt the like really kicked it into that mode. Um, of course people would want to support you. Have you seen these emotes? Ah! Speaking of which, Bob. What's up? I had a new Shark. idea for an emote. Oh no. See, whoops, whoops, whoops. it's Banny, right? Okay. But, it, but she's wearing a mask. <laughs> and it's a Bane mask. And we call it Baney. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Axel Diamond. You've crystallized Banny in one sentence, but can I pass? Excited Banny face. None <laughs> shall pass. I'm like, Banny, you can't come in. Pa, pa, pa. Banny. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> Banny, no. None shall pass. Okay, here we go. That's true, Evil Lucario. I can uh, change the prefix on emotes, but then I got to a point where I was just like, None shall pass. What would I change it to? Whoa, whoa, he blew up the bridge I was gonna use. It's not fair. Baby is very powerful. I like your repeated upper pass. attacks to slightly and slowly go upward. Yes. I like, you can look at this and see Dark Souls environment art, <laughs> or Demon Souls, I guess, would be probably closer because it's a little rougher. Right. Just the environment, the rock, you know, not the buildings. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't get a whole lot of that. Yeah, you don't get that until Sekiro. Very Japanese, right. Fools. Why would they not listen to him? Oh, that didn't go well. Master, were you watching me from afar? Is it really a special cutscene for dying? Maybe you were supposed to. I don't think I'm so. Saying, with that fade to black, yeah, that was like, with that fade to black, no way. Um, It's fucked up that Capcom didn't put the Genma Onimusha stuff in the HD re-release. Re 
Yeah, uh, yes. that would have been preferable for sure. I'm sure it's one of those things where just porting the original was hard enough. The working content built for a different version of it would have not been easy. But And I'm I sure think... they lost all the code. Right. that's how it always works. Right. Which is so sad. Right. Is is the is the is the Onimusha PS2 like HD version on anything but PlayStation 4? Because I'm starting to think that's just an emulator. That's on Xbox. Is it? Pretty sure. Okay. Okay. The HD version has different music too, huh? Oh shit! Is that a long Banny with shades? The shades match up pretty well. They do seem a bit large for Banny though. I don't mm. know. No, they're you just kind of like. Sticking Defeat off. Defeat the immortal high. It's on Switch as well. Say, okay. Okay. All right. Defeat All right. the. Back to the regular sword. I think say. that a lot of what went wrong there is I brought that, that weapon I hadn't used much. Mm -hmm. It was weaker. None shall pass. None shall pass. So will we see Xbox Leave Classic Outlaw Golf? No. I'm it trying to think if that's the lost. one that Jamin Kessler got to start on. J Jamin Kessler, SPU Whisperer, um, who I follow on Twitter and doesn't go by his name on Twitter, um, who used to work at Q Games and now works at uh, Ice Team for Naughty Dog and Sony. Um, you must grant he death to he cut his start or one of his earliest in the industry projects was doing boob physics for an Xbox original golf game. Yeah, that's I was probably like, it. <laughs> what? Oh hey, nice. None that hype train pass. succeeded. Thank you all very much for the hype train. Enjoy the emote. What did we get to? Uh, we got hype train too. We got nice. seven subs, which is not None fine, shall pass. right? Nuns shall pass. Okay. Well, you know, Even you gotta have standards. He resists. <laughs> Plano Togi is like going back and listening to your favorite rock band's scene. first album they the recorded in their mom's basement. Years ago. <laughs> I don't know. I don't it's know. Too much different quality watching what they currently put out. I so. mean, Evergrace is before this, so I feel like if anything should be that, it should be that. You know? Yeah. But that, that somehow that seems like it more has its shit together than Otogi. Yeah, the Otogi's a, a janky mess by like, I like the insanity of this. Yeah, you fly up for because you have infinite dashing. <laughs> right. Um, Zutro gifted a sub to Sage Water Dragon. Sage, please enjoy the band. Um, I'm going to scroll back because there was a story about real estate. None shall pass. Dun, 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 dun. Dan, a mold fools. condemned two bedroom Why down the street from a mass murder him? sold for $600,000 in cash a town over from me. Goes it's stupid everywhere. That's not true. I've been looking at real Why estate in states at this point. And yeah, no, we are in definitely one of the worst areas in existence. It's pretty bad. Fools. I literally, I went to uh, Publix, my old job, to, him? to fill our water jugs and um, get pups up. Ran to old coworker. He's fools. leaving there. He's going Why to Knoxville, and he's like, "Yeah, I was looking. Him. You know, it's just unreasonably expensive around here. They don't want people to live here." And I'm like, "Yeah, no, no." Imperial fools. And they, people who want Why to rent, they they, they want them to pay insane him. amounts because they're military. For people who are unaware of our situation, we're living right next to a military Those base and a resort fools. area. So it's considered like a place that people him? going to the military retire to, right? As well as the people who have absurd Perhaps amounts of money from getting to come to vacation. Yeah, loyalty. yeah, comes to vacation at and are on like contract work that gets them paid way more than the, uh, the average human. Yes. Uh, so the cost of living is absolutely insane here. It's uh, Why would they not it's really quite him? nuts. Um, also, the listings they're doing for houses is pissing literally everyone I know off who looks at it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Velo TV. We appreciate it. Oh, we're one time away to our goal. Nice. Yes. Gotta get those followers. I if mean, you haven't hit the follow fools. button, yes, please. If please somehow do. you ended up here in the first. Oh, no, I forgot to hit the time up button. Uh oh. Perhaps That's okay. I gotta. My master I gotta will see my loyalty okay. and return. None shall pass. There we go. Forty. Lord Mission. What a nice program Why these people made for me to use I for no free. Longer at your side. <laughs> I think the roughest, one of the roughest things about the Togi is the camera. Is trapped really bad. In a nightmare. It's that it's invert. 
This is... Yeah, and there's no way to fix it. Yeah. This is a very... Is this a dream? <laughs> or is this it is a very di Dark Souls. Does <gasps> good or evil truly exist? It's really weird to watch the entire world fall in love with FromSoft when I had been aware of their exact kinks and tropes and everything for so much longer. Yeah, no, it was very strange. And then I see stuff on Twitter like, oh man, look at look at people's reaction to the demo for Demon's Souls that came out, and then that game was amazing. And it's like, was like that, no, that, that, everybody's reaction here is completely reasonable. I think it's, it's I it's, think it's valid. It's um, completely clunky. Like those people who played it first in those demo stages were totally right on what the game is. Just eventually they liked it anyway. Right. I've been here <laughs> I've been here for like a minute and that nun shall class pass clip is already grading. Well, luckily that man's dead. Yes, we killed him. He, no he more. Hopefully we'll not come back. Uh we Evil Lucario asks if we're gonna have we played the adventures of Cooker Cookie and Cream on PS2. I'm trying to remember. I don't think we have. It sounds really familiar. I might have played it on my own time way back then. Yeah. Mm. This menu makes me want to play Toho. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, you shark, for hosting. I always appreciate people hosting us. You never know when someone's just gonna stumble into your stream, assuming you're live, and then see our stream, and then maybe give it a chance. I don't know. Right. I always try to make sure I'm hosting someone. There are two people I auto-host, and then whenever they're not live, if I'm over on Twitch, I try to see host someone. Are you making good use of black and white buttons? Microsoft's greatest idea. Let's talk about that, okay? Uh-huh. We, ha we have a small controller. The Xbox small controller has them next to where your your thumb yeah, it's right, right here. is hanging over. It's not convenient. Um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Jesus. The Release triggers the turn you, of gold but also revert you. At its source. And if you don't want to spin, you have to use the black and white button. So I, on Tony Hawk on Xbox, I have to keep hitting that on Tony Hawk 3 and 4. Underground makes that get off your skateboard. And so there, there's no hope. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, that's rad. No, on face. No one knows, it's a mystery. The black and white buttons are a mystery. We must all find out, journey to the end of our lives to discover the meaning of black and white button. Release if only you used a chat controller like the Duke. We have the one Duke the that works on uh, the series and the one. Yes. We have the USB Duke. Um, that didn't have, you know, better you placement for the black and white buttons. No, it's also awkward in its own way. No, this is called sarcasm. <laughs> Long ago. In order to harness Those the are some power badass of the key of gold. Yes. The, the outfit for uh, Ry Ryko has always been one of my favorites. Very cool. The saucers of old formed it into the shape of tiny insects. Winzo Togi 3. That should be what Sekiro 2 is. These lovely insects <laughs> that would be delightful. And played through the old Well, you know, you can power so much destructibility with next-gen consoles. You can. It just However, makes sense. Yeah, that last level didn't show it off well, but a big part of this game is destroying literally everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed that last level wasn't really interested in that. Yeah, that last level was weird and didn't feel like it. No, it didn't. That felt different. In stone. And in the wood of trees. One sad thing about them not having memory cards for or traditional memory cards is so I didn't have to have one back in the day. So I don't have any of my old save data. Yeah, it's because I beat this game. Uh, you know, back around when it came out. Whenever I got, when I got my Xbox, mm -hmm. and I don't have any of that data. Well, you should have done the weirdo thing I did, where you traded everything except for the things you would want whenever you got it again. Right. But I didn't. I don't think I ever had a memory card. So. Right. But you would have to get that, transfer the saves, and then trade it all in. But 
you know. Yeah, no, I didn't. When you're, I, when you're 16. Yeah, you just like, I just need the money, man. I feel like he would have been 19, but because uh, Ninja Gaiden came out when we were 17. And Halo 2 came out just before we were 18. Exactly I assume you traded it in for a 360? No, I don't you just think traded so. It I think I just traded it in because wow. I was like, wow, they, they're done, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, was... yeah, they bailed, that real, they bailed on that real fast and no one was supporting it. Yeah. It would have been nice to see if um, Evergrace 2 came out on Xbox if it ran well. I kind of wish it was an Xbox game because it, it runs kind of rough on the uh, PS2. Yes. And I feel like this is a much more visually impressive game than that. So there's a chance that could have run well. Right. On the end. Yeah, we, I thought... Uh, was that Shin Megami Tensei 9, even though it's yeah. not the ninth at all? Yeah. Uh, I hear that game is completely terrible, so don't, don't go spending a lot of money for it. But Yeah, that one was supposed to be an MMO, and then they just chopped out parts to make it single player. Yeah, we were looking at some footage of it the other day. It was like, oh, wow. Exquisite. Delightful. So here I'm looking for those gold turns, but awesome. And look at all this destructibility. Yes. Have not Very impressive. enough to replenish the essence. It's called nine because of the nine alignments. But yeah, you choose uh, like your oh, they demon. Oh, they the alert. Oh, uh -oh. Sorry about that. This is the number one problem of using one setup for all the different types of content. Yeah. At some point in time, I need to start using Streamlabs OBS when we do the other thing we do with OBS, so that way I have to, I don't have to keep switching it back and forth. Right. But yeah, the uh, in Shin Megami Tensei Nine, like your your demon follows you around like Pokemon, and it looked incredibly jank a lot and just slide. For some reason, the Nekomata, which is like this cat lady, mm -hmm. she just normally stands and acts like a normal person in every other one. She's just crawling on all fours. <laughs> it looks really bad. That's fucking delightful. <laughs> So, uh, you know, we got to record that big thing to mention where we reflected on Star Fox Adventures six days after playing through the whole thing. Mm hmm That was, uh... <sighs> <laughs> dude's hair is okay. Yeah. Looks like, uh, Nariko. It's very next-gen. It's very next-gen. Yeah, it's working now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for testing for $5. I just found out my iPad 2 is supported for Apple Arcade, so right now those iPads' only purpose is being a Gigaboots rectangle. Huh. Oh. I use, use Streamlabs to record footage with my Elgato since Game Capture HD fucking sucks. I have to use other things for when we do locally recorded videos, and I think I need a new PC, and uh, good luck to me on that it's getting to the point guys where i might break down and buy a free belt if it has the processor i need in it but that will not be cheap at all and i will cry uh and all of this happening in the middle of me just trying to live indoors is its own fucking separate thing yeah i hit you once this <laughs> is why are we doing a cutscene <laughs> It's like the <laughs> boss of, uh... Is running up on him a good idea with all of that rubble there? I feel like he might trip. Don't worry, oh, it's not no. Cammon. He's Cannon. impaled! <laughs> this dude's pretty badass. I don't know how anyone could see this and not, like, see the demon souls in it, right? See the dark souls in it. Right. He's just never looked at it, I guess. <laughs> no one went back and looked at this after looking at that. Bye. I love you. <laughs> He's like, I'm too cool for this. He's like, my job here is done. You didn't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, he was the boss of a Star Fox adventure. The Skeller, the lizard man who hit once and then it ended. And that's true. You successfully hit that man twice. <laughs> and then it started to go. Just 
just get a collab with top 1% only hands creator Linus Tech Tips, Dan. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think, uh, Linus would reply to me on Twitter, let alone go across the That's not good. I refuse to watch an LT LTT video for a week after that cursed thumbnail. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I realized at some point it had been a month, and then two months, and then three months since I saw a single LTT video. I was like, wow, is this on me, or is the algorithm just not promoting him anymore? Uh, I watch Tech Linked all the time, though. I think Tech Link's uh, a useful thing. It's Tech News. <laughs> You actually want those? <laughs> yes. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Those pots were 2D sprites like an N64 game for a second. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, there are some really still, rough edges and you have so to cold. rotate the camera Keep around it a lot screen. to realize it's not just flat. Dan, just do an ad for Raid Shadow Legends. I think Raidy Shady stopped emailing people finally. <laughs> they tried to get us to do stuff for them multiple times. And, uh, as funny as that would have been, I ultimately just did it. Most recent video from TechLink, Xbox won the console war. Yeah, their titles are what they are to get people to click it. It's not great. They pay well. Eh. They the, used the, to. The, the number changed all the time, and also it went lower over time from what everyone's saying. It used to pay really well. Then it paid sort of well. And then it was like, uh... <laughs> I, I want to build a comically huge button that I can push to play ads on Twitch. <gasps> yeah. It just has a sign that says pay the Cross rent. the lake with <laughs> tortured souls and purify the demon that lives on Lover's Rock. Yeah, I have no idea if the Evergrace composer worked on this. Yeah, who knows? I kind of doubt it. It seems more of a sane soundtrack. It, it's hard to follow him when he moves outside of his this world. Is Genre music? The <laughs> yes. Souls of the dead. Their pain mixes with the dark waters and saps magic power. See this? This is cool shit on Xbox. This is what it used to feel like to have a weird third person in the race. <laughs> you must they used to have really weird, obscure games water for too long. that were unique to their platform that you could go try there and it would be like, wow, look at this. So basically buy a Stream Deck Mini and hide it in, and put it inside of a button. Oh, that's so wasteful. <laughs> Yeah, it is Jesus. Do not cross the bridges without the moon's protection. Sometimes it is best simply to wait patiently. Remember when Xbox had neat looking exclusives? Yeah, and they also had like the best version of multi-plat games by a significant amount. Like guys, if we booted Soul Calibur 2, you'd all lose it. It looks like an HD re-release. The only reason it you wouldn't trick you for that is it's 4x3 instead of 16x9, but it's 720p, so it looks really freaking sharp. Oh, is Sonic Hero 720p on an Xbox? Well, there you go. If we ever play it, that's yeah. where we're doing it. That's cool. Okay, it looks like Koto Hoshino uh, did work on Otogi 2 and Evergrace, but not unsure about this one. Huh. <laughs> this game feels like every movie when they have a character that's high and you see things from their perspective. Yeah, this is what Nathan Drake saw when he got drunk. <laughs> oh man, that water effect's real bad. I don't know what you're talking about. It's very cool. Uh, the distorting the plank out <laughs> into eternity? Yes. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, Dan, you have to be like me and go through the nightmare of trying to get Sonic Heroes PC port running on a modern OS. Let me let me tell you about me. Okay. 
I'm not gonna use a PC to play a game that's on a console unless there's a significant huge difference. Uh, last night, Dai Hime on Twitter had a nightmare trying to get his PS2 emulator to fucking work at all. On games, other people got it to work on just fine. Uh, today, uh, I'm watching Dino Please's uh, stream. Dino uh, raids a small streamer. I'm trying to remember his name. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Anyways, uh, and that guy was apparently using a PS3 emulator to play God of War, and it just crashed. God of War 2, it just hard crashed in the middle of the stream. He rebooted it and he lost progress, and I was like, I'm dying. Yeah, no, it's just too many, too many points of failure. Yeah. Music that bad. Like, so. Yeah, at the end of the day, I want PCs to be more like a tool. <laughs> you use it to do a thing and it does that thing well. Um, and stably and continues to do that. Uh, consoles feel like a tool, you know? Especially the older ones. The older ones feel like they are single function devices and they do that one thing well. Right. Um, PCs, there's so many different ways things can go wrong. Oh, thank you, Pat Rounds. That's very nice of you. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, my barber is vaccinated. And it's like a barber shop that's run by him. And that's it. And it's a hole in the wall. So it was pretty safe to go there and get a haircut. Because most of the time I was there, I was the only one there. People who went to large barber shops during the pandemic stressed me out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fair. I mean, that was, I remember when the pandemic was starting and I was still working at GameStop. Like the barber shop was still open there and people were still going in until like all, when I was just about to leave they finally it started slowing down it was ridiculous yeah that was like all throughout May or March, March. I may be a PC gamer primarily, but I have so many stories of downloading fan patches and hacks that are supposed to fix everything but never work for me I've only had that happen one or two times I gotta say, my favorite thing about PC gaming, though, is the unbridled performance you can potentially get out of things, and also all the hacks and stuff. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't even Where know what to you? say about that. Are you alive, or are you dead? But more importantly, how does your soul taste? Are you a Soul Calibur character? <laughs> I don't know, the line about how did your soul taste just reminds me of like a weirdo Soul Calibur character would like say Tira this. or something. Yeah, Tira, Tira would say something so like that. I feel like um, Astroth might have, you know, you <laughs> random characters. Oh, uh, okay. Sonic Hero says it's 720p on the box, but it only runs in 480p. It's uh, apparently a mistake. Uh huh. Some oh, Sue Sega. This game's actually published by Sega, isn't it? Yeah. Is it Togi 2? Uh-huh, I think so. <laughs> oh, the futility. Raiko. Attacking recklessly does not... Sonic Hero the Den of Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Study her more carefully. She must have a weakness. The souls of the weak have no flavor. <laughs> You must suffer more! Um... But yeah, I don't... I, I think the whole Game Pass on PC thing is really weird that it doesn't let you do hacks and edit any files. I think editing the any file is almost key to the PC experience, you know? Yeah, no, that's, so like having that many limitations, no like why is the PC game? Right, you like, and that's the thing that always more. warned me about that. <laughs> but yeah, no, them not understanding PVs, PC gaming at a deep level is nothing new. Yeah, that's been Microsoft's demo for ever. ever. Yeah. Like, I, I can't know. even think of a time it wasn't. I mean, yeah. Like, Games for games, Windows Live. Yeah, Games for Windows Live is, like, 13 years old, you know, if it were live. Yeah. At this point, it's been dead for almost 11, I think. Yeah, anyway. There was a release of Thief on the Xbox original. 
Also, I've never heard of the game Obscure. Uh, Super Fancom and Chad saying, uh, can't wait till you guys run uh, Dark Watch Thief Fusion Frenzy in Obscure. See, I didn't know. I didn't know. You know Thief oh, was, the you know, futility. On Xbox. That's cool. Yeah, that makes sense, though. Yeah, it does. It's very it's very PC-like. Okay, it's Thief 3. Thief 3 is a good game, as I recall. Hopefully that's true. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's been a while since I played it. Um, uh, so for Fancom, Thief got up to four. The reboot is the fourth one. I'm here to see Phantom Crash very hyped. Yes, that is going to be real good. So what's up with the follower role? Um, just people are watching and they would like to follow. <laughs> right? I'm like, what, what do you mean? It's to, to sort of reinforce people following because we would appreciate it because we do this regularly. That's it. I was only having a little fun. I'm, I'm fucking kidding. You this blood is real. It's a joke. I'm pranking you. Place. You told me not to let the spirits wander. Aimless. You're the good guy, right, Bob? Just like in Demon Souls. Um, <laughs> it's honestly a little bit more clear cut here. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> like, there's more story that happens. So, it's like, yeah, he's 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 trying to seal demons, but he's already dead himself. Okay. Very Demon Souls esque. <laughs> Thief 3 is, uh, it's better than 4. I tried to go back and play 4 on the PS5 because I'm like, it'll run great now. Oh, it's Cap 30. Oh, it looks really bad. Oh, this intro is so 7th gen. And then I put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Does repair actually mean upgrade? I'm not sure. The translation might be real bad because it's, it's, it's a ton of money to repair. I can't even afford it. Yeah. But the lady said good and evil might not even exist earlier. That's true. Thief 3 suffers from the Xbox's limited RAM. Same problem ruined Deus Ex Invisible War. Um, we could technically upgrade the RAM in this Xbox. I just didn't try. <laughs> I don't want to. Right. I don't want to ship this Xbox out to get modded when the whole point was to buy an Xbox that was pre-modded because we have so much to deal so with, with modders and stuff. Refuge. And use weakness as a shield. She's just, I was in the shop and she felt like just playing that on me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> a cemetery of sunken ships. Kill the restless spirit that resides deep within. We got, we got that stage from Uncharted 3, the, the sunken ship cemetery. A graveyard of ships scattered beneath the waves. This place is filled with the souls of the men who died here. Perhaps yeah, you can add more RAM, but it was designed for, you know, 32 megs. Um, some games actually run better like that. But you must be Ridge Racer 7 is really great. I was really happy that John Lundman was playing it, but then I thought about how it'll drive up the price, so then I was a little sad. <laughs> Somewhere in this sea is a demon made of living souls. The worst level in Uncharted 3. That is a tall fucking this order. <laughs> I remember when I first played it, it was my favorite just because it was so cool looking. <sighs> yeah, that's kind of where I'm sitting, where I'm like, you it's must an... take utmost care. If it didn't make the already messy tone of three already weirder mm -hmm. and seem like yet another whole cloth thing they made and shoved into the plot. And then you hear that's what they did and you go, yeah, no shit. Yeah, we just made things and then wrote the script around getting in between these different places. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. Man, that's Not a this... really bad idea. They figured that out, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's moving. This game is like if PS2 Shinobi took a shitload of ambience. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's fair. Uncharted 3 is the most disjointed game I think I've ever played. I'm trying to think of something that would top it. I'm sure there's something. I mean, we've played lots of really disjointed messes here, like yes. Star Fox last week. Yeah, Star Fox last week was a little disjointed. It wasn't Uncharted 3 disjointed, but it, it, I think its claim to fame is its. Uh, 
frugal this. Yes. With asset development <laughs> and mirror rooms. Yeah, I guess Battletoads is the most disjointed game we've played. Just because Battletoads changes its genre seven times before you beat the game and it advertises itself as a beat em up, it stays that for approximately 40 minutes. Um, Best beat em up ever made. <laughs> some would say that because they're weird Xbox shills. I don't understand. I never understood people who would just die on a hill for a game that was patently not good mm -hmm. because it was exclusive to their platform. Yeah, no. Those people are bizarre creatures. Like, it's one thing to try and convince yourself something that you bought, spent money on, is good enough for you. It's another thing to go crazy and be and like, oh, this is, this is, is actually really amazing. Good, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about Haze. It's actually real neat. I watched the beginning of Star Fox to see if the ending made any sense. Didn't help at all. No. Oh, yeah, no, the only hint at that, like, even slightly, is, uh, like, what, four or five hours in? Where they had the guy show up. Yeah. And it's not much of a hint as it is introducing a character they're going to do a twist with. Yeah, and then he never comes back, so it doesn't even feel like they built that up enough for the no. twist to make sense. Absolutely not. How they're doing this fog looks really neat, but is actually terrible looking, but is kind of neat, <laughs> but is terrible looking. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a Toki one in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, we, we were just hanging out post podcast, trying to decompress, just chill. You know, after the real estate doom scrolling. Um, <laughs> I was like, I don't remember this. There's so much real estate to him scrolling. Well, see, okay, well, let me explain why you wouldn't remember any of this. So I'm sitting here, I'm playing Sony Hawk 3, and a little bit of Sony Hawk 4 to just chill. And as I'm doing this, and I'm like, man, Xbox used to have really cool shit. And I, I, I still feel in me. You know, it's still part of me, that excitement about the original Xbox with these games and this stuff it does that's really neat. Like, when you save on an Xbox, it's so much faster than on a GameCube or PS2 because it's to a hard drive. Unless it's Otogi 2. Unless it's that. Unless it's Otogi 2, please be excited. That game's save files are fucking huge. They they could be games unto themselves. Yes. I think they, I looked they, it up. Those games would not be allowed on Xbox Live at launch. Yes. <laughs> Xbox Live Arcade size limits are smaller than the save files for Otogi 2. What were they thinking? Anyways. But there's an identity there, and there's a cool mystique of unique games you can't get elsewhere, and there's that power profile, right? If the Series X actually was significantly more powerful than the PS5, mm -hmm. that would help develop an identity for it. Right. But it's not. And that's a shame. It'd be funny if the, they went super hard in on ray tracing. It's like, every game runs really bad, but... It's ray tracing. You couldn't force every game to be ray tracing. You would have no games. Um, be a very different situation. You're right, Dan. There would be no third party game. That's they true. have plenty of third party games. <laughs> There's a difference between their current situation where they have no unique games and what you're proposing, which is a situation where they have zero. Because <laughs> what, what would have come out by now that could have even had ray tracing? Gears Tactics? <laughs> third parties aren't making. I mean, Watch I guess Dogs. Watch Dogs got yeah. it patched. Yeah, I think that hit slightly after launch or something. I can't remember. I think it got there in time for the, the series launch. I think so. I can't remember. I remember it was super early on we saw that stuff. People were like seeing it on the series S and like, this is working? And then, and then you know, you, you look at Digital Foundry and I'm like, Digital Foundry, uh, I need you to check out this game for me. And they're like, please stop shooting us next gen as they get blown and riddled with bullets. <laughs> That was a very stressful time for everyone over there, and I'm glad we distanced ourselves enough from that. Right. Because oh. I felt bad for them. Hopefully the fanboys have settled down a little bit. I don't think they have, but I think the workload has, where it's like, hey, we have 30 videos we need to make right now. We can only make a few. Oof. And then they make the video, and then a patch comes out, and people insist to fix things. Yeah, because that's how everyone always works. Like, yeah, yeah. no, it's better now. 
Yeah, Nosebleed, you totally get it. Loaded my own CDs into Vice City on the Xbox to play on the radio station with Revelation. Yeah, I was pointing out custom soundtracks were on this thing. Yeah. A lot of people didn't realize that was a huge feature. I played Tony Hawk Underground completely with the Streets of Rage soundtrack. This <laughs> is... Like, uh -oh, it was uh -oh. real good. Streets of Rage 2. You broke my bow. It's not good. No, nah, it's cool. Just don't land. Or land. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think expect the bow to break. Yeah, I don't I don't think it expected you to kill him after he broke your bow. No. I think that's the part where it got surprised because it's just like, ha, I broke his bow, clearly he'll Oh. Well, I guess he wins this time. Saving map data. Yeah, the 360 also had custom soundtracks. I almost got a 360 that gen because of that, because that is a huge feature for me. I assumed Tony Hawks were gonna keep coming out. It's fucking insane they didn't. Activision yeah. is so stupid. All right, let's repair this sword and see what it does. I don't know what it did. <laughs> I think it raised that experience, Barb. I think I was already full. Did you remember to buy the remote for the Xbox? You can't watch DVDs without it. Uh, this Xbox can. It is modded. It has a mod chip. That's so dumb. That it was, is. Nickel was, and dime your consumers for basic features is really weird. It, it's been so consistent all these years. It's insane. Not really. 360, well, they they got live. Buy your wi wireless adapter. Buy That's your batteries. That's true. You did, buy... They didn't have your Wi-Fi integrated in 2005, but um, I don't... I'm trying to think of like, we don't have another console that launched in 2005 to show how practical that was then. I think the PSP has Wi-Fi, but that was, I think that's the only other thing that, no, the DS did too. So yeah, it should have been able to do Wi-Fi. Do we really want to add one more component to the bonfire that is the original 360 though? Jesus. That's the part where I'm just like, I don't know, maybe we the don't want them to. <laughs> Hey, Polite Canuck, Destroy how's it going? Destroy the giant tower to release the flow of water. This place, this place might look cool. Yeah, the HD DVD thing was just weird and not... Like, that doesn't feel like an integral part of what the 360 should have been. And we're all better off for them not doing it because that console would have cost easily 100 to 200 more. Yeah. And that, that technology didn't even exist when it first launched, did it? I think it would have just barely existed, but I'm not sure when HD DVD launched. I thought that was until a bit later. I mean, keep in mind, it's not like Blu-ray launched when the PS3 came out. True. And the 360's only a year earlier. Um, so I don't know. That shit I would have cared about back then, you know? But, but not enough to remember like, oh, HD DVD's a thing. Actually, now that I think about it, I know for a fact HD DVD was was out. Yeah. Yeah. Super not mainstream would have driven up the cost insanely. So this uh this area might look familiar to Dark Souls players. Why is that, Bob? It's like just a crystal cave. Yeah, with giant crystals. I don't I don't know. We no. Okay. <laughs> I hopefully I don't have to fight any crystal men. We'll see. RC says, why do these crystals look so much better than crystal caves? I know, right? Like, there's so many things in this. It's like, does this look better than even Dark Souls? I think it looks better than Demon Souls in a lot of ways. But, uh, this, this is, is indeed, indeed a mighty tower. Mighty tower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. But there isn't a scaleless <laughs> dragon checkmate, says Silvermane. <laughs> it will surely fall. Dude. Not very mighty if it's gonna fall. Oh, was that her cinnamon sound? Yes. Dude. This is really funny. You built a game around destruction, so this level is you knocking down these pillars to make it fall. That's really funny and cool. EP by EP wants to coach me and move into management and directorial role. role. That's awesome, play. Hell yeah, get that point. Right? Hell yeah. Tom and Advent says... Oh, wait. One moment. These are totally dunking off while I try to do this. <laughs> Let me see where this conversation starts and ends. 
not having an HDMI in your first release of console trying to push HD. I know HDMI probably existed in 2005. I'm reasonably certain it did, right? The weird thing is they built the entire back end of the GPU in analog. So for people who don't know, the HDMI ones apparently had to reconvert the analog into HD at a circuit level. It's fucking weird. Insanely weird. I thought that ding in voice was a donation. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just her noise. If she like rings a bell after she says things because she thinks she's cool, I guess. Um, people probably don't understand how health bars work. You know? No, they don't. They keep asking, and I just ignore them because I think that's counter to the the, the aesthetic and mood. Um, but sure, explain it, Bob. <laughs> sure. Uh, in the lower right, there are three orbs. I'm down to two orbs now, the green ones. Uh, you see that it drains. Yeah, when you like get hit. hit. And it'll recover that orb as long as it hasn't fully taken out. So you have a damage buffer that is a whole orb. Yes. Okay, so what's the meter inside of it that's purplish? Purple. Let's just I go think it. Purple. I think it's on magic meter. Jesus. Oh, okay. Jesus. Man, way too many of these dudes spawned. I just... really need to play that Ratchet 2016 at 60 frames per second. Yeah, no, I still haven't done that either. Maybe if we hit the end of all these Tony Hawk games. I, I freaking... I'd like to play it, but I, all those things hit Apple Arcade today, so I was like, I guess I'll play some of these in the time yeah, I have before this. For people who don't know, Fantasian, the, the seemingly last Hironobu Sakaguchi game. Yeah. Like, hit Apple Arcade today. So it's kind of nuts. I still need to play that. I downloaded it. And if that were the only thing, sure. I'd... But no, there's a new... No one's ready for this. Chat, okay. chat. I want to hear top five craziest things. Chat, just <laughs> fill this list. Top five craziest things you think could have released today on Apple Arcade. No one look it up. I'll be mad if you look it up. There are still... Oh, God damn it, Quick Six. Okay, Quick Six. Yeah. They already know. They knew the platinum. Did they know the two, the other one? Because there's one more than the platinum one, guys. That's true. There is one more. It's also just crazy and like how this happened. Jesus, stop hitting me. Oh, yeah. Mario Galaxy 2. But yeah, that weird platinum mobile game they haven't talked about in two years straight. Yeah, they, they announced it it's just so long ago out. and then just silence. I figured it was canceled. And yes, clap hands. The clap hands game. Yeah. Which looks better than the PS3 one by a lot. It's really upsetting. The art style is immaculate. PS3? PS4. Oh, you said three. I was like, my bad. The PS3 one looked pretty nice. I don't know. It's. I think it still looks better than that. Even even this though that one did look real nice. A mighty tower. Yeah. Oh. It, but if you destroy it's real frustrating. So is that is that a sign that we're not getting hot shots ever again? I think so. That, it will surely I want them to just port this to the PlayStation. Honestly, this? No, the uh, the the, <laughs> okay, the, the Apple clap Arcade hands. clap hands game. Yeah. yeah. Like all of these games need to get off the Apple Arcade exclusively. Like that's like they all have controller support. Hmm. And yeah, that to me implies they know. Right. Like if they're not working on it already, then I, I'd be surprised. I think each one of these are breaks so I'm another dude who can shoot me and stun lock me. But uh, I'm just gonna kind of power through this. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how I would play a sixth gen game. You know, they probably they probably designed this enemy type, and uh, I should probably stop it from hitting me. But what if I didn't, and that was actually smart? Yes. Um. There we go. Nicholas M. Ten says eight months subscribed huh how long till i reach platinum death cult status i think i think that's once you hit the year that's when you right that's what you have said will sakaguchi put out a game on console people will ever play or play ever again um yeah i think these games will inevitably leave apple arcade i think this is this i think apple arcade fills the same spot as uh as stadium you know but to be to be clear I was talking to Bob about it earlier, and I think I think Apple Arcade's a more real platform than Stadia. Just I'd rather I'd rather play a game on my phone than play Stadia, which is insane, right? Because my phone's not going to keep charging me monthly to well, I guess these games, but 
They're yes. free. They're not asking me to buy it and pay monthly to play the game, like stage. And they they uh they don't have info like just from being on the platform. Right. <laughs> did we ever upload the Last of Us two stream? I thought we did. You <laughs> let me know, right? I have it on my hard drive. <laughs> the key of water fills the shrine. Thanks to your bravery. So brave of me to run away from dudes while breaking Take a tower. Yes. Not sure if you guys noticed, but this game's pretty fucking cool. Uh, I don't have a NAS yet. I will need to get one eventually. Dan watches it privately to experience the powerful story over again. No. How can that be? Does it state you have negative input lag or something? They said they would invent that, but then they didn't because that's impossible. Weird, huh? So strange. It's weird. I can't believe a giant corporation lied about something that is easily provably false <laughs> and just got away with that. Oh man, a double swords. I can't afford it, but that'd be cool. <laughs> Apparently KZ uploaded his, but we never uploaded ours. Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I should be able to fix that. Every every weapon has like a little like uh drawing. Dan confirmed for Hank Hill. How? What did I miss in chat? <laughs> a holy graveyard of sorcerers. Expel the giant insect that has taken up residence within. Well, sounds like a boss fight. Yeah, I was gonna say, even though we're streaming it, this stuff looks really sharp and nice. I still think you can get Beyond almost this sea, quality out of like an OSSC and component cables. Capital. Magic flows from the bodies of great sorcerers, even in death. The Imperial Court buried its I high sell OLED and OLED accessories. <laughs> and they used their power to create the seal. You no, know, Dan, everything has to be on a subscription because apparently you can't even own your games under capitalism. Recently, I know, and everyone got really used to that. It's very bizarre. Everyone's really psyched graveyard. for it, like, especially clamoring for yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Fucking... <laughs> Go to the grave. It's like, oh man, and I'm excited to never own anything demon. again. Yeah. These people are sick. Yeah. They're mentally ill. Is this the final boss from Perfect Dark Zero? <laughs> it looks like it, right? I hate that that's an accurate assessment of what I'm looking at. At the end of that game, it should not look like that. You dare disturb me, worm. Ironic coming to you. I, I like when, basically, during the PS2 and Xbox age, we were almost guaranteed to get a dunk. It would be at varying degrees of bad or amazing. I know, right? It's I really miss those days. It's like, just give Once me a dub. I don't care how bad you think it is. Yeah, Evergrace was delightful. Right? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Hellfire. Uh, I was going to say that uh, Dante here would be calling this thing a worm, and he would get upset. It's like, I'm not a worm. Study the or a millipede, or a gigapede. Is enough. that what's the name of that enemy from Devil May Cry 3? Devil May Cry 3, the uh, boss. Mm. Is it gigapede? I swear, gigapede has shown up in something. It might before. be gigapede. I don't remember it because he's such a you know, he doesn't even feel like a real boss compared to the other characters. Yeah, because the other ones are characters and he's just that thing. Yeah, he's just in the room. He doesn't even talk. D Gigapede is the Devil May Cry 3 abomination. Good! Look at me! Pizza Knowing the name of an enemy, <laughs> Devil May Cry 3, I'm like, no. This is just, this is the real fan of this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Study your opponent and get shocked to death. A human once said that death is what makes all creatures equal. Okay. Uh, Okay. 
Well, thank you for your perspective on this, Mr. Centipede. <laughs> Beyond the but yeah, this whole house thing is stressful. Uh, so I thank everyone who supports the channel because who knows how much worse it would be if I had even less money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how do people live? And we all just looked around the room and shrug. Oh. Yeah, he just one shot me there. Yeah. Deal with this oh, guy. Oh no, we have Banny Pete's in chat. <laughs> <laughs> wait, that's not even proper. Oh wait, yeah, because it's gotta have legs everywhere. Update on my bro that skipped Gen Seven and Eight of gaming. He finished FF Seven R and wanted to try a new game. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about Star Ocean Five. I wish it weren't like that. I wish that we were a good game. And study the situation. Yeah, that is really unfortunate. Yes, they made a Star Ocean 5. They didn't even call it 5. It's like a integrity and faithfulness. 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 It's, uh, it's really bad. It's um, unreasonably bad. It's even worse than four, which is already rough. I wonder if I'm just supposed to hang around dodging his stuff until he stops being electrified. Maybe that'll happen. They want me to. They keep saying, "Be calm, observe." It. I try to do that, and it's like, "Oh, you got struck by light." <laughs> so I need to be moving and observe him. Which star oceans are good? Uh, two, three, and one. Yeah, so the, yeah, very scary. Yeah. Just, those are those are all solid in their own way. Yeah. I need to play four again because I know that it's it's super jank. Mm -hmm. But uh, some part of me is like, no, there's some part of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to our channel just becoming us playing through games like that. Right. Over multiple streams. Hey, four is actually decent, but just has some problems says Aqua no Kisaki. It's a little bit less than decent, I would say. But that's fine. Um, I think it's really funny that sometime after it came out, apparently the director, I was like, yeah, I, I talked about to my producer about wanting to make it a porn game. <laughs> but no, no, that, that couldn't happen. Whoa. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> Alphonse's best uh, subscribe for seven, the seven months, five months in a row. It says, hey, hello, Giga Boys. Love the podcast. Also, I have brain worms and now playing a Bioware game. Help me, Rahab. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, that's not our fault, though. That's all on feel. Yeah, that's on feel. Sorry for that. I, I would never recommend playing any Bioware game. I've played any of those Star Wars games before a Bioware game. <laughs> Fucking obviously. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm curious. so I'm, cursed. I'm also curious, uh, which Bioware game? I watch Field Bioware... I watch Field play Bio, Bioware games, so I don't have to, because math. There you go. <laughs> Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, no. At least according to Field, that was one of the more positive experiences. One hit is up with almost two orbs. Come mortal. Shoot Bing underscore EXE says, speaking of brain worms, I've been playing Days Gone. Since I have through PlayStation Plus to do a boy. Oh. You playing on a PS5 or a PS4? We might have to move on. <laughs> from to, from Otogi from 1 to Otogi 2? Sure. Okay. Just because, uh, oh man, I think this boss wants me to go grind or something. That's the only reasonable way. Either that or you're supposed to be eaten by him. Hmm, maybe. I didn't consider... Because keeps sweep, swooping directly on the play field at places where you could whoops, be with his mouth open. And all I keep thinking is, am I supposed to be eaten and then kill him from the inside out? <laughs> this is just Star Fox Adventure. 
Oh, that's cool. Congrats on the move, Vega Buster. Vega Buster just said recently, yesterday and today, I've officially moved in my new apartment. Super stoked. My body is evaporating as we speak, but I shall hold out to watch a little more of your lovely stream. Keep up the great. Yeah. 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 Hey, Dee, let us do the hard work of playing Otobi 1 and getting eaten by this monster while you sit there and chill. I was like, yeah, that's a di jingle to let us know you did it. No, that's you taking one or wrong name. Whoops. Uh, there is no crock pot for this stream. We just ate public chicken tender sub earlier, and, you know. Otomi is very cool, Beal. I'm sorry if you only got here recently, though. This boss yeah. is a real mystery boss. But not indicative of how the game normally is. Yeah. We had a couple normal levels. Yeah. Remain calm and study the situation carefully. Yeah, I'm terrified of moving, but, uh, you know, I'm not as terrified of moving as I am angry that uh, real estate's so bad. Put the pot, put the sub in the crock pot. <laughs> Pop sub soup. Maybe you're supposed to hit him? I mean, I tried I'm that a few times, but I also okay. took some okay. damage yeah. from that. But I, I think that's, it's gotta be that. It's gotta be like hitting him as he comes down. Cause he's not like letting up at all. Like there's no other parts of the pattern out there. So when does this guy get put into Nocturne? I actually would be. Okay, I guess I just wasn't direct enough. Like, yeah, I, but I now you're down to one orb, and I think he did that second orb from that. No, I think I... Okay. So, that happen. Yeah, I was no. like, luckily there is health pickups. Yeah, they are completely cruel. This is when FromSoft was still making uh, games that were more normal video games. Yeah. Yeah, I heard Bland sold terribly in Japan, like 2,100 copies, which is uh, unreal levels of not selling, considering it's on every platform. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's insane. To be fair, if they had hired someone to look at the game at any point, they could have told that. Yeah, no, anyone who plays that, like, I don't know how it got past any sort of phase where it got your review for release. Yeah. Okay, cool. He didn't do a whole lot. Great. Hey, thank God. I cut off the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Richardson also said. Sorry, Dan Bob Dixon, a completely different person. <laughs> totally different person. It says, I love you all, and I'll be in and out. Keep the channel warm, and I'll be back before you know it. <sighs> well, good luck. Yeah. yeah. There. It's our damn Bob. <laughs> Completely different person, obviously. I don't know why the text is speaking so far down here. So it's loud over here. <sighs> yeah. Good luck with the new job. We'll miss you. A lot. I'm sure Vox will too. <laughs> Danny Bob Rich uh <laughs> Din Bab Dotson. <laughs> oh man. I'm watching Fox try to beat another YouTuber at Little Samson. Oh okay. Yeah, I know. I she was competing in some thing and they didn't know what game ahead of them. Has Vox ever played Little Samson? I imagine that must be very hard. <laughs> she's never played Little Samson at all. She's got one. Great question. No idea. She's, <laughs> she's a pro gamer. She is a pro gamer. I'm actually going to be Vox on Vox's show this Sunday. So if you guys don't follow twitch.tv slash Voxandra, you can in order to see me as a guest on their show this Sunday. <laughs> oh, man, that was close. Man. Man, that, this thing is ridiculous. 
So we're moving on? Sure, yeah. It's... Okay, let's cut this Sorry, off. Sorry, everyone. Wow, face cam. There we go. Hopefully, we don't immediately go into a stage that is that for Otogi 2. You know you can, you can prevent this mm. by just playing a new file. We could do a new file. There's then, a ton of interest. Then you would game. be like, I... I think people will be okay with seeing the intro for a game they've never seen before, though. Yes. I think that'll probably be fine one moment, will I? Don't want people knowing what's on this thing. Yeah, no, there's some good stuff in there. And then they'll demand we play that instead of this. They'll be like, oh, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. That's what I need in my <laughs> life. I'm getting Ot Otogi mixed up with Okage. Very it's different games, yes. Very, very different games. Bob, you need to do more flips. That's true. You didn't even do one manual of that whole fucking level. <laughs> New game. This one, honestly, I feel like that's a stronger intro anyway. Okay. Right. Good. I was like, is there a way to fix the camera in here? No. 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 Default camera controls wait. Hmm. There we go. I think the left and right is. I think it's actually all of them. Okay. So I'm going to do it invert all and see if that fixes it. What? Crab with the gun says, oh yeah, Dan, I was playing the PS5 version of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, and I got reminded of your Miles Morales issues because I used the cards, the activity cards for those who don't know, and it unequipped all of my skater's clothes. What? Man, activity cards is such a cool idea. Why are they so busted? I don't know. It's so sad. A long time ago. Oh, that's right. This one has the stroke-inducing text crawl. Yes, I think we can skip this because the actual like in-game stuff is yes. actually cool yes. and very skip. separated from it. But I think they need to see why you would skip it. Turn the volume all the way up. The capital fell prey to the demons of the outside world. Line. However, the holy light of the orb restored peace. Okay, I'm skipping that. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I want you guys to imagine how fucking long that bad thing goes on for. Yeah, it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the, the famous uh, uh, ice skater in uh, <laughs> Pop Team Epic for the ending. <laughs> Which you have stolen. Look at this fat bitch. Oh, not <laughs> anymore. Oh. Demons. Damn you, Sine. You dare try to trick me? I, that's the banny emo, basically. <laughs> more, more like monsters that can talk that are wolves that normally howl need to just scream like that. It's really good. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Thank you, Dante Namikaze. I think that that me the demons have finally that emo is very accurate. <laughs> yeah. I've bought enough time. Is it beyond here? But yeah, just instead of any animal noise, just dude yelling. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, it's such a majestic and sentient being. It sounds and then it's just like Ugh! <laughs> They're like, whoa, okay, no. <laughs> Keep 
people are asking if this came out before or after Spirited Away. Uh, that gets complicated because I don't know when Spirited Away came out in Japan relative to here. I mean, screaming demons from uh, Japanese mythology. No. Pretty Ghibli known pretty for common. inventing demons. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say Spirited Away is probably 2000 ish. But I don't know. So, so this seems to run better overall, honestly, uh, so far. Yeah, when we get into the outside areas, it starts, it starts really chugging. Uh, yeah, it starts eating shit. But I think it looks a lot nicer. Did you guys play this one in a different stream? I don't, know, I don't think we streamed it since we got getting the Xbox. Yeah, no, we didn't stream it since getting the new Xbox. We did stream this in another stream. That would have been a really long time ago. We're talking like five plus years. Yeah. This is the place. This is it. <laughs> oh, it's the sword that Raiko was using in the last game. Kino. <laughs> <laughs> they remembered what sword he uses, Kino. <laughs> You know, that's all it takes for these people. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. That's what that word means. They remembered Sora's name correctly, Kino. Kino. <laughs> oh, is this... Are we just... Are we playing Genji? Sadamitsu. <laughs> we got the whole crew. Kintoki. Man, we should play the original Genji. Sooner. Yeah, we should. That's some good stuff. That was a Steam notification. My brother, uh, he has really good timing. He only messages me when we're live on a stream or I'm recording a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were thinking of Genji before? Because, yeah, we did, we did play that. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think of that, of what they could have confused it for. Right. But see, that was a PS3 game, which should look way better than this. <laughs> and it does, right, Bob? Mm. Man, this game's doing weird shit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I know. Last time I booted this up, I was like, man, this is on an Xbox. <laughs> an Xbox. This is the previous generations of Genji. It only looks a little bit worse. A yeah. Moon and uh, the I think aesthetically has some more interesting things going on. Yeah. The yeah, I agree. Faithful has soiled the ground. Uh, yes, I did get a haircut. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, I think Sony owns Genji. I think that's a Sony first party IP. Pretty sure. You know, it really helps your graphics capability when you can run the game at 480p or 480i instead of 720p. Yeah. Which is three times the resolution. Weirdly enough, it works out to exactly that number. Man, we really weren't ready for that. No. God, no. There's a reason we went back down to 30 frames per second. That was one of them. Oh, Dr. Orochi, thank you for hosting me. Nice. That's really nice of you. Yeah, we're hanging out with Otogi 2 right now. Um, checking out some Xbox games most people haven't seen. It's very uh, Genji cross Dark Souls if you <laughs> if you want to break it down brutally. I think that's the good. Ancient Everyone's like, cool, Dark Souls, what's Genji? <laughs> I'm like, well, it's like Otogi, and then they do this. They're like, <laughs> I'm on to you. Let us be off. But yeah, it's it's kind of nuts whenever you do play a game that's uh, 720p on this Xbox HDMI mod because it just looks like, you know, it could have been on PS3. It could have been an HD remaster. Your guy is really awesome. <laughs> yes, clearly. I feel like in the last game, you had to touch things for them to explode, <laughs> not point at them. <laughs> do the kids remember Onimusha? More people are going to remember Onimusha than Genji. Yeah, yeah. Onimusha definitely had a much bigger cultural impact than Genji did. Genji oh, kind of snuck out. If we get a PS2 HDMI mod, that means we can play all Genji those Onimushas and it'll look yes. good. Yes. Oh. Hotoki, was that necessary? Yes. <laughs> no worry, guys. Obscurity is where I like to live. I'm sure I'll enjoy. And then he busted a long baby. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the long band emote's so good. 
Not long enough. <laughs> Nor long enough. <laughs> well, yeah, we let them select their own size. That's, right. That's the beauty of the long banning email. The stories of your strength are true. It just exploded a tree by pointing <laughs> at it. I don't know. Destroy these demons and finish your atonement. Oh, it got even cooler. Oh, cool. So we're going to finish our atonement. We'll just atone for everything here, and we're good for the rest of the game and won't strength just be doing things for her, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> long banny with shades. Long banny that ends in a dinosaur. However, your body is but a Very powerful. Shell. But yeah, I feel like... um. The people who make the PS1 digital and magic. the upcoming N64 digital, I think that's this month? Never forget mm. this. That's supposed to come out? Um, they have some pretty good tech built into their stuff nowadays, so it should be possible to get unbelievably good-looking PS2 footage for given the nature of that console. I, I think that will be worth the HDMI mod more than most consoles. Like, this looks great, but my component footage looked almost this good. Right. Almost. It's definitely nice to have one tiny cable, <laughs> you know? Instead of five cables, you hook into a thing to convert to HDMI. Right, yeah. It's rough. Anonymous Gifter gave Socially Awkward Toaster a tier one sub. Oh, thank you, Anonymous Gifter. Nice. Enjoy the baddies. Why does he remind me of Dark Magician from Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> Uh, they were probably inspired by the same outfit, honestly. Because <laughs> this is a Terrigal yeah. hat of some sort. And yeah, he could totally be Dark Magician. Common Evan says, Dan, what was the idea that you had for a Banny emote again? I'm sure the newer viewers want to know. Let's see. Oh, well, we have gotten a few viewers they may not have heard. So, Bob, uh -huh. I have this idea for an emote. See, it's Banny, right? Yeah. Tosha's gonna leave me, just so we're clear. She's gonna divorce me over this bitch. She's, just, she's never coming back. And she's gonna take the cat, too. <laughs> she's gonna go, that's my cat. You can't make emotes over it. <laughs> Take the emotes. <laughs> Take the emotes. Tosha's gonna get her own Twitch channel and be like, guys, we need a thousand subs so I can get all these emotes. <laughs> So it's Banny, right? Uh -huh. She's got a mask, and it's a Bane mask. And we call it Baity. God. <laughs> but it's so great. You, so... Anyone who wants to get an idea, you can go to Know Your Meme and uh -huh. type in Bane Cat, and you'll I think you'll you get just, an idea. I think you just type in Bane Cat to Google, and you'll probably see I it. haven't seen that video in like 10 or 11 years, but my brother being that enthused and enthralled by them was was more timeless than the videos themselves to me. <laughs> That's fair. And I was like, yeah, he put his cat in a Bane mask. And my brother's like, no, you don't. <laughs> Funniest thing I've ever seen. And I'm just like, I can't. I can't cope with this. One why is it, why is it like this? Destroy it. <laughs> These demons are but a shadow of what is to come. They lurk in dark corners in the world below, waiting. Will you help us in our quest to destroy the demons? I believe you have reason enough to fight. What if you just said nothing? <laughs> Then that would be a great story. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. See? We got two. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get that follower goal. They are excited. If anyone's got to it again expecting Dr. Orochi, we're actually here. <laughs> and you can follow us. <laughs> you thought it would be Dr. Orochi, but it's me! Guy who's playing Xbox under the retro tag! <laughs> I mean, if Xbox isn't retro. Dude. I know. People are crazy. Jesus. I forget whose stream it was. I think it was Retro Island Gaming. I'm hanging out in the stream, and there was one guy in the stream who's like, I consider any game that needs a graphics accelerator not retro. And I'm like, what's the cutoff date? 1993? What? <laughs> yeah. That's fucking... Sorry. You know how many people we have did, we been did born and died since then? You just need to be like, well, they're different eras of retro. 
We, then we need to introduce something like that. Uh, yeah, no, like if we want to get real about it, use this. Use, if, if they would allow me, uh -huh. I would use the generational tag. Like, yeah, yeah. There no. should be a tag for six gen game. We need to do that. 3D isn't retro. If it can't use a software renderer, it isn't retro. That's literally what that dude's saying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny. Do not forget. Uh, my brother has found a website where you can order fancy mushrooms. Ooh. He's like, you're a big mushroom fan, right? On a scale of one to ten, how much of a fan of mushrooms are you? And I'm like, ten. Okay. I have zero seconds to respond. I'm like ten. Get ready. Oh, okay. Here we go. Time to save the game. Once again, I looked at it. This save file is larger than Xbox Live Arcade games. Because I was like, you have a hard drive. Why are you taking this long? And then I looked at it. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a 6th gen game take this long to save in my life. I Final Fantasy XI dealt with shit faster than this. Yeah, no, this is insane. I see Rushenberg asking if uh, he should play or watch the anime of Record of Lodos War before playing the game. I do recommend it, though it's hard to recommend watching the anime. But you might be into it. It's very slow. Uh, the the conceit that that Agro gets away with and for making it good, uh huh, is that it's based on a D and D campaign. So if you put it all framed like that, it makes sense at least. But I wouldn't say it's good. <laughs> all right, that that works. But it's definitely very tied to everything in that game, so I would do. <laughs> yeah, this this file is absolutely insanely huge. I don't know what all it's saving, but it's very very funny if you ask me. Uh, local bank tote says retro noun. Anything that is old, but not something I specifically grew up with. Please, I don't want to feel old. <laughs> Protect the orb from the ghouls. All right, this is uh, like I was saying before. We got characters now. Look at all these characters. DTV Varen says, is it just a memory state dump? No, you don't understand. That would be a tenth the size of this save. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get it. I, yeah. I don't, mm. The Holy Orb. The gem so named gave humans the ability to fight demons. This is a good house texture. <laughs> yes. Well, I've seen roofs that good around here, let me tell you. Them. Look at on Zillow. Hey, Yuki Ai. The orb is said to be as important as the sun itself. Which is why. <laughs> That's longer than Pokemon so Platinum saving a lot of data. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, I know. I did that a lot because I was making a living Pokedex in that gen. It's honestly one of the longest yeah. saves I've ever seen. Yeah, me too. Uh, is it saving everything you destroyed? Yeah, I think so. It is We're not sure, though. Filthy creatures that shall be cast away. Yeah, I always thought this character was real cool. She's a big scythe. So are all the games tonight ninja games and Tony Hawk? Well, technically, this isn't a ninja game, but it is very, very Japan. Yeah, her, her outfit's cool as hell, and so is her weapon. I'm trying to be sold on her moveset. <laughs> yeah, these guys are good at getting away. But if I can catch them. That's my favorite kind of enemy. These yeah. wandering spirits are known as ghouls. These darn ghouls. They have haunted the capital for Judging retro by generations feels really weird. Like early PS3 360 feels retro, we but The Last of Us sure doesn't yet. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like when I play The Last of Us Part One or The Last of Us One or The Last of Us. <laughs> it shows its age. I wouldn't call it retro, but it is definitely crusty. But yes, early PS3 games feel very retro. And the Last of Us doesn't immediately smack of that as much as it does crusty. Oh yeah, new game, new health system. Look at the two fans on the bottom right. Okay. The big fan, it fills up with red. If it fully fills up with red, it, I lose one of the orbs on the, the right side. So that's your damage buffer this time. Yes. If you lose the two... If you lose the two orbs on the right... Will you die? <laughs> It'll be painful. 
<laughs> this brought to you by Bane emote. <laughs> oh no, touch die! If I bring up my emote on you, will you die? It would be extremely painful. <laughs> You know, this situation was dire before I let the internet know it was happening. I told you I would never forgive you! <laughs> <laughs> Quigzy says, hey Dan, I actually missed it the last time. What was your new idea? <laughs> Please, we can't keep doing this. We'll just scare people away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They they they're, they're, they might be like, no, wait, wait, wait a second. This is a cat in a bane mask. What? No, I've never heard of that before. And there's a really good chance that's true. That have appeared. <laughs> quick, quick, show of hands in chat. How many people have not seen Bane Cat or didn't know it was a thing? I mean, it's been long Ooh, enough. I still, I bet a lot of people right? haven't. Right. So this could be a new generation's Bane Cat. People are like, you stole my idea, and I'm like, my cat's name is Banny. It's really a joke about it being Banny. And, and horrible. And yes. <laughs> I definitely did that. I, I have no, I no I'm remorse. I, I'm sorry. Never heard of it. I didn't know it was a thing, but I'm not surprised. There's a lot of no in chat. Yeah. That's, that's good. I like, assumed no one knew. It was really, really, like, hot shit for a week. And in my brother's mind, <laughs> for longer. Uh, so yeah. There we go. I need to kill that thing. I like how enemies will bounce Ooh, around after weak. you hit them. And like to attack from a distance. Somebody was asking earlier, when's Outrun 2? Uh, that definitely is something I could see us doing on one of these uh, exclusive or Simple interesting Xbox game wish. streams. Yeah, um, I've never played that. Yeah, and that's a great version, uh, in as much as it's something we can play in 2021. Unlike the 360 PS3 release. I guess I gotta hack my PS3 anyways. Thanks, Sony. Yeah, right. Uh, hey, Dan, just wanted to hop in and say hi. Hope you are taking it easy, man. Deserve a rest. Hey, Bob, am I taking it easy? You're not taking it easy. It's rough. When Most humans would see what I've done this week and go, are you on break? <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, if you're looking for a home, it's not taking it easy. That, that that's, stuff that's is true. absolutely that's the worst true. stuff. And I think people want you to take a break from looking for a home, but I understand. I, I, I would this. love to live indoors. Yeah, right. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's, it's a weird dual thing. You shouldn't call taking a break until you've found the home. You're right. It's, it's disingenuous. Oh no, you're foolish, you Sam. This guy's face makes me want to uh, outlaw Star game. <laughs> yeah, that would have been neat. Yeah. What were we talking about where... Oh yeah, Quantum Leap and Sliders never got a single game based on them. Mm-hmm. That's real weird. This is but Crazy. The beginning of an epic battle. It is yet early to ease your guard, my warriors. I enjoy living in a house, <laughs> says Stone Corbel. Please, no, no bragging in chat. <laughs> Did you see that thing where the uh, East 9 is getting an update for 4K? Yes, I'm sorry. It's okay. I knew the risks. I can at least go do a uh, boss mode. Try and go through that. I still haven't played the game, so at least I'll get to do that if I want to play the game, but I'm not sold. Fair. How how hard would it be for you? And this isn't me pressuring you, okay? Mm. I just need to know. How hard would it be for you to co-host a stream with going through E's 9? And by A stream, I mean like 3 or 4. I'd be okay with doing it. I, I think there are enough moments I find funny. Yes. It, that it, They usually are intentional. Like I, Yes, like I, 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 I caught a few. I, for sure. <laughs> while I played it, I was like, man... I kind of wish I streamed all of this, but that's not really an option. But what if it was? <laughs> you 
Yeah, you guys don't understand. Doing videos on YouTube is actually so much harder than us doing a stream. Like, uh, what was it? It was just last week that we, yeah. Um, those videos took so long because there were audio desync issues and other issues, and you would not believe. Purified. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would talk more about it, but there's a level of I don't want to out people for being shitty, and there's a level of. Either way, I went through a lot to get the last two weeks of videos up, uh, barely having any remote time to myself, and um, then the reception wasn't great. Um, on both of them, weirdly. Most people seem fine with analog gaming, but one person in particular knew exactly what was off and let me know the second it went up, and I was like, yep, I know, I fucked up. You're the only person who knows in the entire fucking internet, and you added me on a Discord Defeat 10 seconds after it went up. Let me know. And cleanse the land. <sighs> but yeah, anyways, so I'm taking a break. Yeah, just lock. Don't allow anyone to at you on Discord. <laughs> I have to. Ever. Do, you have to do that per server. Oh my god. Also, I'm okay with people adding me. I just didn't expect both videos to come out this that week to bomb so hard. Critically, I guess is the way you call it. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I already was at like, at the end of my rope long before that. It was basically a month straight up being at the end of my rope, and then that just made me go, okay, time to, yeah, no, time I, to just put things down for a while and it was uh, like, try to live indoors instead. Dan, why are you, <laughs> why are you doing this? It was every week. It was like, what? We don't need to do all the videos. We really don't. But you. But then I'm like, hey guys, is there any one series you don't care about? And they're like, no, we care about it all three immensely. And I was like, these votes disagree with your words, but the words seem very passionate, so I can't. There's no way to win this. Yeah. Can you rearrange things so that you can take off a week once a month now? <laughs> Man, that'd be dope. <laughs> That'd be real cool. I mean, Big Think has to happen every week. That's how that show works. Yeah, that's how that show works. Um, so Dan, are you ready for your week off from your week off? Yes, and sadly I'm gonna spend it legitimately doom scrolling for a house. And also I have to edit um, next week's podcast because I don't have a podcast buffer anymore. And that was actually the lar larger reason why I took time off. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna use it to edit these podcasts to get this stuff done. Uh, the game we're playing right now is Otogi 2. I should put that in the title and hit update title. So this guy's really cool because he can actually pick up enemies. And you know, he's big, so he just crushes a lot of stuff. Very good for a, a game where you get bonuses for destroying literally everything in a stage. I haven't done it, but you do uh, get more more to destroy. Can I mess with the camera options? No, I cannot mess with camera options in game. I can only mess with camera options on the main menu. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, there we go. Voted for dreams because fuck if I'll be able to find good shit in that browser, but I do like analog gaming and giving games a chance. Yeah, um, we were talking about it. And we were just thinking maybe we should take giving games a chance live. I think people would be interested in that. Right. Um, and it's a lot easier. And while I care about video quality, um, our stream quality is already better than most pre-existing videos for all these games. Like, if we had just streamed Haze, it still would have been the best looking video of Haze on the internet. Right. Kind of crazy. Yeah. It's in the title, Urmeshi. <laughs> I'm not doing it twice in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, also, it would have been a really uncomfortable moment live when they had said the things they said in Haze, and we just went... Because then they would have seen our face. Yeah, no, that would have been... In, in the giving games a chance, you don't see us or our face as we both just give the game a look of... Wow really doing this, eh? Wow. I wish we had more mid-tier games. Yeah. It's really fucking bizarre that Balan shit, but we still don't really have mid-tier games. <laughs> Even that, it's like obviously they wasted tons and tons of money while with those freaking CG cutscenes. And a shitload of outfits. Yeah, yeah, no, they're like over 100 or something. Yeah, no, it's like I've never seen such a triple A and mediocre game. It's not even mid, it's below mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, anyway. I, I miss the days of FromSlap doing this. Just releasing something weird frequently. <laughs> <laughs> 
Whenever I watch giving games a chance, I don't think about it. I just assume it's a stream bot anyway because your dialogue feels very natural both on and off stream. Yeah, the major difference is whether or not we're talking to chat. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been we've been doing gigaboots for over 10 years. Uh, we're quickly approaching our... Oh, wait, I think we... Yeah, we hit 10 and a half. Okay. So we're 10 and a half years now. Um... Like, I, I remember the, the month that the... the the anniversary of it is, but I never like I can't do that, that. <laughs> of like half a year. It helps that uh, you know Tosh and I have been dating only slightly shorter than we've been doing Gigaboots, mm -hmm. so you know in order to remember Tosh and I have been dating for ten years, I, I'm also remembering that we've been doing Gigaboots slightly over ten years. Mm -hmm. you know. yeah. Not sure if people in chat actually do. Turning point or legendary spoiler cast? The only shoot is more dreadful than Shadowfall. <laughs> Uh, yeah, when we were going to do It Came From Last Gen. You know, we could have just done It Came From Last Gen as a live stream. We could have. We still can. Yeah. We should think about that. I'm just like, if you think that, like, that's... It, Shadow Falls Die or anywhere yeah. near the level those games are. Yeah, now that... Like, there's so many bad, bad <laughs> FPSs. That's why I rated Shadow Falls as high as I did. Right. I'm okay talking about the score, right? <laughs> I'm okay talking about the score. It's yeah. been weeks since that came out. People who are going to watch that, who are fans of ours, would have already done it. Right. We both gave it a five. Right? I might have even given it a six or no, something. No, I'm pretty sure we both gave it a five. That game is very middle of the road. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's not bad enough to be excruciating for a shooter. It's serviceable. It doesn't feel absolutely terrible to control. There aren't the world's worst vehicle segments. It's not dumb and stupid and awful and cheap like fucking Resistance 2. Yeah. Yeah. There it so, feels there's a whole way better than Perfect Dark Zero. This this feels like when, when people are like, you know who's a real DC supervillain? And then they say some guy that you're like, I forget that he's one of them. <laughs> like if someone was like, yeah, Killer Croc. <laughs> he's the guy, man. He's the dude. This is why I didn't play shooters until Doom 2016 if Shadow Falls in the middle. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Like, if, if you like the genre enough, right, then the the mid-ass game being made around the mechanics mm -hmm. can be tolerable. Right. That's anyone with any game. You know, like JRPGs feel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get close. Halfway through that sentence, it just became an accusation, <laughs> I realized. <laughs> <laughs> Clock King is a villain that no one thinks of. Uh, what it, what series did Clock King show up in? Killzone Shadowfall is the Neptunia of military first-person shooter games. Is Neptunia 5? Neptunia is also, like, super low rent. Yeah, whereas like, Killzone's, like, insanely gorgeous for when it came out. Clock King was from Batman the Animated the Series. Okay. Of okay. course. All right. Okay, it actually gives me rating on who is best for these missions. So let me go back and look. I can only use th these three characters. Hopefully one of them is what rated well for this mission. Defeat Where do you see the, the rating? Is the uh, level? Yeah, go back. Here we go. Oh, okay. You know, I saw that the first time around. Didn't realize those were all characters' names. Yes, yeah, there are a lot of characters you can play as. That E's kerning is so bad. Sue, a hey, talk. Okay. Space between yeah, the yeah. E and the letter yeah. before it is so egregiously bad. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty rough. Same with s s s aim a s s aim a. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's uh. Defeat the goo. But yeah, the um, yeah, I wish obviously the the high bar for seventh gen shooters are kills on two and Halo three. I don't even know what else you would put in that same. Like obviously. First person shooters. Gears is a third person shooter that's different. Right. And of course, Ooh, Call of Duty. Up in there. Right. Modern Warfare, like two or one. Yeah. yeah. You would have put those in there easily. And if you had bad taste in Call of Duty, you'd probably put Black Ops. 
I mean, you must destroy the ghouls it's, that are hiding within. It's bad compared to the others, but it's like they're, they're good in general I know. compared to other shooters. It's, I know it's so rough because it's like yeah, the series is not great, but oh man, but it's man, so much look better at the rest of this. The, <laughs> even even Battlefield was really rough back then. I didn't. I, I only played it on PC back then because it was just. I found it kind of unacceptable the way it was on console. Uh, which game? A uh, Battlefield. Yes, yeah, Battlefield on PC was great. Yeah. Battlefield 3 on PC was immaculate. I've put that over almost every third, every every shooter that gen except for it appears they can Halo 3. <laughs> like I enjoy Battlefield 3 as a game more than Destroy I enjoy Killzone 2. Um, oh, now that I'm saying it, I'm like, am I sure? Yeah, I don't know. Like I ah. like. Three was a mixed bag for me because I'm like, uh, I don't like it as much as two for Battlefield. See, I never played two, so I prevented that. Right. But I, I like three and four to a lesser extent a lot. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy the tagging system and everything else in them. I enjoy the levels a lot. Um, I think Battlefield 3 is an excellent game, and I think it's a shame that the last gen console versions just ran like shit. Yeah. And felt like shit because of that. Um... But yeah, I think Killzone 2, Battlefield 3, and um, um, Halo 3 are it for me. Yeah, those are the three top three shooters of that gen. Uh, but then again, Call of Duty's in there, and that's when it's like death by a million cuts. Because right. I would probably say Modern Warfare 2, but other people would flip their shit if I'm saying that, you know? But yeah. there's your top four. <laughs> Modern Warfare 2... Uh... See, I never really liked playing Left 4 Dead on a console, but on a PC it was fine. Right. On a like console, it felt really like didn't. shit. Valve didn't yeah. didn't know how to make a console shooter correctly, and that was such a large problem with so many PC devs with that gen. Yeah, no, like the shooters often felt like they were like that. It was just made for the PC, no auto aim, doesn't know how acceleration deceleration with aiming should work, fucked up dead zones, uh, and no acceleration ramp on the curvature. Like all these problems just suck so bad, so bad. Unreal Tournament 3 ran really bad on the PS3, though. Yeah, and I, I think they actually made it run at a slower pace than the, the PC game. Maybe. Um, it was really cool that it had mod support, though, and I thought that was the future, and then we all ran in the opposite direction of that, and I got upset. Yeah, no, that was very frustrating. Yeah, it was. What about Jedi Academy? Jedi Academy did not come out during the 7th gen of consoles. That was on the Xbox original. Yeah. Also, in fact, somebody asked me if we terrible. were playing that tonight. <laughs> and I'm just like, mm -mm, nope. Yeah, that's another game. Play, play on PC. God, the uh, console's yeah. not, not, not a good place for this. No. But yeah, I don't know. Killzone Shadowfall is serviceable. It's not great at all. Um, I mean, I, I, I'd rather play Killzone Shadowfall than that new Prey people seem to like. Yeah, but those are very different games, I feel, but... But yeah, you're... you're I can could, I could see where you're coming from. Yeah, there's, there's a chance I would also rate it. There's a really high chance I would... Because it's... It doesn't... It's another game that, like, doesn't feel like made for console at all. <laughs> yes. It, I don't know how that game shifts so late and also doesn't feel good on a controller on a console. I don't know if that... Like, Arcane's never felt, made a game that feels good on a no. console. No, they haven't. It seems crazy. It's real weird. Real weird. So people might be missing it. I'm actually fighting these ghouls that are infesting these statues. So I need to kill them before they get to a new statue. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, you got another statue. You know, the evolution of consoles is really fascinating until these last two generations. Yeah. Like, they're a lot more straightforward these last two times. So it's less fascinating. Yeah. Because you look at the Xbox, and the whole idea with the original Xbox is that it's a PC architecture. So it's easy to make PC ports to. Mm -hmm. And has a hard drive in every, in every console. Then you get to the next gen, and Microsoft reverses every decision I just said. Truck. <laughs> the thing is, it's hard to say that's so Barry Jam because those new consoles are unbelievably powerful. Like, 
Not even just for the price. They're really strong consoles. The PS5 and Series X are juggernaut. The fact you have to have a quality 4K display on most games to be like, this doesn't look native 4K, you know? Mm -hmm. Says a lot, right? I, I unironically do believe Microsoft peaked with the Blades UI. Once that was out, that was the descent. <laughs> yeah, no, there was nothing past that that was even good at all. Yeah. Did you hear about PlayStation losing MLB as an exclusive? Yes, Captain Knackbeard, that was 2019. <laughs> yeah, no, they announced it way back then. They announced it two it, years ago. It's not losing as an exclusive. They, they it went multi-plat. Yeah. And they announced that as a part of the MLB deal. Um, but, you know, being nicer, I heard it was on Game Pass. And that's really cool because if you're going to make a franchise that hasn't been available on a new platform, one of the best ways you can get people to look at it, especially something that's a yearly installment, mm -hmm. right? Make it. Put it on Game Pass. Get that paycheck up front. Get people talking about your game. Remove it from pay Game Pass at some point, you know? It'll be funny if it's I'm, one of the fastest things to leave Game Pass. I, I'm, I'm I don't. I don't think it will be just because they're so dependent on next year's mm -hmm. not being on Game Pass, most likely. You know? Yeah, I doubt they'll do it again. We'll see. I doubt they'll do it again. Um, but yeah, no, Game Pass offers a pretty good paycheck to publishers, and sometimes it goes to the developers. And uh, I think Sony, you know, interested in getting that paycheck and also getting a lot of people to look at their game that elsewise maybe they wouldn't have. You know, there are a lot of fanboys out there. There's some people who would have been like, I'm not going to play a PlayStation game on my Xbox. Yeah. And now it's on Game Pass, so why not? You know? I think this stage is really cool because since I know they're going to do that, I can go break the statues and then not have anything to do. <laughs> yes, I love it when you do that in a game. Where it's just like, oh, that's what the... I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to break that shit first. <laughs> Excuse me. I think you have made a mistake. You're streaming Xbox under retro, and it can't be because I played that in high school. That space man thing. <laughs> yeah, it can't be retro. I played that in high school. The Xbox came out when I was in middle school. Well, One moment while I double check my facts. It was like a, I think it just barely. It was like, is that right? Freshman year for three months. And yeah. then it's like, hello. I'm like, what's up? So just barely. Mm -hmm. Just barely not middle school. Just barely the beginning of freshman year in high school. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe me, says Xbox came out when I was out of college. <laughs> I was nine years old when the Xbox came out. Yeah. You were and baby. Crimson Skies is really good. I, I'm not sure how many people noticed in that tweet I made where I was like, yeah, we're ripping our game discs. There were two copies of Crimson Skies. One was Bob, one, one was mine. Crimson Skies is a uh, legitimately really good game. It's really too bad they went on to make a multiplayer-only version of Shadow Run. Man, even back then, Microsoft making the most baffling decisions. Yeah, I don't know, man. It was, it was so frustrating. What about Mech Assault? I actually never played the Xbox Mech Assault. I did. Game. I remember it being rough. Like, I thought it was really cool in some ways, and it was like, hmm, in others. I wish Crimson Skies didn't have 30 FPS lock. Yeah, that would have been good. Hey! Microsoft owns that! Yeah, they might. We should clamor for FPS boost! They yeah. won't do it, but we should do it anyway. Actually, uh, I, I don't think there's a single Xbox original game with FPS boost. I was like, I think it's only 360 and uh, one. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But yeah, FPS boost on Crimson Sky would be. But they said they were doing more of the FPS boost stuff. Now they just need to yes. say they'll do more games. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> uh, that was Steel Battalion Flight Canuck. Uh, and honestly, we would love to do a Steel Battalion stream playthrough. Uh, that game's 720p, apparently. You will all be shocked by how sharp that was. Why is this character animation better than anything in Sekiro? 
One more remains. I don't think the animation sector was that bad. These animations look cool with the trails and stuff. <laughs> I don't I don't know that I would say it looks bad, but you know, from soft animations, a lot of them look the same, so I wouldn't say that this looks better than like I bet if you ran this at 60, I'd go Evergreen? <laughs> Something about the running animations and stuff. Like that. I don't know. You cannot avoid your fate. Yeah, I remember the thing with Sekiro is the animations look nice, but then it's like, oh, this attack animation is huge pre canned It feels bad. Because <laughs> they wanted to make it look cinematic. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 17 hours to steal battalion stream. Bob forgets to eject and erases the save file. <laughs> that is entirely possible. Yeah, that's scary. Forty more magic spells. The thing about this game is uh, each character can only have one spell equipped, and you can't have the same spell equipped to multiple characters. So I need to keep buying spells uh, so that eventually I can get enough for each of these characters to have. Sentient JDAM says, IGN's review of Steel Battalion had this quote. Quote, most mech games don't let you into the cockpit. Steel Battalion doesn't let you out. They're, they're playing mech games you pilot from the cockpit. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> We're playing one tonight. <laughs> That's really funny. That, that, that writer is definitely swinging for the fences with catchy, you know. Yeah. Catchy headlines. Uh, anyways. Those one-liners. Uh, remember Dino Crisis 3 was, and still is, an Xbox original exclusive. I wish I had an attachment to Dino Crisis. I played the first one and didn't like it anywhere near as much as Resident Evil. I've never tried them. I've been curious, but yeah, I've never even given it a shot. There's a Gundam game on the Dreamcast that was. Destroy yeah. all of the demon spider. I remember that. Didn't we start saying, are you Gundam Crossfire? <laughs> yes, we had uh, some complaints to file with that game for sure. Yeah. You know, I've never tried that uh, tactical Zeon. I think it's Zeonic Front. Zeonic Assault? Maybe. One of those. It's one of those things. Uh, which one's still bad on? I think it's PS2. Okay. I played most of the other PS2 games that However, came to the States for uh, Gundam. To the main cave <laughs> is that guy's just Actually, dabbing. Just dabbing. Yeah. <laughs> See, dabbing the isn't new. Yeah. I can't even say that anymore. Dabbing isn't new by modern standards. No. I mean, modern dabbing Must movements fucking started 10 years ago. Anyway. The Zeonic Front is weird. Yeah, most of those Gundam games are kind of bad. Do you have Robotech Battlecry? Uh, no. What Destroy system is that for? Thought that was only PS2. That's how I played it. You are playing as a tree man. Yeah, you're like he's like a torso, and then he moves this gigantic wheel. Very cool. That is really friggin' cool. <laughs> uh, Battle Cry is on everything. Okay, so I would have access to it. Hey, pass remote. I'm assuming from people showing up, boxes thing ended. <laughs> <laughs> What are you playing as? Human-sized ginseng? What the heck? Yeah, yes. that's how it comes off. <laughs> Vox 1. Nice! Cool. I was asking people earlier if they know if Vox um, has ever played Little Samson. <laughs> Spider hatchlings can I bet Vox said gamer. Poison. Be careful. No way. She would never it's say gamer. No. Oh, jeez, that hurt a lot. That took two, two orbs. That's bad. Hopefully they got some health restores and some of these spider eggs. Oh, okay, pass over above. I think she said she did. Okay, okay. Oh, that's cool. John Swando says uh, Robotech Battle Cry is a uh, super slick mecha game. Nice. Yeah, I, I remember having a lot of fun with Not that one. The spiders can withstand remember the Crow Hounds? Yeah, all the time. It was that really good era where Microsoft yeah, beat someone to the market so they got to have exclusives. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, pretty yeah, crazy. I, don't... I never, I don't know if I ever tried Chrome Hounds. That people kept saying it's like, it's like even better than 
uh, armor core. There's no way. Yeah, I was like, it has zero percent chance. But it's a really cool game, as yeah. I understand it. Yes, yet another FromSoft game. Wait, once again, outside of Dark Souls, you might know we have a very fond opinion of Dark of FromSoft games. Yes. Bob's definitely more positive on Dark Souls than me, but <laughs> get out. <laughs> Neat. Depends on which armored core. I don't know. I'd rather have Last Raven bust my balls than most than play most mech games, but you know. Yeah, I think the only armor core that I, I'm just like not hot on is five, and I need to play more of it. That's true. There, there are the seventh gen armored core. Yeah. I kind of just don't think about. Dan, is this Xbox modded? Perhaps you can then play Metal Wolf Chaos at 15 frames per second. Yeah, that's true. Jesus. I guess that was one of the exploding spiders. Yep. <laughs> you should have known, Bob. I should have known. Let me know when you want to move on. I totally... I think people... You know, we just got fresh people coming in. These are... We just broke 200. Oh, wow. We started kind of low, you know, casual with this Xbox stream. Right, and we started pretty late in the day. That's true. And we didn't announce very far in advance at all. Right. And, and people don't like a mystery box stream. No. They, they want to know what it is. They want to know how excruciating it will be. And they want to know three days in advance. And now I'm thinking about like, yeah, I took, I told you now I'm pretty just sitting down playing all the way through one of the, uh, one of these old FromSoft games. Well, we have done that twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spider hatchlings can spit a cloud. I'm trying of to think of what other ones I would be thrilled to do it for, because while I would be fine like sitting here and playing Otogi, uh, I'd really just be co-hosting it because I, I don't have much of an interest of actually playing it, because I feel like it's best qualities I can see. Yes. Like the visual flourish and the art design and the cool environments and the weird plot. We need to go to Ninja Blade. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yep. We haven't played Enchanted Arms, or I haven't. I know, I haven't either. Because okay. I didn't even know that was from Slot back then. Yeah, I, was like, I didn't this know. This just that looks was... like a bad RPG. I don't need to play this. Right. So once <laughs> I found out much later that that was from Slot, I was like, ooh. Kind of my shit. No, no, no. Ninja Blade is kind of bad, but also insanely great, says Feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's also very short, if I remember right, because I, I burnt you that, like, in the sitting, I think. See, that's what Shadowfall was missing, right? Being short? No, no, no. It was missing the second part of that sentence. Shadowfall is kind of bad, but... Oh, okay. You know, it doesn't have the... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have that buff. It doesn't have the buff of being insane, which the makes it good. Has been weakened, but still remains. Dang. I think now we have a character going along with that dis disembodied voice. Yes, that's true. It gives a character, literally. <laughs> I am gonna grab some mochi, I'll be right back. If you play Enchanted Arms, you gotta play the 360 version because Metal Wolf is in it is a recruitable monster. What? I didn't know there was a 360 version of it. That is that game? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's 360 PS3. Oh, this is the last motion. Go for it. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. Avoid taking damage to that explosive. <laughs> yes, I was thinking about that. I was like, that is a very similar energy. One more cave remains. Yes, yes. No more caves. No more caves. Yes. All right. <laughs> Look, they're they're monster caves. It's fine. I'm just killing the stuff in it. I'm not killing the cave. No, I'm down to one health tip again. Same area, too. Man, camera. It, the camera movement is this slow. It's made by Japan. They have no idea. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was real rough. 
Hmm. Yeah, I was like, I can't remember these. I think they did that mind packing one that looked really bad. Bob, when you kill the baby, it's like an eternal ring. God, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that hell? Apparently, uh. <clears throat> Apparently, Metal Wolf and Enchanted Arms uh, exclusively on the 360, and one of his battle quotes is him yelling, Richard! <laughs> Ooh, did not get caught in that time, thankfully. Biff, the longer I spend doom scrolling Floridian real estate, the closer you get to winning this battle. <laughs> I hope you feel smug about that. The way has been opened. Only the eggs in the main cave remain. Now, That's, cr that's true. true. We could just play through Metal Wolf Chaos. Fire. It's true. And we <laughs> wanted to play more, but then we realized that video would have been an hour longer. If it was a live stream, we wouldn't have had that reaction. Exactly. Like, that's another thing. Is like, we want to try more of these games, but there's the onus of we have to stop the video recording. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uploading will be a nightmare. People wear masks here, and no one is a tourist. I don't even believe that. That sounds insane. It's so far north. Yes. That's a setter. <laughs> I've never known a life like that. <laughs> it's true. I've never lived anywhere without tourists. Yeah. So, so Dan, I also thought you had a dog too. Is it really just Banny? It's just Banny. I only own Banny. Banny is the only creature coming with me. Dan, you forgot about the landlord. <laughs> Oh fuck! Wicked Lord's cock shotgun. <laughs> Dan leaving Tosh behind. Poor Tosh. Tosh is not a creature. She's a transcend. She's a gremlin. She's a transcendent being. <laughs> I'm just remembering the conversation and uh, it wasn't rig stream. It was dot level stream. Dot level stream when I was like, yeah, Tosh has a Shiba Hime energy from uh, Karakato. The guy's like, nice. She's a gremlin. <laughs> um, I wish I didn't have to deal with terrorists all the time at work. Yeah, no, that's not. Dan, come to Florida. We have good weather and insane housing prices. We do not have good weather. <laughs> I guess sometimes we do. Sometimes we have good weather, but we also have hurricane weather. Right. Oh my god, it's Calamity Carl. Ready to go to 18 people. Thank you, Carl. Hey, everyone, come on in. We're playing some Xbox original games on our HDMI modded Xbox. This right here is Otogi 2. It is made by From Software, the people who made Dark Souls. It's pretty fucking cool. Dan, I said California, not Florida. Yeah, it's the same fucking thing. Yes. <laughs> Like, there's no difference here except for you're alleging you have good weather. And based on half of the state being covered in smoke uh, not too long ago. <laughs> I don't know that you get to say that anymore. How was your rest, Dan? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> they, they must That's be joking. remote. They don't. Bob, people don't know. They don't know that me taking a break is still me working harder than most people. Like, me taking breaks like an 80-hour work week. God, that's sick. <laughs> I just said it, and then I thought about it, and I got sad. Man, this looks great. Really does make me want to HDMI mod slash mod ship my old Xbox, even though there's no way it's worth it. If you have component cables and an OSSC, you're most of the way here. <laughs> Dan, 
80 hours. Dan, are you a Japanese salary man? More than once I've changed my name in the podcast Discord to Karoshi. So, um, anyways, moving on. Oh, the eggs are on the ceiling, too. I was like, what am I missing? Oh, yeah. I don't... Oh, right. This guy can just jump endlessly, can't he? He's just Kirby's. <laughs> yes, he's pink and love. Yeah. Just look at that. <laughs> well, look, this is the FromSoft Kirby. <laughs> this is why we can't make a 3D Kirby. It's horrifying. <laughs> we need that crossover fighter from FromSoft. <laughs> It'll be the worst okay. playing oh thing ever. God. And people will, will say that it is actually the deepest combat it ever made. It's true, man. because we'll have one system that's insanely hard to do and doesn't pay off. <laughs> And it's actually random, but the ego won't let them admit it that right. it's random. Right, of um, course. You wouldn't be out of place as a Kirby villain. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go. just imagine FromSoft making models for other popular games. The Marcus Phoenix is made by FromSoft. Jesus, that, that's, no, that's gold. I was, I was thinking a crossover between their IPs. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. We you just said crossover fighters, so my mind went wild. Lest they return. I'm eating the potato, the uh, pretzel bites. Yeah. I put some of the uh, crackers seasoning. There's a Greek restaurant in the mall called Crackers, and they sell you their fry seasoning in like a salt shaker, and we were like, ooh, it's helping. <laughs> I still don't think what really helped. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Nacho cheese sauce would be preferred for something that is a tiny little bowl of pretzel bread. Spiff, is that? There's no way that's real. <laughs> Just, there's no way that's real. Find the source of the dark key growing within. That's weird. That's that he says it's real. Yeah. Oh man. That might have been okay, with me playing this guy, I think this is that'll have shown off every character you can play in this game. Yeah. The court once used this place to imprison criminals. I'm I'm curious, Biff. Do they have a green neon sign for your crackers? Much dark key Is this some weird franchise? It's not really a franchise. <laughs> the source of the key lies deep Red. within the Red dungeon. neon. Okay. okay, that's different. <laughs> you must find the source of the key and destroy it. I think there's a weird thing around here. A place is called Lulu's. Yeah. The, the sign always looks the same, but they have nothing to do with each other. One's an outfit seller, and the other is a, a restaurant. No. Yeah, I, I, I saw it out in Fort Walton frequently. I was like, that's the same exact logo. But you guys clearly uh, aren't even a restaurant. You sell uniforms. I didn't know about that. Possible, but I, my guess is honestly they just found clip art that, that looks like that, and I'm like, oh, the name Lulu's—that's a—that's a cool name. Because it looks—it looks too good to be a local person. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, that would do it. Then. Have a good night, uh, Glyle. Wait, just playing good hack and slashes. Yeah, no, this is like this is the sort of game I miss. Like, like hack and slash is not especially like super deep or anything, but it is neat. We just don't get them hardly at all anymore.
I need to port that uh that new platinum game to console so I can have a uh, have a hack slash on a console. <laughs> Rip and terror on a console. Yes. Hey, same blitz. How's it going? Hey, everybody. I'm back. My lens. But my God. Just gonna eat the one to do straight. Jesus. Whoa. What the heck? They just started owning me there. <laughs> the court Bob, did you see the straight. Dynasty Warriors movie trailer? Yes, of course. That looks great. It's gonna be really cheesy and bad, and I like it. I still need to watch Red Cliff, because that's uh, that's based on a battle that's always shown up in uh, Dynasty Warriors, so uh, cheer B. Cheer B. That was done by John Wood. So it'll be less silly. Which is, you know, not as good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, we were talking about just doing a fucking Dynasty Warriors about the round it because that would be really funny if it came over and we just went, Dynasty Warriors boss! Yay! <laughs> We ran the channel for 10 years, and this is what we get! <laughs> Man, I wonder if people with Sigmas up to that. I think, I feel like we could have some, some, to be crazy, you know, be like, yeah, I love this. It would be really funny to inject the entirety of the North American Dynasty Warriors fandom into our own. <laughs> because, man. Yeah, I think if we started, if we did streams frequently and started them early, I think we would grab enough randos to eventually find all the Dynasty Warriors people. It's true. And then Brett would start watching our streams again. <laughs> I was just on Twitch trying to find Dynasty Warriors. You guys are streaming up. Yep. Oh, Brett, this thing is crazy. Mm. Does this include the fighting game one? Unfortunately. That game is not good. Oh. That game is even Break the chains. funny. That should release the dark key. <laughs> That's the remote chat just says, damn it, Brett. Uh, Spiff, by the way, said, uh, now, go. uh, it includes the Dynasty Warriors Gundam game, so do it. Yeah, no, those are great. They are, especially that first one where they went really ham with the story. Mm-hmm. I love stuff like that. Yeah, I, I was so disappointed they didn't do that for later ones. It's like, no, I need to hear you yelling at Master Asia. Yeah. They're impossible to find now. Well, luckily you still own it, right? Yeah, I even own the Japanese version. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, maybe I only own the Japanese one. Oh, I no. think you may only own the Japanese one, but our friends should own the English one. Right. Pretty sure, you know. I didn't have any money. <laughs> I think at the time I was like, well, I'm getting two. It's going to replace one, right? It's always Gamer insane. logic. Yeah. There was a point in time where that made sense. Where they spawn hundreds of enemies and it would cool, but it runs terribly. What do you mean there's a Bleach Mousseau spin? There's a Bleach game on the PS3, but I don't think it's a Mousseau style game. But there's something else out. Because I'm pretty sure that's much more limited. It's definitely not made by the Gaffins. Money? What's that? It's Don Chwondo. Ah. Uh, they're talking about Soul Resurrection. Yeah, that's the PS3 one, but I don't, it's not very. It's definitely not made by the guys, and it does not feel like a Dynasty Warriors that much. My brother's playing Outriders. My god, I, I'm sorry. Same thing. <laughs> There's a bleach muso on the Wii, isn't there? That one was made by Aiden, wasn't it, or am I crazy? The a, the bleach game on the Wii is actually made by Treasure. I've always wanted to play it. The fuck? Uh, but it didn't come to the US. I guess there was one that did come to the US, which is the bad fighting game. And now it's problematic because I'm trying to learn about Bleach as a form of content from us. So right. we can't play stuff that's going to spoil the absolute mother loving shit out of it. Right, which I think all the games, once we get past like the first few arcs, I think that's when all the games kind of dry up. Mm -hmm. 
So it's not getting all the way to the end of chugging bleach. Right. But it is still very long way. Pia says, guess you have got to do anime. I can't do anime. Anime is the mascot for Flor Anime South, the, the highly prolific 18 years dead anime convention here in Florida. <laughs> Actually, it's only 13. Yeah, I was like, it's not been 18, I don't think. It feels like for me. It, it does. It feels like 18. It feels like an entire length of a life leading to the end of high school has passed since then. Yes. One, it's even hard for me to correlate current events with the rest of my life because I have any money mm -hmm. instead of literally no money. And it's been a while since I had a whole meal that was rice and soy sauce because I could afford nothing le nothing else. So this doesn't really match up with most of my life. I'm still struggling to live indoors, but that's, <laughs> that's a different thing. Destroy all of the ghoul ships. All of them. Annie Mae is also the mascot of CEO Taku, isn't it? Also Florida-based. Did they steal Annie Mae? I don't know if the one here was ever actually called Annie Mae. I thought it was. I don't think so. Um, the ghouls have regrouped and are headed this way. Where's Agro, that piece of shit? Yeah, he he would know. Uh, they will most likely try to break through. I the used sea. to know. I I had it in my head like earlier this year. One. If the seal breaks, demons will overrun the capital. We're talking about anime self. Get into the chat of the live stream now, period. <laughs> I feel like, if anything, me saying that has scared him away. Right? So unlike the first game, I'm destroying the boat thing. I'm not, I'm not rioting. Common Evan says the PS3 versions of Dynasty Warrior Gundams are impossible to find. The Xbox versions are rather common. Cool. Okay. Did the first one hit Xbox? I don't know if the first one did. Because that's the that's the only one I think I'm missing. Pretty sure I own two and three on the disc. <laughs> Dan attempts to summon aggro, but no one came. <laughs> the iconic Otogi 2 level. Smash yeah. these boats. Wish this person would go out into the gulf. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking solve the problem. Yes. Is that called Crab Island, where they just... <laughs> it's just Crab Island. <laughs> Spiff's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Spiff's been out there. Of course. I mean... He's a fucking turd. Yeah, he's a turd. He's so a fucking yeah. turd. Fucking Spiff with a fucking Crab Island. <sighs> anyway. There we go, got it. I've been what? Says <laughs> Sorry. Branded for life. <laughs> Oh, okay. Slight correction. The CEO Taku mascot's name is Anime. Completely different from Anime. Hmm. Yes. On oh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn with digital only in America, so it's going away soon. Luckily, I have a disc. The PAL version? PAL version. Someone traded it in uh, <laughs> while I wasn't there. So they just took it as a regular Dynasty Warriors Gundam original. So I got a pretty good deal on it. It was like, you guys shouldn't have done this, but I'll buy it. <laughs> You're like, don't do this, but uh, I'm gonna buy this off the bus down, so thank you. <laughs> oh no. God, that's annoying. Because if I'm, I'm, I'm silenced, which being the right, not because mm. I'm glowing like that, I yeah. can't dash. Or do magic. Oh no. Okay. Yes, but if I literally went to uh, Publix, ran into a guy who uh, ended up working there again. He changed which Publix he worked at. Um, and he was talking about how he's moving all the way to Knoxville just because of the prices of real estate around here. But I can't blame him. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. I'm literally doom scrolling every day. I'm just trying to rent, guys. I'm not trying to buy a fucking house. Just renting is that ludicrous. Like, people don't realize if it's me and Tosh and a roommate, like, that's that's a lot of space. And running gigaboots out of it is insane. Yeah. Bob will get shocked. Like, he'll literally suffer from shock when all of the shit is removed from his living room. He might... <laughs> look like he lives in a home again. 
Yeah, renting is even more ri ridiculous than trying to buy it. It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. The system just hates poor people. I mean, it, it looks like we have succeeded. I'm just poor. It's all the way, like, you have to be almost rich. Yeah. Like, not a moderate income. An insane amount of income. It's ridiculous. There we go. Local prices would be making me sweat even if I made six figs. Yeah. Which, obviously, I make nowhere near that. <laughs> Ooh, divide him. That's the shop. What do we got? New magic? No it's new magic. fucked up the amount of conversations that ended with, maybe you should buy a lot and build a house, and I'm like... How? <laughs> what are you... Uh, anyway. Just do- Dan Bob Dixon says, just do what every other homeowner does and just buy like three houses in 1996, jeez. <laughs> it's not easy. Forest of Avic is out here, and it, everyone's ready at zero on it. I worry that means it's insanely hard. Think we should try it? Yeah. <laughs> 70 to 100k. Sorry. <clears throat> 70 to 100k is anything. Is anyone with a college degree you can get with a community college degree. I'm not even sure what the sentence you're trying to say is because it sounded like it recursed back on itself and became fractal. This is weird. Oh, this is Havoc mode. Okay, this is just all the old levels. Um, I can replay them just trying to destroy stuff. Yeah, building a house does take for fucking ever, too. Because, yeah, like, most people don't realize hurricane season. That's a thing in Florida. My yeah. brother just barely made it in under the line with his house. That's a fucking nightmare. Strike down the leader of the demon spiders. Building a house is also very expensive. Yeah, especially around here. It's nuts. Also, Draga, yeah, I don't know what how what jobs with normal college degrees are getting 70 to 100 k nowadays, but you know, I'm an idiot. <laughs> they have gathered in great numbers. Strike down their leader, and the rest will fall. Jesus Christ, Apocalyptic Express. You must destroy the leader of the Spider Clan. You know, you like this game, but there sure are a shitload of spiders. There are a lot of spiders. <laughs> Unfortunate thing about basically anything with Japanese demons. I know, it's, it's so funny. Because <laughs> you're, you're, you're really into that shit. <laughs> right. Right? You're really into ancient Japanese shit. Uh, aesthetically, demonically, etc. Uh, so the thought that it motherfucking just, uh, here's spiders again. <laughs> Oops, all spiders. What if spiders? <laughs> These, uh, the ones with big legs like this are a little bit easier for me to deal with than the, like, Neo 2. They have, like, the tiny little legs. That's real bad. I haven't seen them. Hmm. <laughs> <They're> good. Something <laughs> not right. Oh, he's, he's way bigger. <laughs> that character is so cool. The one you're playing as. Oh, yeah, Fox Man. Yeah, it's like a cross between Japanese it's... mythology and Altered Beast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you're really small compared to that. <laughs> yes. I'm like, I need a you are here map, like, mall era. <laughs> oh, no, geez. I think it's just run for this. Yeah, I would recommend that. This seems like a real bad situation. Maybe this is why you had such a low score. <laughs> Jesus. Oh God. Now you Here's me standing in this area we didn't even get to. Yeah. Bosses are a little hunting even in two here. Yeah. Let's see what, where it restarts me. I assume I have to redo that mini fight at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Start at the beginning of the stage. Uh, let's see. Uh, Flight Connect says, I even work for a bank. My rent is almost 50% more than a mortgage would be, but they still want me to come up with fifty dollars or $60,000 to prove I can afford a house. 
That's insane. Yeah, no, it's insane how <sighs> rent prices are Finish basically more than paying a mortgage off. Yeah, like in all yeah. cases. Yeah, no, rent prices are always like almost double. Like around here. Yeah. Like, you 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 could mortgage a house for eleven hundred that would cost you nineteen hundred to rent. It's just psychotic. Uh, yeah, no, it sucks total shit. Because at the end of it, you don't come out owning anything. Right? It should be illegal. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah. So having any sort of government moderation on rentals uh, needs to happen, but won't. No. Well, luckily, the camera po seemed to be straight on this time, and you seemed to line it up pretty well with your dashes. And right. Get out ahead of this a little bit. I oh, think geez. you're faster on the ground. Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. You broke one of the things. That was close. Oh no. No. God, this is bad. It's a landing animation. Am I finally getting through to you? <laughs> Echo said, on my way. <laughs> By the time he shows up, we're gonna just be like, yeah, I guess we'll talk about that again. <laughs> yeah, same here, Dante. Like, I, I... In my head, the only way I could afford a house... Like, legitimately owning a house, not even renting. Though renting seems insanely difficult. Um, instead of renting, like, a park. Um, is if I was legitimately able to launch a product, like, one of the films I want. Um, and even then, incredibly improbable. Because people don't like paying for things. <laughs> I'm done. Oh no! Now I'm wondering if Agro's lurking. <laughs> Do you have merch? Uh, no, not right now. We did t-shirts, and then one time I was dissatisfied with how it came out, uh, so we stopped doing t-shirts for theme months because that rushed the production of them so much that I couldn't check the quality of the product in advance. Um, and I want, if we're gonna sell a thing, I would like it to be exceptional and not just good. Um, so I stopped doing shirts for theme months back because it was a bad one. I fucking lost my dong shirt and I'm pissed about that. That was actually a shirt I'm just talking about. The print, my print at least did not come out very well on that shirt. I don't know if that was just mine or other people had that problem. That was, I was pretty furious. Dr. Agar, what's the shit about the Anime South? <laughs> we were talking about Annie Mae. <laughs> and whether or not that was the mascot name for Anime South and whether or not the mascot for Anime South had a name. Right. Because we were talking about doing a theme month. Feel was saying we were we should do a theme month called Annie May. And I was like, that sounds like it's probably the, the, the mascot for Anime South. I don't fucking know. The only complaint I have about the merch is the mug print is tiny. I didn't realize it was that small. Mug print shit's so weird. Yeah. You must be careful. Do not head on. Wait for an opening. Dante says, word, and I will now read them. I'm glad I got the Aga Hus posters and the Star Wars Month shirts, and both the Star Wars Month shirts. That's awesome. Anime Bell okay, was a content creator that was a guest of honor one year and showed up every other year to sell art and run panels. Okay, thank you. I was like, and that sounds right, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I think Anime is also... A, some creator of some sort, but I thought there was a thing there, but no. okay. Man. 
that has been forever. I said instinctively, yeah, they stopped doing Anime South 18 years ago. And Bob's like, it hasn't been 18 years. And I'm like, yeah, I think it's been 13, but it feels like 18, doesn't it, Agro? It feels like it's been 18 years. <laughs> Weak. <laughs> swa, 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 swa. Pretty cool that you now get to do a boss fight. Yes. It was before time. It was the before. It was in the before time, the long ago. <laughs> the hoodie was really comfortable, but the print was faded or looked worn. Huh? Uh, Tosh isn't wearing it for once. Tosh actually wears our merch all the time. <laughs> For which month? <laughs> for, the, for the dog. Okay. It was really soft. How was the print though? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it upset me. <laughs> Crap with the gut says. I remembered what glomping was the other day and I felt like I was having a war flashback. Oh my god. Yeah, no. I, I, yeah, I read something you know, and read mom, and I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the next time we meet, I shall destroy you. You can just do that? Yes, so. What fuck? <laughs> oh, man. We actually beat a boss in this one. Ooh, special item, thunder. God damn it, Agro, come on! <laughs> What's up? We're talking about yaoi paddles in chat. So Agro goes, living on the water is a minefield. Every time I see someone carrying an oar, I do a double take. And check for the word yaoi. That's fair, we're all damaged. It was, it was really funny when, um... No, I'm not. You you people are insane. Yeah, um, I'm that, not, I have no idea what that is. I'm glad I, I'm glad <laughs> I missed it. Anyways, um... There was that fucking tweet that was like, What's the most talented person you went to school with doing now? And my first thought was, literally no one I went to school with is what I was I would identify as being talented. That was my first and only thought. Then Agro's like, this! And I'm like, okay, we're gonna do that bit, then I'm gonna come in here, I'm over here, fuck wit! This is just... Actually needs to use restroom, so I'll start it on safe. Sure, sure, that'll give you enough time! <laughs> Love's like I read War and Peace while taking <laughs> the longest shit of my life. Yeah, I don't know. I, I read that fucking tweet. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? This is like a fucking... <laughs> What's a talented person you went to high school with? I'm trying to think. Like, the only people I was genuinely like, oh, I wish I had that talent. Uh, is people who got into the video production course, which I didn't know was a thing, and no one let me know it was a thing, and that you could get into it normally. Because I think it was a part of the gifted program, and no one ever presented me with the option of, hey... Have you thought about the gifted program? Anyway. Saving that long takes, it lets you take in the atmosphere. That was oddly uh, faster than the first time we saved. I feel like normally it takes longer than that. <laughs> the only talented person I remember ended up being horribly rich, so I wrote off the whole thing. They knew what you would do and were trying to save you, Dan. I, I don't know, Muckbun. If I didn't do YouTube, I have legitimately no idea what the hell I would be doing right now. Because here's the thing. I can't even imagine me not doing YouTube but not doing video at all, right? Like... Like, I'm trying to imagine I'm doing video production for someone else and somehow that's better? I think I'm going to change games, though, while Bob's gone. Let me, uh, punch in on Bob's chair. I think he'll be fine with it. Yeah, see, that's the thing, John Juando. That's, that's, that's what I, my experience was. 
you would be making commercials for rich locals. We tried that, Spiff. They literally don't pay money. Here we go. We'll get some of that in here. Very cool. Very cool. I'm switching games. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Literally have no idea what I would be doing if I didn't end up doing YouTube. When did that Tosh? So, that was the Otogis. We also promised some Magatama this stream. We can try that and see if it works, or if you want, I can play Phantom Crash for a bit and give you a break. Whichever. I've been curious about Magatama forever. <laughs> What's up? The zoom in shot of you stuffing your mouth, or? I guess, yeah. <laughs> Microsoft Game Studios. This did not come to America at all. Good luck, Bob. Probably warning me about how this game's break dollars. Probably warning me how sick this game's gonna be. Yes. I thought that was the opening for Ape Escape. That's fair. Uh, Spiff, while you were gone, said you would be making commercials for rich locals. Implying that anyone around here pays for anything. Yeah, no, we, we really did try that hustle. We tried and we ended up losing hundreds. Yeah. You guys have no idea. People around here do not want to hire people. They don't want to hire you. They don't even want to let you they don't even want to let you use anything they have, location, right, to make a free version of a product they should be paying for. Right. That's how bad it is around. They won't let you make a freebie for them. They won't even do that. We spent hundreds of dollars on equipment to do a freebie because they said we could do a freebie for them. But then they were like, but you want to film in our houses? I'm like, yeah. How the hell else am I supposed to make this pro bono project or this free product for you to look at? This area is a nightmare. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that it's it's not as bad elsewhere. Yeah, because I've heard of people doing that. Whoa, what? that is sick as shit. Man, they tried to warn us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? We were ready. Yeah, I haven't played it at all yet, but this should have come to the States. <laughs> yes. It's doing the lightest buzz. I was like, let's, let's make it the sound. Okay, we'll probably have to game it. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. 60, 60 frames per second. Whoa. Slow down, babe. I got one attack button. Is this blood will tell? <laughs> that block? Uh, yes, this is Magatama. Let me go ahead and update the title so that way it reflects that. Also, Draga, the only reason people around here don't do that is because they think they some the, the, they themselves somehow someday with no work or effort of their own while barely not even trying at all will become the rich. So why would they want to tear down the rich? So I assume it's just rumbling whenever he's fought. I guess so. It's just the the, the lightest, so I can hardly feel it. Casey says, "Dan, please make me rich." <laughs> I don't know, man. We're trying, just, okay? We're, do, we're doing the best we can, and now we have things that are job-like. <laughs> oh, it's starting rumbling more now. Ooh, ghost fish. You know how we want one of those? <laughs> Orochi. 
But yeah, people earlier asked, uh, Dan, are you trying to move out of Florida? And it's like, no, if I could not move, that would be acceptable. But it's getting to a point where it doesn't make sense not to. Which sucks. Job shape thing. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a thing to lock on? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here we go. That. So, what are you holding to do that? Uh, right there. Okay, to lock on. Yeah. Well, that's an acceptable button. Right. Word it wouldn't be. But for some reason, he loses it. Are we sure FromSoft didn't make this? <laughs> right? It certainly feels that way. But yeah, some of the places uh, I'm looking at and considering are actually like have Google Fiber and lower cost of real estate. So it's like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is infinitely more relevant to me than anything around here. Right. What's up with that Dan? Soapberry Jam says, all this is teaching me is that my grasp on Japanese is worse than I thought. <laughs> One box with Google Fiber, please. I didn't realize they got sued to ship, Makbana. If you don't mind talking about it, is there a specific place where they got sued to shit? Google Fiber is like a block away, says Mukbun, but with all the lawsuits, they stopped expanding, and I'm pissed. Ah. Huh. Are you doing this? Yeah. That looks like a crazy compressed video, not real time. Holy crap, right? <laughs> What? This is a very good effect. <laughs> this is either developed by Microsoft Game Studios Japan or Team Breakout. Who the hell is Team Breakout? I assume that would be the, the developer, Team Breakout. Because right. there's no way that Microsoft has studio they made in Japan. Yeah, that's not Microsoft's way. Comcast and AT&T didn't want them to expand. I forgot the exact lawsuit. Yeah, of course. God, that's disgusting. This country is so bad. No, you can't have Monopoly. We have Monopoly. <laughs> no, Monopoly mine, not yours. <laughs> Whoa. Are you part of the bear? Yeah, like Manticore. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he just woke up a little. <laughs> This is actually a cutscene. Yeah, that sounds about right, Adam Anmar. I'm so sorry to hear that. Co a cable company uh, lobbied the city to have exclusive rights to the infrastructure, so it can't get fiber there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lobbyists should all be killed. <laughs> 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 
yeah, no, lobby shouldn't exist. Yeah, that, I that mean, that neither should be local. Neither should be corporate. God, that sucks. Throw that article away for later so I can read that and get pissed. <laughs> See him rebase? <laughs> yeah. I... Oh my god. I don't think it's the barracks. I think it's the um the uh the academy. When yeah. you click on the academy in StarCraft, it makes that yell. We need that yell. Clearly. We need to find it so we can put it on the stream deck. You know, I don't I don't have a whole, a whole lot of sound for the stream deck right now. I, I, I have a few. Right now, I've got mostly like, uh... You know, and most people aren't really interested in the That's My Mom sound clip, I don't think. That's my mom. Probably not. I don't, I don't, I think that's just me. I think that's just me that's interested in that. God fucking damn it, Dan. What?! I'm just saying the stream doesn't want that. What they really want is Beatty. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's what people want. <laughs> yes, it involves Beatty. With a Bane mask. It was called Beatty. That's what people want, obviously. See, now I want to be like, hey, Tosh, what are you drawing? Just so she can yell at me, not that. <laughs> yeah. It was like an autocomplete. It's funny, Bob was like, hey, we could get, a, what was the two food places you mentioned? You were like, we could get Sublix, uh, Publix from Sub, Subs from Publix. Sorry, Sublix I, well, from I, Publix. I call it Sublix, that fucking. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna get myself some Sublux. I was working at Sublux Z balls. <laughs> Anyways, just, um, what was the other option you had for food? Uh, Papa Murphy's? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I look at his text, right? I look at his text, and my phone has three autocomplete options says subs from public it says papa murphy's that i don't know i was like what the fuck this is a jrpg this is right they have the three fucking options yeah no they're getting good about that yeah no they got pretty good at that kind of surprised oh, wait, this is where's the runaway <laughs> no I wonder if I just stop showing up the bobs for like a week. <laughs> what happens? It's just like, okay, well, I guess I'll record these podcasts and then Friday comes around and he's like, I guess I'll stream Neo too. That's what people want. <laughs> Papa Murphy's was my post big think meal every day for the first year. And then they moved to an inconvenient place and so now I need to eat real food, usually says Mr. Field. <laughs> <laughs> Young money writes in chat. Yeah, damn. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm just gone. <laughs> um. John Schwando says, One day, Autofill will start giving you agree, sarcastic agree, disagree, or proficiency in check. So this has a really interesting system where after I hit an enemy, uh -huh. it's somewhat tagged, and I can have my little ghost stingray buddy hit it. Ghost Stingray! More reasonable to know those names got. Yeah, that's true. Also, that meter filling up my sword. Okay. I think that I. I think I'm like. That's my plate getting dirty or something, and I need to clean it. Oh. 
What does Not it sure. do when it fills, though? Does it hit the tip a couple of times? Not sure. It's, I'm still confused on that. I'm trying to figure it out. Ghost Stingray! Ghostbusters theme place. <laughs> this isn't Bland Wonderworld! What are you talking about, aggro? Speech 50, put an egg on it. <laughs> That'd be really good. Thank you so very damn for the five subs. We Jeez. appreciate it. Enjoy the vannies, everyone. Thank you so much. That's really great. Did that start a heart train or anything insane? I don't know if it's been long enough. I don't enough. know. It's 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 covered by other things up there. I assume it's, it hasn't been long enough. I don't know the exact time on hype train. Got spiders all over so this. Barry takes the number one slot for gifted subs. Handily. Look at all these berries! Unleash them. A hype train is close. One more person needs to sub gift or use this. Okay, well, I was just trying to see the other part of this one screen and threw that in my face. Thank you, Twitch. <laughs> Someone asked me a question that really put things into perspective. They asked if the Land Wonderworld music situation was on the level of DBZ Budokai. We don't know that it is yet. Give, give it a little bit longer and everyone who is more worldly about music will realize that that game's just stealing it all. Right? And then we'll end up at Budokai. Oh my god, yeah. If they find out, oh yeah, no, it's not that, just that. It's that. I assume. Bro. I assume. You can't do that for only one song on a soundtrack. It's beat for beat. I know. It's just crazy because like the whole game was promoted as like, yeah, it's a musical. Yeah. So if all the music solo, Jesus. Man, that thing's blowing over there. I can probably go enter sicko mode. Casey says Budokai Oda OST rules. I'll look the other way. Yeah, me too. Budokai series music is really good. That's why I used it for the intro for giving games a chance. <laughs> Was it the composer of the land pretty famous too? Uh, yes, I think so. Oh my goodness. Bless you. Are you okay? Yeah, it sounded like it. She's dying on the couch over there. Please, won't someone help me buy a hope to put my dead wife in? <laughs> Thank you, Kyosuke, for gifting five tier one subs. Enjoy the panties, everyone. Jeez. We got tier one subs for Belezra, Voltar, Naramor, New Lucan, and Kino King. <laughs> it's just a small box. <laughs> Fuck you, Kate. Jesus. That was, that was just delightful. There's more than a fucking shoe box. <laughs> That's how she would have wanted it. <laughs> No, she would rather be buried in a cabinet. Uh, I think I think the appeal of her being able to fit into a cabinet will never end. <laughs> what was what was the Yeah, it just has yarn in it. That's like when you pack a box and you put popcorn in it, you put yarn in the in the cabinet with toad. Just pat it. Um Hey, Vox, we were all very happy that you won. We were talking about it before uh, it ended. You know, very, very happy to hear that. So, Barry Jam, uh, subscribe for three months, says, uh, for poor sick Tosh. <laughs> She's so ill. Please. Please help her with having indoors locations to sleep at. <laughs> Oh no, Tosh, what's wrong? She sneezed really bad a moment ago and she's gonna die. <laughs> That's how sneezes work. That's how her sneezes work, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Stone Horrible also gifted a tier one sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gaijin, for also doing that. Jesus. Yeah, he's pretty cool. So this game looks cool as hell, Bob. Yeah, no, I, this is probably the only footage of it. <laughs> I found something that was really bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was well, really yeah. bad. I could not tell it was 60. I could hardly tell textures were anything. <laughs> See, that's how we know we're doing important work. <laughs> 
Zibioku Sorcerer, says KZ. They, he does bear a similarity. <laughs> that guy's more like a Tenchi villain. Though. Should have come to the States. It was probably just too late. I think this was a super late launch. Oh, yeah. yeah if, if everyone wants to look it up. <laughs> Thank you so much for those subs, though. Just we always say that those are those are more important than everything we do on YouTube. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, like people don't think about that. The scale is literally Patreon, like Gingu's Prime Patreon subscription, and then Twitch sub. That's the, that's a pecking order. Because like those are the two most important things. Or just donating chat. Yeah, obviously. of course, obviously, because that's just there. That's a hundred percent money in our pocket. KZ says, YouTube ruins my life. Don't talk about it. Yeah, no, we're pretty... Uh, oh. Doing a test sample of the people I know, we're all pretty tired of YouTube. Yeah, it, it, it feels like a dead end, and it's really annoying. And this has all sorts of problems. Yeah, it certainly does have all sorts of problems. I don't know how to deal with a dude in the air. Can't believe it's been... 22 months. Jesus, has it? I didn't realize. Yeah, totally not Toby's. 22 months subscribed in a row. Nice. Jesus, thank you. But yeah, I'm just glad we get really good quality footage of this out there. Now, if only there was a good video platform for people to find things. Right? Boy, 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 you go. Oh man, I got really cool backflips, but he is tearing me up. I wonder if this is one of those fights where you're not supposed to win. Like, that's an insane amount of damage. Are you supposed to get in it back at him? Maybe. I mean, oh, okay. There yeah, we he go. lowers there we in go. a while. Then I can get him. Hopefully, hit him with this thing. Uh, so Barry Jam says 50 bits and take my mystery bits. Why are they mystery bits? <laughs> Whoa. I hear you in such YouTube, but also consider fuck Jeff Bezos. Oh yeah, 100%. But then at the end of the day, I'm able to more effectively find people, communicate with people, connect with people. I've found more Twitch channels that do things I'm interested in that I've ever found YouTube channels. Yeah. Guys, guys, I found like 12 streamers none of you have ever heard of except for me talking about them. And they, the, 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 like, many of them do things that are really, really important to me. YouTube, fucking who knows, you know? <laughs> Smith said, before today, Xbox games I knew were Halo and Drake of the 99 Dragons. <laughs> you know, Drake of the 99 Dragons is garbage, but I had so much fun with that, says Bach. <laughs> yeah, someday we'll play that. Did that twice, they're gonna lower and let me hit you. Yeah! yeah come the, on! The fact that YouTube thinks that them removing the number under dislike is somehow helping anything. Yeah, that's so insane. Like, what? what's the point of the dislike button then? And again, like like Feel said, almost certainly just the poor corporations don't like when their trailer goes up and it's obviously awful for people. Right. They don't like to see all the downside. Like, yeah, those are just those people are obviously uh, misogynist or something. We'll find some reason that they're they're invalid. Right. <laughs> yeah. You can't just like a game because it looks fucking obviously bad. <laughs> right. There's got to be something that's wrong with you that invalidates your opinion. Oh shit. This dude's real cool. Oh. But yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like Twitch has had a more positive influence on my life than YouTube has in quite a long time. There was a point in time where YouTube had... No, actually, you know why I started saying it? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feel says, I sure love not being able to tell if the tutorial is good or not. So Coke isn't mad that their weird cop-centric commercial got too many dislikes. Yup. 
Wait, they did it. When did they do this? Don't worry about it. Oh my god. <laughs> How tone deaf can you be? And they say, they're saying it is for content producers' mental health when they will still see the dislikes normally. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about, right? You know what would help my mental health more is if they would fucking recommend my channel to literally anyone ever. No, death. Well, that's how I was calling cussing, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah? Oh man, I've got the beats going now. Beats got that dirty face. Got that dirty, dirty. What, what, what level of pipe train is that? I think we have four. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, everyone. That was way too nice. Who are you? You know, I've only ever seen main character of this game. I wasn't even sure if there were going to be other characters, so very exciting. To see more than one character. I mean, as a format, I prefer YouTube. I prefer a video that's constructed and made and given to me. Right? Yes. Over Twitch. Twitch is a very different thing, and I have to be in the mood for it. I'm more often in the mood for YouTube. Problem. The way the algorithm has ruined everything and the way the ad revenue has completely dried up has made everyone change their content to make it worse. Yes. Man, I got a lot of eyes there. Asu. And you don't have 10 million subscribers. Why would they recommend your channel to people? <laughs> yeah. The fact that Gigaboots Tech Lab has more of a future than the main Gigaboots channel is insane. Yeah. And I mean a future as in growth potential. Ah. <laughs> okay, I saw her ears were weird for a second. But now she's got just strange hair things. Yeah, real strange hair things. Yeah, this game visually is very, very impressive. Yeah, I did not expect to look this good at all. No, me neither. I was like, this is going to be some jank-ass, ugly-ass motherfucking shit. And then we booted, and I'm like, excuse me? Especially, like, facial models. That's, that's like Ninja Gaiden to you. I still appreciate Dan tagging me for the Indivisible... The Gigaboots Indivisible stream in the Indivisible Discord because I expressed interest on a whim. Now it's been over a year since I've been here. Wow. <laughs> you mean the, uh, the spoiler cast? Man. Yeah, I, and that's the thing. That feels like that's already more of a success story in me just talking in a Discord than what YouTube does for me ever. You're right. I think the only reason analog gaming ever did well is because I went to places where people who really like CRTs are. <laughs> I need to look up when this came out. By the way, I took my phone out of its case and I'm like, man, this feels so nice. Why do I keep it in a case? Because <laughs> it's the only safe thing to do, Dan, that's why. Does your phone have a glass back? I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think mine's the same way, so it's like, no, never. <laughs> it's funny because you know why they do the glass back? Uh, for the chargers? Yep. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. thing I don't know. I could own though. Yeah, I, I actually bought one because I was like, well, if they're going to give me this feature, I'm, I'm going to take advantage of it. YouTube used to force feed everyone your Mega Man Maker content or I would have never found you. That's true. But that's the thing. That's what we have to be in the eyes of YouTube. One thing, yeah. One thing. We have to... We have to make the channel that is analog gaming. Yes. And that's the problem. Uh, Gigaboots is so focused on variety, the only way to be successful in the eyes of the algorithm is for us to splinter off all of our shows into their own YouTube channel. And that might work, but it would drive people insane. Right. But I guess then they, like, if they only care about that one thing, they get a feed of just that. That's true. We might I'm... retain people better. Right? I have no... How does everyone in chat feel about that? 
I really don't have a good understanding of it because I'm the kind of person who's like, yeah, I use this one email for basically everything. So it's a flood of nonsense. And I just I glaze over it and see the thing, if there's anything I need to see. Like I posted something that showed off how I have 66,000 unread messages. And, and then someone shamed yeah, you. And then Smith was like, I don't think I've ever even received that many emails. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, of course. I'm broken, so it doesn't bother me. See, Calvin Avin saying that he, that he found us through Button to Pixel for the Mega Man X collection makes me feel better about having done Button to Pixel. There you go. Because it really felt like a, a real dead end. I thought it was important work, but it takes forever, and then there's no things. <laughs> There's just people asking for light. Yeah, more things. That's thanks, right? Give us more. Main character design is really interesting. It's making me think of some anime. I can't place it, though. Right, Maybe the, the rumble's broken in this controller so much. It sounds it. Because it's just, it doesn't feel right at all. We have other Xbox controllers. We could just open another. <laughs> Bob? Yeah. This game came out on the 360. What? That's what this thing's saying. This was released in Japan in 2000. Three. This looks really good for a 2003 game. Yeah, I figured it... Why didn't it come to the States then? There were still years left in Xbox. And that was published by Microsoft over there. I guess there was like two Japanese. I'm gonna double check whether or not that's true that it's on the 360. I feel like that's impossible. Magatama for Xbox 360 2007 Moby Games. What? Well, I need to know. This is the only game the studio ever made. Says so Barry Jam and Chat. Wow. I wonder if there was some bizarre compilation of other studios that going under different Dante Damakazi says, I still can't believe that your button to pixel graph for Mega Man X showed up on Imager under porn that one time. Holy shit. Matthew Koss says, I found you guys through KZ Supercuts, and I started I think I started watching you guys more since last year. That's unreal, man. How the fuck? <laughs> huh, we're back in tutorial land. What do we got this? Okay, something with the X button. People like to know about input latency, but they also don't want to support the work that goes into knowing or doing the work themselves. Yeah, no. Like, like our our magnum opus, the the the, the smash video, took weeks, yeah. and we barely made enough money for one GameCube controller and one uh, controller adapter, one GameCube adapter. It's like, man, this is sick. Thank you, Joe, too, for subscribing. They've been subscribed for seven months. Like Connect says, I think I found you guys by your first Mega Man Maker video on YouTube, and then I saw you guys started streaming on YouTube. Yeah, people asked us to stream, and it took us a while, but we finally did it. I think the first time I saw a Gigaboots video, says Zebo, was on game trailers about the Mighty Number no. 9 Kickstarter, I think. Also, Mark of Kree was the first video on YouTube. Oh, no. Yeah, Mark of Kree was our first video on YouTube, basically. That has... Fake aggro, and it, it, he says something's a trumpet. And yeah, it's not a trumpet, and, and I swear to God, this man held on to that for five years, and in ca casual conversation, brought up that and brought up that he thinks about that. I'm like, are you insane? Right? One, no one watched that video. Two, no one's gonna be there. And he said it was a trumpet, it's not a trumpet. <laughs> right, like, who cares? It's so fucking hilarious. Well, I'm finding out more about how the combat works, but I'm not figuring out what the tutorial wants me to do, which is sad. There was a time when Dan was shy about taking $5 to play a level. Now Bob shy for completely different reasons. <laughs> Today, good... Today, give me 6400 to play your shit monkey game. 
Whoa. Whoa. Up on the D-pad. Takes me into first... Okay, any direction on the D-pad takes me into first person mode where I use the visor. It's very cool. Yeah, that's nuts. But yeah, I don't... I don't know. Um, we were never supposed to hit the $6,400 call. Right, no, that was it's a joke 64 goal. for a fucking reason. <laughs> it was a joke because, you know, Nintendo 64, guys. It was our polite way of telling everyone no. <laughs> they wouldn't listen. <laughs> Apparently. Which is fine. It wasn't even the worst Rare game by a long shot. Uh, who would have thought? Uh, not me then. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> First video from you guys was the YouTube channel uh, that YouTube showed me was the second episode of Big Thing to Mention, and I love the name so much I gave it a chance. Ooh, what was number two called? AZ via Twitter or Mutuals. That's how Executioner found us. No one remembers Mark of Cree had a sequel. I do. Yeah. I don't know. I, I We should give those games a chance sometime, Dan. I'm curious. Yes, you're right. Uh, they always, like, the style visually didn't appeal to me at all as a kid, so I didn't give him much of a chance. But Vo uh, Vox gave us 100 bits and said, joke's on you, Dan's always shy about anyone supporting him ever. This is 100% true. Yeah. I did not realize the misery of getting into a line of work where you're dependent on the generosity of others, but will never feel like you've earned it. says it right there. <laughs> what do you want? Dan Bob Dixon says, I remember when Gigaboots was Dan Bob, Agro, Eric, Fake Agro, Zeon, John Tron, Adam Sessler, Morgan Webb, Leo Laporte, the angry Nintendo nerd, the anime character from the PSM magazine, and Anthony Joe. I'm glad you remember the original cast. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with demanding $6,400 to play Donkey Kong 64. In fact, it is morally right, says Shayla. Oh, I can go first person and shoot it? <laughs> Dan, you left out friend of the channel, Mike Mate. <laughs> That's really neat. Probably bad, but neat. Big thing to mention, number two, that Pitchford Magic. That is a really good title. <laughs> Still proud of the Gigaboots FF7 art. I found your channel because a friend was constantly referencing KZ stuff, so I checked out KZ stuff, and then I found your channel, I stuck with Oh, I'm not going to read the rest of that, right? I'm not going to read the rest of that. I don't, re I don't remember. DK64 might have been the first stream that I started watching you guys, with, or at least around that time. No, Vok, no. Uh... I'm sure that if you do it again now, you could buy heaven and evict God. I don't know about that. Even buying a house is a no way. I remember the ghost that was the fourth player in, Twisted, in the Twisted Metal video. What? What? Is there something I'm not remembering? Oh my god. Did we do a Twisted Metal video where we played against each other and if there was a fourth player who wouldn't talk because they were shy? That sounds right. Sounds like something would have happened. Oh my god. Fox found the channel through Mighty Number no. 9. See, everyone, if you talked about curse shit, you'll track. <laughs> Fox is like, excuse me! This <laughs> is. It's fake aggro and alter ego for Dr. Aggro. No, they're nothing alike. That's the joke. Dan and I bond over our hatred. <laughs> Talk about curse shit, get curse bro. <laughs> By the way, do you have a maximum chase? That's another Microsoft game with some quality gold FMV. Uh, no. 
No, I don't. You should start back in the list. Fake aggro is more like bizarro aggro. Yes. You did a bit of the video where you wanted to bend and I was wait. There are only three of us, so who's the fourth car in the video ends? Yeah, that's true. I uh That was a long time ago, Math PSS. Uh, that must have been seven years. Yeah. Holy god. Speaking of curse shit, does the CRT Twitter guy watch Gigaboots? Or have some association. He spent all of April Fool's Day posting gags on CRT. He's never talked to me if he watches our stuff. Right. Some people just like gags. You I could mean, be in the chat right now. John, John Lenneman talks about gags all the time. Stream goal: ninety-six hundred hours of longing for a house. We we passed that. And it was just 9,600 hours of that. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I can't find out how to do that, I don't think. Okay. So I guess we have to stop here. But it's yeah. been cool. Doom's crawling for houses is Dan's passion at the Bubba KZ. That is not a passion. <laughs> it's a curse. Okay, here we go. We're gonna punch on into this. There's Bob chilling. No, you were better when you were relaxed. Uh. There you go. That's the mood I get into. <laughs> All right, Dan. You wanna play one of those Tony Hawks or something else? I don't remember. Bob's like, you wanna play not Phantom Crash? Oh yeah, Phantom Crash. I forgot. You wanna just here we go. skip it entirely? Phantom Crash has got its cool style. Oh, yeah. Can does. we skip the intro? Nope. Okay. Sorry. That's... It's like an hour of text. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yes. Even the Slay video we did with Eric a billion years ago, SLI. SLAI, if anyone's curious. Uh, we had to deal with that whole intro, and that is also a pile of text. In fact, it might be more. Maybe. Yeah. No, Slay's pretty brutal like that. 600 square feet pets allowed. $1,400 a month. By the way, no pets. Yeah, no pets. What are you doing here? You said there were pets. Well, now there's no pets. You know what? I'll let, let this intro play for a second. Yeah. It's a great intro. It is. And then I'll be right back. Sure. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever even heard of Maximum Chase. So... Definitely interested in checking out what that is. I'm here the most hyped person for Phantom Crash. Yeah. Uh, the she she Ella. She Ella. Let's see. But yeah, this is this intro is so weird because they've edited these mechs into like real world pictures. In videos sometimes. And it's it, sometimes it works really well, and other times it's like, ooh, mm, don't do that. I think you do something like this for uh, some of those PS2 uh, cutscenes for Armor Core as well. Huh, that's neat. So Barry saying that I uh, found the Japanese Wickyard where apparently the mate. The head programmer in Nagatama worked on Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, Sky, or Sky Clad Brent. This is basically exactly the same game as Slay. Like, like it plays as a, a sequel, supposedly. But you're saying this is actually better than Slay? Uh, yeah. Basically, it's so it's supposedly a suit, but it doesn't look better or have more stuff, so you know. Right, and it's it came really... out like almost four years later. Yeah, it's a weird port almost. Oh, it's a very different game. Okay. And everything but the mech piloting. Ah. Which uh, feels very similar, but looks way rougher. Right, I was like, it seemed so identical gameplay-wise, but just bad. <laughs> so that was, that was our first dick trip. The cool intro now. No, now. we get another cool intro. Okay, okay, Let's... yeah. We do have some 
Interesting. I'm cranking this music. I don't care if Bob gets buried. <laughs> yeah, the music is very cool. Like, that's definitely part of the stuff. Okay, Dan. Does Genki still live games? I'm not even sure. It's been so long since I've seen them on something. No, Genki's dead. Very sad. That was Dan, man. Took so much. Our common damage thing. Huh. He does motion promotions in Japan, the damn bob. They were heavily associated with the racing game. Huh. Also, uh, I crushed Dan Bob on this. The game audio is a bit loud. I can't really hear your bikes. <laughs> That's the point. Welcome to Shin Juku. God, that's so hard to read. What are you talking about? The letters are right there. It's fucking English. <laughs> Still interested in buying a home? No, Zillo. I thought maybe I'd just die on the street. <laughs> no, I guess water. Just looking around. <laughs> Childhood's end. <laughs> I want you all to imagine it's 2001. <laughs> this cat is so amazing. Look at its fucking face. Yes, it said Nipponese. Welcome to Shinjuku Wire, where. <clears throat> Where apathy and freedom abound in the streets that the government has neglected. Our stores deal with management and maintenance of the combat game, Rumbling. Rumbling. I am Salsa, the store guide, a cat chip. Nice to meet you. Salsa. I will begin the process of registering your Scooby pilot record. But before that, Pepper, will you get up now? Oh. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the Battlefields of Rumbling, the most <laughs> popular game of 2031, Art. I'm Pepper. We're getting there. I'm a guide of this place, Wired. Nice to meet you. And this is my partner. My introduction was already completed. Furthermore, the customer's genetic codes were confirmed 3.56 seconds ago flawlessly, and the customer's profile is 98% complete as well. Data processing going smoothly. Well, wait, then what's left for me to do? Your thermal en entropy is increasing. Do you have some problems processing data? Um, I mean, according to my calculations, the current guide process seems to be really efficiently done. Efficient, huh? Don't try to describe my existence with logic and numbers, will you? I was just, hey, quit the excuses. Just find out what I can do right now. If you don't hurry, I might accidentally fry your circuits with an iron. Ah, please wait for a second. Uh, yes, here it is. The customer needs to create an alias. Ah, that's all that's left? Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh, well, it's okay though. Imagine you get to the end of registering for a website and then they ask for your name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, the next step, I'll explain about your alias. Um, <clears throat> your alias is somewhat like a nickname. <laughs> Welcome to 2001. We have to explain what an alias is. Yes. Your handle, well, it's like a name. Um, your alias is somewhat like a nickname that's used in the neglected area. The neglected area. <laughs> oh my god, it's in Florida. The neglected area is similar to a lawless danger zone in some ways. <laughs> so in some cases, some people might not want to reveal their true name. Of course, you can change your alias anytime you want, as much as you want, so choose freely. True, true, Art. 
Anyways, please enter your alias in that machine over there. Mr. USA. Well, that's perfect. I don't, I don't know that we can beat that, but we'll try. Oh, we got emojis? Oh, man. I can have a slime? Aww. There's no space for that. No. Well, it could have one T, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> Confirming customer information input. Sending profile as alias Gigabyte. <laughs> Please wait until we get complete the transaction with Supervising Bureau. This is a routine thing, but... Got any questions for you? Any questions that you need to ask before the registration is done? Of course, we are always prepared to answer to the best of our abilities for our customers. That's right, you can ask anytime, so there's no need to ask everything at once. <laughs> if you have anything you'd like to know or something of interest, feel free to ask, Hart. Oh yeah, no, the, the music is the best part of this game, for sure. Completed data transaction with Supervising Bureau. Your data has been safely processed. So now Gigabut can also participate in rumbling. You're now a member of the Wireheads. Of course, this only means that the minimum registration is done. Oh, you need at least a Scooby to be called a real Wirehead. I'm Wirehead. Wirehead. Yes, I actually, when I booted this a couple weeks ago, when it showed up, that is what I did. Uh, true, not many Wireheads are without an SV, which stands for Scooby. Oh, wireheads keep winning. That's right, crap yep. with the gun. Yep. Wireheads got cocky. <laughs> <laughs> I personally ride a Holly of Il Ventuno. The Holly series has top mobility and durability. It's a heavy duty SV. Next, there is. Uh, what a coincidence. Hey, Mion, got a minute? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Can I help you, Pepper? This customer here has just registered and wants to know which SV is the best. Oh, I see. How do you do? I'm Mion. I uh, usually hang around near the aqua line. And this is Hail, my supporter in a leopard type ship. True. <laughs> Just a picture of a leopard, it's fine. Hail, you're as cold as ever. Any chance you'll start warming up a little? If it is necessary. <laughs> Get it? Oh. Hail, because he's cold? Sure. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, will you please tell him about your SV, Mion? I rate a photon from the Kojima Heavy Industries. If you're pressing for mobility, a lightweight SV is the choice. Yeah, that's true, but a heavy armored SV, the Aeron is pretty useful truth too. Listen, even a slight change in leg part can dramatically change an SV's mobility. Yeah, under normal circumstances, a vehicle type or a hovercraft type is faster than a walker type. So basically, an SV that suits you best one for you. Hold on a sec. You think that you chips could just conclude this like that? Hmm. So you have an alternative conclusion in mind? Don't make fun of me. What's important is that Gigabyte should choose an SV that he likes and participate in an actual battle. We also accept that registry. We also accept the registration for all the rumbling matches of old Tokyo. Except for those who would not participate because of the fear of messing one's hair. Anyone... Because of the fear of messing one's hair, anyone can register. Very well translated for that bit. How tragic. Arrgh. Oh, I almost forgot. If you go out, you'll find a hangar of your own provided by the Supervising Bureau. Your private info will also be provided in the hangar, so you should be able to visit the place. Not thinking of breaking into the hangar, are you, Pepper? Oh, what are you saying? Um, I think you should go out now. Uh, take care, then. I hope to meet you someday on the battlefield. So long, and come back again in one piece, heart. There you go. I just gotta surfboard around. Yeah, just surfing the web. Yeah, I guess so. What do you do? He did have a hoverboard in the intro, so, you know, Use maybe I guess it's real. Not a metaphorical hoverboard is what we're saying. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I guess I'll check the used ones. Good day. Oh, aren't you Gigabut the newbie? I love the picture of the dog. No, and it's just almost the yes face for the dog. It's so good. I yes, this is Tokyo Extreme Racer, Extreme Racer Mecha. It's real good. 
Ha. Uh, Pepper of Wire just called. I'm Xena, the shop clerk. You're thinking that you should be coming here often, right? Since the only place to buy weapons in the neglected area, area is Wild Machine. But the owner of the shop doesn't like people coming here just for that reason alone. So we always spend some time with the newbie doing an interview so that the newbie can trust our wares. That's the code of honor that the owner holds, though. Yo, Xena, we need more goods. It must be an order mistake. Drag. Anyway, the owner has just revealed to you that although he is in the shop, he isn't showing his face. Hey, Atsuro, are you are you planning to break whatever goods we have left with that clumsy foot of yours? Watch out. Dumb as an ox, but decent. It's a public opinion of him. I just think of him as a friend. You'll get to beat us at least once in battle. Take care. Okay. Let's see what SVs they got. Is this a visual now? Kind of. No. <laughs> There's a shitload of talking outside of the normal gameplay. Okay, so here are our real two options. We can't afford any of these fancier ones. Ah. I think we're gonna go with this. I mean, I kinda... Can I look at it? Yeah, SV pet spec. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> right arm weapon, not equipped. Is this just the game I learned about from a Thor High Heels video? I mean, yes, but I got it to you first, so I get credit when he does that. <laughs> right, like, it, we have a very similar energy to the kind of games he plays. Yes, that's why I'm a producer of his, because <laughs> he fucking gets it. And he follows me on Twitter now, so <laughs> he really gets it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So, I could buy this, maybe have some money left over to, you know... Oh, you can afford other ones from the producers? Yeah, there are other ones directly from the producer, but if I buy one used, I could save some money and then, you know, spend it on parts. Right. Know, customize it a little bit more. But yeah, I can I can go check that out. Let me do that. What man this ever stepped into? This is a uh, Phantom Crash? Is this is this is how nuts it is. Phantom Crash is so obscure, there are only like two or three spoken word videos of it on YouTube. This is just my game. Okay? <laughs> like, most people have never fucking heard of it. Well, we'll just go in order top the bottom. Okay, so we can afford two of these. Uh, no. But it looks cool. <laughs> and... I like those used ones more. It's just like something about, uh... Yeah. Well, well, the other manufacturers may offer something closer to that. Ah. Okay, so that's a double minigun. Because this is just one of the three manufacturers. Okay, Kojima, sell me. Uh, this is where the cooler legs are from. Yep. Oh, no. Well, it's, they still don't have the wheel legs like they have on that used market. That's true. They had the wheel one. I. This is more of my preferred one. Let okay. me, uh... Yeah, this one's really decked out. I'm probably going to go with this. But we can go check out the other shop, though. Sky Clyde Brand says, How much was the modded Xbox? I kind of want to get one now. Uh, it was too much. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Buying a pre modded was too much. I definitely would have gone through uh, the. There you go, Bob. There they are. The Ventuno. What company is this? Pistol, pistol. I just said it. Ventuno. Ventuno? Yeah. Okay. What's Holdy? I don't know, probably the line of mechs from Ventuno. Oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd probably go through the, uh, the business. Yeah, his weird hover pad <laughs> Look at those legs. things. It's what the heck? freaking weird. <laughs> um, it feels like a really weird Gundam design, like an anime Zaku or something, yeah, where it's just like, like, you dumpy bitch, you can't, like, go up a hill. <laughs> the Rick Doms are a little bit like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's this guy, my value proposition. <laughs> I'll check him out, though. It's just two pistols. Nah, no, I'm good. I'm going to Kojima. He has the good stuff. What if you just tougher? You know what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really interested in that here today. There we go. Yes. I've boarded it. Please name the chip installed in the Scooby. 
Electron. I don't know anything about the chip, so I, I guess we'll leave it as Electron. Gun. <laughs> or I could change its name to Electro and give it crazy face. <laughs> Uh, there's also a music store, so they clearly get it that the music is really good. Hello, Battle Wild listening to your favorite tunes. Welcome to Sonic Amp. <laughs> hey, Daily. <laughs> Scan complete lunch. I think he's a new customer. Oh, hello, new customer person. I'm Lunch, and this is my assistant, Daily. What How do you do? Heck? Very pleased to meet you. It's our policy to greet new customers politely. I mean, it does feel awkward to enter a new shop, right? Did you hear about our store, Sonic Amp, from Wired? Well, it's just a place you can buy music. Lunch. You can listen to our music in the preview corner, so try it. If you like what you're listening to, please buy it. Hey, Lunch, isn't that a... Hmm, daily? Monkey screaming? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just showing her shop to the customers, so you really shouldn't interfere, okay? I'm not trying to interfere, it's just that... Don't you smell burnt food somewhere? The stew! Oh! I forgot to turn off the stove! Ooh, the kitchen's burning! Fire! Well, this is 150th... This is the 150th one of your career. Congratulations. Thank you! Now I'm literally human fire extinguisher, thanks to all this practice. Ah, I think putting out the fire in our house is more urgent than greeting the customers. I guess so. I'm going to go home early today. Well, since the reception machine takes care of all the actual sales, I guess any fools can buy music by themselves. Well, bye-bye then. Oh my god. A little bit of a mess. See lots of people in the chat saying Ape will escape. <laughs> and Apes, ha Apes have escaped. <laughs> Lunch, you had one job. It was literally your name. Oh, at least we come back to this, say you could buy it. Bye, Mass. Have a good one, Mass. Enjoy your sleep. Thanks for hanging out. See, I'm torn because I really just want to listen to this one song I bought over and over forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do that. Oh, wow. Thank you, oh, Suzu, thank you Shiro. Suzu. Suzu Shiro. For the five gift subs, enjoy the bannies, everyone. Okay, so these are the best hits of today, huh? What was this game called again? I need to find a YouTube playlist of all the music. A uh, Phantom Crash. I hope that this crash acts up on YouTube. I'm not sure. You might have to look elsewhere. Hi, I found it near the shop entrance over there. That's all. Right, Nicola? God. Every one of these chips. It's great! Of course! Ah, your kindness is almost lethal, Roy. But who would have thought that this weirdly folded letter was written by Shinku? Don't tell me you read what was inside. Hmm, don't know. I think that a woman has to be somewhat appealing. Like wearing a skirt once in a while, you know? I'll kill you. <laughs> you know, unless you know some psychotic- it's Psychic mumble jumble, I don't know- I don't think it will work out. Shut up, who asked you anyway? Just get off my- Give me back my letter, you thief. This is bad. Don't just stand there. Try to do something, you. Impossible. She's like that. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Name any other game you could play where a dog, a photo of a dog just goes, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Yeah, this game has got something. Ho, ho, ho. That's so irresponsible. Ah, don't scowl, please. Ah, I see the two of you are at it again. Oh, hello, Siva. Drum. Is that his name? Hello, Siva. Oh, he's saying hello to both Drova, who's the human, thus blue, mm. and Dromanon, who is the AI. How have you been? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. We're fine, aren't we, Menon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good owl picture. True, nothing important has changed all's well, I must say. They're very good at this. Ah, Siva, just in the nick of time. How could I be of help? Oh, Siva. <laughs> hello, you look well today, Shinku. 
I wasn't ready for the back view. How weird that was. They're just talking, and I think someone is here. Oh, my apologies. I was busy talking. Scanning complete. Confirm registration of alias Gigabyte. You seem to be a new contender. Hello, I am Siba. I'm a wired head as well, for now. And this uh, young man here is Roy. Hi there! And to continue, this lady of chronic hysteria, Shinku. I can't believe I got to beat Siba on the street by chance. That lucky charm must really work. Oh, what a bad hair day. Why is it a nightmare? Is she too embarrassed? Well, anyway, you can never grow tired of her. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Nikola, and Blue, who's like a big sister to Shinku. And this here is Troman on Siba's friend. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm glad to have your acquaintance. Greetings. I wish for a prosperous relationship. They're all good people, so try to get along. I know rumbling will be difficult at first, but keep on trying and you'll get the hang of it. If it gets too tough, then get out. As long as you're not down, it's okay. Well then, shall we all head to the battlefield? Yes, it's a good idea. See ya. Let's fight together someday. Shinku? Everyone, I think the registration is about to start. Let's go. Uh, even his back is so attractive, only the best woman will suit him. <laughs> Mm. Let's go, Shinku. Wait, was the uh, bird his girl girlfriend? That's what it sounded like. Ah, yes. Heart. It must be hard to put up with her, Blue. No, no. She's so cute. In a way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for anyone just tuning in, this is Phantom Crash. Yeah, I really need to update the title. Uh, give me one second. There is a more typical game in here somewhere. Yeah, we haven't hit it. We we literally almost hit it, and then I was like, I need to save. Yes. You can only have one save file. Oh. Welcome to this game. That's mean. It is really mean. Why did they do that? Uh, it is really mean. Give me one second, Bob. Give me one second over here. Just takes place in the year 2031, only 10 years from now. Yeah, no, it's said there. We're almost there. We're going to get to Phantom Crash World in 10 years, and we'll all have AI partners, and, uh... And it will be great, actually. And the uh, various cities like Tokyo will be fully destroyed, and we'll be hell holding mech combat on them. And it will be great, yes. actually. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Melly Horizon takes place in the far future of 2018. Yep. You know, with all the different times they did prequels and stuff in Melly, I really thought that there would be... Like, we'd see the point where things diverged. <laughs> like, there'd just be the obvious, Oh! There's alien technology! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead, Bell you're all five did nothing. <laughs> It had one of the most advanced, like, mech suits in any of them. It was mm -hmm. so, so dumb. I think that point was supposed to be World War II, says Rad Idea Guy. Maybe. Area select. Okay, so I get to choose my entrance. Those are live combatants running around. I'm gonna choose this way because they're not facing towards me. Hey, Gigabyte, it's your first day in the Battle of Shinjuku. So, how do you feel? You should feel lucky but just by being with Roy. <laughs> we Gigabyte's almost faded in. Be better now. Thanks, Nicola. Oh, Roy. I already know you love me, so. <laughs> anyway, this here is Shinju Shinjuku. is prime hunting ground. How should I put this? Uh, hmm. Shibuya is full of loudmouths, and Tokyo Bay lacks vitality. True, but Shinkujuku's also full of no one but the maniacs and salary men. <laughs> Yo, Nicola, can't say that your blue face isn't pretty, but I like your smile, you know. Well, what if all the losers of Shinkujuku fall in love with you, Roy? This place has a lot of male wireheads, though. That was inevitable. Being an area ranker of Shinjuku is not popular among girls. What does that got to do with anything, Xena? Oh, Atsuro. Wild Machine. 
Wild machine. He just says wild machine. What about the shop? I'm on my way back after delivering something to Pepper. I skipped that entirely. Just Whoops. in case you don't know each other, <laughs> this is Atro and Zeta. Yeah, I know them. Uh, if Gigabud is thinking of becoming the champ, you have to beat these guys. Are these guys just flirting on radio? No, they're right next to each other. Yeah, this is <laughs> supposed to be in person, weirdly enough, and the chips can be heard and don't question any of it. <laughs> in an interest in that sort of thing. Uh, look, Roy, I gained Shijuku from that guy. I, you know I don't lose. Remember that you're getting old and that self-assured attitudes of vulnerability. Quiet! I'm going home. Heh. <laughs> See you, Roy. Gigabut, come visit the shop once in a while. He's always busy. You can say that. Now, Nicola, it's time for us to leave. See you later, Gigabut. Don't get too caught up. You ever make a visual novel but forget to make backgrounds? No, can't say I did that. <laughs> well, they did. Like, why is there this confusion? Oh, right. There's, it never feels like we're in a place. We're in a menu. Yeah. And then they're talking over the menu. <laughs> that, well, you're seeing it now, Smith. We're finally through the gameplay. <laughs> Parts of this control scheme, weirdly enough, made more sense on Duke. Jesus. If you can fathom such a thing. I'm trying to remember how I go in stealth. One moment. Because I got side dash button. As chat finally sees the game. <laughs> yes. It's socially awkward touch distance. Oh, you zoom. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, it's like how long press to actually start shooting stuff? I don't know. It's a very long time. They have a lot to tell us. A lot of relationships to build up. You need to understand. It's very important. I'm just going to stay up here and be an asshole. Until someone forces me to stop. That one girl's very bashful. We need to we need to know that. That's yeah, essential. Shinku, Shinku's very bashful. That's a very unique character, and we must give her the time necessary to breathe. Yes, this game is related to Slay. This game came out what? This is the predecessor to Slay. It came out four years before Slay did. Uh, it also runs better, as I recall it. Um, though, as you can see, it's not exactly a lock 30. What if Hardcore had the aesthetics of Hard Truck Apocalypse? What the heck is Hard Truck Apocalypse? <laughs> we found out that dude's dating a bird. We did, but that was a bird chip. So it's just an AI with a bird chip. So What's fun. wrong with bird girlfriends? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with bird girlfriends in Shinjuku. <laughs> yeah, it'd be really great to be able to play this on a uh, 360 controller. Just because using uh, white and black to dash Dodge. on this is unfortunate. Yeah, that's rough. Dodgy car battle game. Huh. I really need you to die so I can get points. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I oh, no, you, were, you got too greedy. Yeah. yeah, that was really messy. I actually have done much better in the past just picking up a beat up thing out of the, uh, out of the, um, the used shop, Wild Machines. Mm. Like, I did much better on the file I just erased. Very sad. Now, since you died there, is the game basically over? No. Okay. You, you can't recover from this? Yes. You lost? Okay, it looks like you didn't I didn't totally lose all my money, but did I did, in fact, lose $12,000. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that wire head will do. Um, Good enough. I don't know, I... Why? He looks green a first timer and he doesn't look peculiar. If we let that wire head in, the, the total number of today's contestants of contestants of today's battle becomes 127 exactly. Exactly. That's the rationale behind your decision? I told you before, the world exists and is run by coincidence. <laughs> Which means it's a perfect reason in my opinion. There we go. We're back into bizarre visual novel again this, this is great like my 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 motives are mysterious <laughs> the dog the dog yes <laughs> <laughs> whatever i'm content to be at your side forever how burdensome it's okay that is this the beginning of the end i wonder listen miss all living beings are heading towards their end starting from birth. 
So the final moment is inevitable. Time does not flow towards the beginning. <laughs> then the end has not begun yet. Perhaps, perhaps this is the beginning of it all. Since the day I gained self-awareness. This what? fucking dog is self-aware. And probably a great husband. Jesus. It's important to stop for finding out. <laughs> Let's go rumbling again. Hopefully this time I don't fuck it up. Can we talk for a moment? Bob, can we? Uh, is, is that okay? I don't know. Talk I think she might introduce us to the dog, and I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> There's no way that's happening. Also, I forgot to update the title of this. I'm gonna drop it. Blank. Blank. Can we Blank. talk for a moment? I see you. Look. Wow. Isn't it? Isn't it something? Yuki showing up at the shop. Hmm. I guess. Staring at others without even introducing yourself doesn't make you look very polite. Oh, sorry, I'm Whoa. Yuki. I go by the name Scooby Ryder around here in the trash area. You you need to hold on this face for a second. It's a very good face. Yeah, no, it's really good. Half smirk. If, 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 you know, I could just crop that out and make that the image that people get to see when they join the stream. <laughs> and this is my best friend, Kudryovska. Kudryovska says, I apologize for Yuki. Please forgive us. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Isn't this the chance? If we talk nicely to her, maybe she'll let us challenge her. Well, our business here is over, and I see no reason to remain further. Yes. Well, shall we? Ah. Oh, yes, your name is Gigabut, right? I wish you luck on the field. Bye, then. Wow, Gigabut, I'm impressed. Are you personally close to Yuki? You've never met her in your life. She's the first ranker of the old Tokyo district. Oh. In other words... She's the best wirehead in all of old Tokyo. Therefore, the person to defeat her will become the, the next first ranker. Hmm. So why did she talk to Gigabut then? More mystery. Time to rumble. Rumble. Okay. God, this system is so strange. You want to wait for the right moment. Yeah. And what the chat doesn't know is you could have left early and kept Yes, warts. the idea is that I kill people and get out before I'm wrecked. Right. That walk is hilarious. Whoa. <laughs> Just gonna step. He's fine if you shot. This is not over the default name being Mr. USA. Yeah, yeah, that's still really funny. Do you have to pick up anything from their corpses or not? No, I don't have to, I don't think. I may be forgetting. Um, but there are drops in certain areas that give me health and stuff. Okay. No, you don't have to pick up anything. Yeah, they do. it does have kind of this Chad stride. <laughs> it's that level of <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> Got hit while you're coming out in the country. There we go. There's my, there's my cloak. This shit was mind blowing in 2001. <laughs> But you didn't actually take damage from that the missile you got hit by when you were spawning out. No. I don't think so. Because I didn't complete it, it needed to go down. But at least there's that. Fetish beast. Yes, Electro is Aria for Electro. Yep, strong. Electro, uh, Smiley. Okay. Uh, so, like, depending on the quality of chip you stick in it, because, of course, we can buy new companions, uh, you'll get all sorts of enhancements. I'm going close. Oh, they did too. Man, I hate when the AI reacts that way. Just, you're just like, I'm invisible, so you can't hit me. And they're like, me too. And I'm like, that's a dick move. <laughs> and is, is there a chat log going, or is that just your AI thing? That's not just my AI. Okay, they, okay, they let yeah, me know that more. they clerk cloaked. Yeah, there we go. Which is important to keep an eye on. That person's name was Fedesha. It's Fedesh B. Thanks for pointing that out, I wouldn't have noticed. System durability is down 50%. Safe to stay around when you're so low on health? Yeah, it's fine. Member 1090. That's a really memorable name. Memorable name. <laughs> Like, please stay over here long enough to... Oh, I think that... No. <laughs> Some other kid. Uh, 
I wish there was a mini map. Yeah. But I need to get some health here. I yeah. still got plenty of health. Yeah, sure. Looks safe. Mm -hmm. Missile alert. Uh, no! Yeah. Too greedy. Again. Ah. How much money did you lose this time, Dan? Probably all of it. I can't believe I'm doing this poorly. <laughs> I did perfectly fine the first time. But we hit the stream button, and you know how that goes. Right. And then you were like, no, I'm saying in, even though it's like, clearly you shouldn't. <laughs> I did great. Look at all that money I got. You did get money. I got a shitload of money. I made 38,000 in there. That's pretty good. Should have been better, but you know, I did pretty good. I mean, just look at how much you lost. Don't think about how no. you would have gotten no. that much more if you crashed. Not even once. Not even going to think about that. Okay. Let me see if... I can get a better chip. <laughs> That's the problem here, the chip. We need a dog. Oh man, a wolf. <laughs> Look at these fucking things. Yes. The screaming crow is really good. Oh my God. So if anyone was curious what I put down this controller to go over there and do for a moment, it was buy a completed box copy of this game uh, for me, babe, because I'm pretty sure I don't have a copy on me anymore. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm doing that thing where somebody lets people know a game exists and they're going to buy this game off of eBay and now I won't be able to get one. Don't worry, I don't know if anyone in chat's been actually excited for it. Oh, oh I'm sure. Oh, the there's... people are already hardcore fans. I don't know, the chip stuff's pretty hype. The chip stuff is very hype. It's definitely been the highlight of the stream. <laughs> yeah, I think the Muse mech actually comes with a better gun. So I'm doing less damage than I'm used to doing because I'm, I usually buy the used one. God, that's rough. I think I think if this was on a platform other than Xbox Original, yes, I think that would drive more people to buy. It. But there weren't that many listings, so I thought whatever. Yeah, you might as well. I'm just sad I won't be around for this inevitable death stream. Who knows, Dan Bob? Our our backlog's so intense. Yeah, that maybe we'll just push that off until you come back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Bob will go into a canatonic state during a death stream of this because there's so much tech. <laughs> Option. This game has shot yeah. up in price recently? Really? That's weird. Huh. I wonder why. Right? No one's talking about it. I tried to find people talking about it and I could. Right? Who knows? Maybe it's just small live streamers who don't have a strong YouTube presence. Perhaps. Maybe they're big streamers and they just have no YouTube presence. Okay, I'm going back in. I need some more water. I might grab my sandwich. Yeah, the sequel on the PS2 is much cheaper. As far as I know, anyways. Slay. S-L-A-I. Steel Lancer Arena International. Looked up this on how long to beat there is no data for it. This game's fucking hard, it's why. And no one fucking plays it. Yeah, it's an obscure good Japanese yeah. game on Xbox Original. Oops, Whoops. shit. You the waste that so, day. So yeah, you can leave like that, you guys. It's that easy. <laughs> How did I get that much money? <laughs> you just enter the ring, shook up the dude in the head and walk out. That's how I get by. <laughs> All right, that's enough for today. I've ended one human life. I wish I could get 50 bucks for just showing up. Oh, lunch is here in a great outfit. Yes, and, you know. looking good. Okay, for a beautiful and healthy body, adequate eating and adequate exercise, which gate should I go out from? Just pick any gate. We're, we're D-class, so what's the difference? Um, but still, don't you hate getting picked on? I hate that. Lunch. Oh, hi, Pepper. Are you playing too? What brings you to Shinjuku? You! You stole my electric car again. I'm never gonna forgive you for this. Never! Thanks to you, I had to walk. Pepper's SP is in repair, so we couldn't take that either. By some unknown fate, we couldn't catch a single taxi. You could have ridden your SV, so why did you have to use my car? Oh, because I was so tired after last night's game, I couldn't even ride my SV. 
So I went home by taxi and left the SV in the Shinjuku parking lot, so I wondered how I could get back. I saw your car in front of my shop with keys, even. Shame on you, Pepper, leaving the car door open with keys inside. Somebody could steal your car! You stole it! Ugh. I get these killing urges when I talk with you! I bought from your store and you steal your customer's car?! What's so bad about that? This is a mountain you climb it, right? If there's a car, you drive it! Oh, your eyes are really scary. Really, Pepper? How, how did you know it was me? A stupid sweet potato smelling wing feathers that you wear were scattered where my car was? <laughs> wow, Pepper, you're almost a detective! If I had known better, I might have filed a missing item report, grumble, grumble, grumble. Well, let's go to the gate before Pepper throws wrinkles for all that scowling. What wrinkles? Oh, wait, my car keys. What? See? Why wouldn't you want to play this game? It's delightful. <laughs> It has sentient dogs who talk about time flowing towards the end and not the beginning. Yes. When I'm talking with you, I get killing urges. But yeah, it's really funny. I Playing this game... Like, you can play this game and get an idea for what it would be ideally be like, yeah, I think that's still a practical concept. Like, you and I were talking about, like, I was pitching to Bob that this game is a more practical idea for a game to pitch at a launch of a console if you put an actual multiplayer into it mm -hmm. than, uh... Oh, God. Destruction of All-Stars. <laughs> Took me a second. Just because, you know... You get some MOBA-esque qualities to it where there are just there are scrub enemies that you just kill easily and uh oh, one second. <laughs> are you cloaked, you motherfucker? Yeah, that killing dent deep thing is that what Casey says to feel. Yes. The podcast, yeah. But yeah, for to break down the flow of the combat a little bit more, there are a number of enemies in here. Many of them will just be, you know really, really piddly shit. They, they won't be a real threat at all. But there are, there are substantially difficult opponents. And then there are real fucking juggernauts that are like important characters. <laughs> I believe the term is rankers. Oh, hey, look out Roy. Nice. Fuck that. <laughs> I need to make sure I equip the music correctly, because I haven't played with the correct song once so far. Huh. Even though I bought it. Right. Yeah, not enough neck games get made, honestly. Oh, I feel yeah. like it's the untapped market, just like dinosaurs. Yeah. It's fucking weird that video games got away from doing shit based on primal fucking strong aesthetics, right? Mm -hmm. Like fucking mechs and dinos. Like fucking no one's greenlighting shit for that. It's real weird. Because that's what all it used to be. It didn't used to be you have to have a really good idea for a game pitch. It had to be, we're going to make dinos. Right. Can I get money? <laughs> I think you set the music in the garage, if I remember right. Is yes. Executioner? Yes, okay. that should be right. So this is a pretty good run. But yeah, no, it's, it's sad that FromSoft is basically the only people who were making that game, and they just stopped. Yeah. Because Dark Souls started doing well, so they were like, oh, we can't do anything else now. Yep. No one took over. Yeah. No, it'd be really great if Sony had developed any sort of first party that was willing to do stuff like that. Right. I guess we got uh, Demon X Mach. That's been the only thing. That's Mach. true. And that came out on a total of one console. Yes. I got the PC version installed and got my save transfer over fine. That's but great. I need to do that at some point. Yes. I need to go back and play that game. But I thought it was really great from the time I spent. Yes, Arc 2 is coming. Dinos are getting their resurgence. It's happening for Dinos. It's yeah. not happening for Max. It's happening for Dinos, though, so that's good at least.
have a good night, uh, garbage sheep hound. Take it easy. Titanfall 3? Never. Yeah, no. That's so sad. Oh, you're a badass. Oh, yeah, he's purple. Spook. Yeah, I'm pretty spook. Battletech was underwhelming. I'm trying to remember what Battletech was. It sounds familiar. Was that 360? I think that was 360. I feel like a mech warrior happened sometime in the last five times. No, you're right. I don't know anything about it. It may have shipped last year. Yeah, I don't. It's one of those that's only on PC and they make the, like, super complicated control. I'm doing great this time. This is what the first time should have been. Online PPT one. Oh, is there? It was the Jack yeah. Warrior online PPT? Yes. Huh. Oh, so if you double tap the stick, you can do the side dash. Okay. Did think Gundam game come out recently? I mean, there's typically Gundam game come out once in a while, but oh shit, it's her! It's her! Oh my god, that gun's huge! Yeah, it is. She's gonna burn down this door. <laughs> I'm worried about which door she came through. Right? Oh, there she is. There she is. But yeah, I wouldn't. It's hard to classify what they do with her Gundam games as, uh, like, mech. mech. Like, this is more mech, uh, mechanically speaking. Like, right? Like, those... I really am not a fan of what they do with those games. Like, it's a neat thing, people seem to like it, so whatever, but it's not... It doesn't satisfy any of my urges for mech stuff. Ew. She's gonna bust my ass, I need a quote. She's so close to dead. So are you. But yeah, you can get that last hit. Oh, she cloaked. Ah! Damn it! Ah, I should have just left. Beaten by the hobo. Hey, she's a fantastic cosplayer. You be nice. <laughs> Who steals cars? How bad is it? I killed 29 people. That would have been a lot of money if I didn't break down. It's still a lot of money. It's still over a hundred thousand. Right. That means I can I can start working on some things. Uh, because I haven't even shown off what are the better parts of this. Yeah. Okay. I, I haven't played much of Gundam Breaker Three. I, I hear it's a bad one. There. The only song I need. <laughs> Did it actually equip? Yep. Okay. Enough to buy a nice chip. That's true. Oh, Breaker 3 is good. New gun and Breaker is the bad one. Okay. So here's here's the thing I haven't shown at all. I will I will spare everyone. <laughs> oh no. But there's so much lore, Dan. And I'm interested in it, but I understand if people are maybe not at this point. <laughs> But we, we don't know who Greek is. Nope, you don't. So each part in this game you can uh, customize to an absolutely insane extent. Oh. And it costs an insane amount of money. Jesus. So you can do that for legs, chest, back, arms. Um, and you can make it heavier light. And I guess. And that affects mobility and oh. how much. Yeah, so, so you got that. And you can also, where is it? Huh. So this chip that my mech came in can't level up, so it's level 99, so it can't improve any of its stats, so I have to buy a new chip. Yeah, I was like, that's a little deceptive, because the level 99 chip you think would be immaculate, but yes. the first thing they give but you no, so it's, it's clearly really trash. Just, it's just trash. Is this the Become Strong meter? Definitely. Yeah, yes. So, Bob, what are we buying? 
There's so many. Oh, we can afford we... any of them. I, I, I really like the crow and the. Uh, if you go to the the, the surprise cat to the left. <laughs> I like those two, but do what you will. I uh, see. Spiff was cat. Right idea, man. Was crow. Oh man, this is fair. This, is... the crow's pretty good. The crow's pretty good. She's a new small bandy. <laughs> Oh, that's a weird shape. A lot wider. I'm trying to figure out what that even means. <laughs> what? The shapes? Like what? Oh, that's literally my targeting radical. Rag oh, okay. Uh-huh. The chance of a mortal shot with the cat is 2%, whereas with the crow, it's only one. Hmm. Double the percent. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go with the cat. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with the cat. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Baby, oh no! <laughs> it's not wearing the mask! I can just imagine the mask. <laughs> <laughs> we got her, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see how, how expensive uplift gets. That gets expensive oh, very that's fast. That's so cool, though. Look at that reticle. That's that's most of my screen. Because <laughs> keep in mind, the frame around it is supposed to be the whole image of the game. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is that how that works? Yes. Jesus. So this thing is, to start with, over twice as wide as the one I had, but about the same height. Mm -hmm. And the aiming square is around, around the same. In fact, I can show that off. Just clicking over here. Oh, See? yeah. It's very tiny. So, like... This thing's just hugely wide. You know, I and a little short. When I saw the reticle in game, I was like, "That seems huge." So the thought that they can get the thought this that they bigger. can go to this extent is real good. I don't know, Apollo. Like, I love mecha games a ton. It's a real shame that they just. Yeah, I mean, the reason is, like I said, like mainly one company was making them, and they they stopped. <laughs> Well, it's like it's like a lot of the money in games comes from America, mm -hmm. and so yeah, like American companies aren't gonna greenlight mecha games because they think they're not gonna do. Well. They just have a resurgent in mecha uh, movies like mm -hmm. Robot Jocks. We need a sequel. Yeah, that'll that'll, that'll fix bring it, it back. Y you got it, Bob. <laughs> I could have used another weapon to go with this, or maybe, you know what? I'll try to tune up my my chest. Maybe give me some more HP. I don't think a mecha, like, game has done especially well in America ever. No, I don't. If if, if that happened, it's not by me. <laughs> okay, so this is the most I can do. Thirteen five twenty three. Oh, it just adds five hundred twenty three HP. That's not a ton. Yet that might be enough for me to get out. <laughs> mm. Seems like Mechs just don't sell to normies. I mean, I've met people who are even hardcore into anime, like, no, I hate Mechs. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's just like a taste thing. Like, just for some reason, something shuts off. starts affecting speed stats. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, absolutely. That is that is value. Holy shit, yes. <laughs> the the amount of translating money into damage that this does is really impressive. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm trying to steal the damage. I just it's think. the bottom number over there. Oh okay. okay there it is. So so here's it now, 375. Uh -huh. Okay. With yeah. how much money we have, we can do this and make it 527, which is a shitload more damage to be coming out of a rapid fire gun. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pump up both by 20. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't make sense to do do it for both and do less, but you you did you got it. Yeah, of course. Okay, there we go. Now we're dealing shitloads more damage. 
outfits, which I don't like humanoid robots, so I do like pink mechs like Hawken, which died. Chrome Hound's dead. dead. <laughs> You're off my grip. Yes, Jesus, that's sorry, rough. Scoutfish. <laughs> don't worry, it's been replaced with no mech game, so you don't need to worry about any of that. No, there's, there's no like mech your... jealousy here. Yeah, there's no... <laughs> there's mecha graveyard. You're talking about the Tony Hawk video from Digital Foundry. I have to tell them this. This okay. is way too funny to me. Okay. You're talking about, so, so, John Littman said something, something along the lines of, yeah, it loads uh, three times as fast as the last gen consoles, which isn't like that impressive. And then, and then Bob's like, yeah, that was weird. And I just laughed and I was like, John, 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 if you had a four inch penis and I had a foot long dick, Jesus. you wouldn't say that was a negligible difference, no one? Look, all I'm saying is I don't want to wait 14 seconds for a fucking Tony Hawk level to load. Four seconds, however. Four seconds, though. Yeah, no, going back, going to Tony Hawk and have it load like that was very nice. Not enough for the mentoring, mentoring fee. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I spent too much. I went way too ham on this. And Shinjuku is the cheapest place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it was free. Oh, wait. I didn't know their fees changed per day. Ah. Can you make it to 409 Tokyo Aqua? play the game from hands running via private servers. Yeah, that'd be neat. I, I need to try that game. We talked about that earlier in the stream when we were playing a FromSoft game. Yes. Private Mona. A new challenger has entered. Got a good shirt. Uh, Bob, I think you're missing the wall scroll to this back. Yeah, of course. Ha, <laughs> nice to meet you. This area is a new one for you, it seems. The music makes me think he's gonna do a kid flip. I can sense the strength of the challenger, a true fighter among fighters. Hmm. I can see that, but something peculiar. This is my first time here, but I must say, this area is tough. Yes, yes, besides the area ranker of this place is a weird kid called Tianxia. What? What his thought may be, that is something I cannot fathom. Sometimes, it's weird. This translation goes from, like, really solid to bizarre and Shitting not done. Pants. Yeah. And sometimes it's mid-sentence. Yes. But still, yes, as a more experienced wire hand, I, if I may advise you on one thing. Look, Private Mono, what is it, Ace Blood? There, look. You're a yeah, Is Is there something you want? Not really. I see, then, then we'll, we'll, we'll be leaving as soon as possible. Ah, oh, he's in his Oolong uh, cosplay. Wait. Is that what you do? You, is that what you do best, squealing like a filthy pig? Then die! This is just feel talking to check marks on Twitter. <laughs> he's telling you he's committed to the Oolong bit. What? No, no. That's all. Let's go, not you, God, what is that? It's like a little ferret or something. Tosh, look at this AI. Look at this picture they have for this AI. <laughs> what is it? A is it? Yeah. I'm not used to looking at just the head of a <laughs> I'm used to having a whole picture to go by to go, that's a ferret. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ermine, mink, stone. weasel. Whatever, it's a weasel. <laughs> yeah. Ah, how's he moving hello. there? Hi there, I'm oh, Cutie. Oh, his screw. Mm. And I'm Goody. Add our names together, we are Cutie and Goody. Yes, that's us. Although I have that doesn't sound idea what good at all. What are you doing? It's one of my mom's favorite songs. Well, at least it's better than Stupid Cupid, anyways. Mr. Time? Huh? Yay, hey, don't stay, stay through our duo names. Don't call me by my real name. <laughs> so the topic of human cloning is still taboo, even in 2031. <laughs> you don't pay attention to what I say, do you? Well, that's okay, but yeah, I guess humans can be cloned too. <laughs> is it right? I guess that for you, that one's... <laughs> what? It's an issue. For one thing, clones don't have parents, huh? So without anyone to take care of them, they might be... They might stand helpless when someone steals their swimming suit. And they're forced to become class president regardless of their opinions. Or they may want to study abroad even though there is no one to care for them. And they have to work as paper boys too. That sucks. Yep, clones are not individual. Hey, it's not funny. Thank you. 15 points. 
Wow, this just hit a lever and went insane. Yeah, it's just like, uh, we're not gonna translate this well at all. We're done. Ah, we're that's murderous. <laughs> Mr. Shige, you're too stingy with points. You're heartless. One, one pass. <laughs> The road to world domination by comedy is difficult. When we become famous, I want to party till I drop. That was their comedy routine. Apparently. Any any comedy routine that starts with, so how about that human cloning? Right? Oh, 2031 gets wild. There we go. There's our song. The only song you want. <laughs> Vox the like so you over while, uh, while doing other a few other things. It, I have no understanding of what's happening. So it's a mech game with a billion pa pages of text. Some of it translated, some of it far less so. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. They translated word for word a Japanese comedy routine. Nothing, nothing went wrong. Nothing went wrong. Never does. <laughs> this is a really good song. It's incredible. It's even in the sequel. <laughs> I was gonna say, is this one not in sequel? Because I remember the transfer not being as good as the sequel. That was the main turn. Yeah, the aesthetic's not as good as in the sequel, but um, this song is in the sequel, thank God. This is a Yeah, that was not great. Yeah, you can leave the uh, sequel slay on the PS2. Yeah, it's much more accessible because it's on the PS2. It's also more in print, and it also fucking financially bombed. Weirdly enough, it was a Konami published game. Not something you would expect. Uh, it had online play and everything. They really, they really tried on it. It launched worldwide simultaneously. Jesus. They had hoped that it, it would become something. And I was the only one who gave it the time of day. Right. Not a box I looked over and thought you were trading animals. <laughs> Wait for the cat to show up. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, it's box. Actually it's actually a game. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Fetish C. See, this is when I look up the chat and I see all you deviants. <laughs> fetish A, Fetish B, Fetish C. Oh, you blew me up from behind. I'm okay with that game. I'm not okay with Google Translate Comedy Fit. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Rob. <laughs> Google Translated comedy bit is fantastic. <laughs> I like to think that it, by being so roughly translated, it approximates something else about internet transactions. That's true. You are Mr. USA after all. You're doing an auto translate for all of these, and it works out when they're just talking to each other. Yeah, when you think about it, sometimes they're trying to say something to you that doesn't take a deeper understanding of what they're saying. Thank you, Baney, for the report. <laughs> I do I love that it's just baby up there. <laughs> I don't know. I this is so this. good. I didn't know this baby talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all, all the AIs talk. It's really good. The jokes about how clones aren't people. Yeah, it's really funny. Last four days, uh, Theo would have thought it was hilarious. <laughs> When you speak, I feel killing intent. <laughs> that was really strong. So you can't reference your system AI. Yes. Yes. It's and, very funny. And it affects all of your, like, locking on abilities and the accuracy of your shots. Um, and, you know, pops up at the top. Also, uh, the AIs at the top will announce when someone enters the ring. I wonder if they considered having an actual, like, voice line for all of those uh, AI oh, that things. That would be so great. I actually have never played the Japanese version. It might. It'd I be, doubt it, though. Right? Like, everything is so, like... Low rent. Low rent and kind of just shoved in here. Clearly not too much that was done to it bringing it over. That I'd be surprised if they took out Japanese audio. Because, I mean, all the songs have Japanese. So. But, you know, I've seen I've seen that same thing sort of mistake making plenty of times. They're just like, yeah, we'll take the dub out. It's like... You're not gonna make one, just leave it. Yeah. Come on. Danny's still a baseline AI, which is probably why they aren't showing much personality. Yes. 
fight money. Good job. Good job. Smiley face with the thumbs up. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's, that's a really cute emo. I wish I could do that on my keyboard. And then many, many years later, it's like Jap Japanese has the things you need in order to make the smiley face with it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> fight money? Yeah. Everybody likes fight money. <laughs> my fight money. I can close that eBay tab. I feel safe. Man. Good. You, you ordered it? Though? Yeah, yeah. I ordered that during that break. I, I, I'm going to check, though, how much Slay costs. Slay should be more common. At, yeah, you'd think. I also, don't think it was also... It was very well produced either, though. Like, It was definitely produced more than it was demanded. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> And even this isn't that well produced. Like it's just it's scarce. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm looking at $34 to get this. Time to shove our money into Banny. <laughs> or sorry, Baney. That that would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> It'd be turn turn Banny to a VTuber. Just right to the catch. <laughs> that would be weird. That would be pretty weird. That would be weird. That would be weird. I don't know about turning our cat into a VTuber. How do you feel about that, Toad? Okay. See, you know what? Chat would have raised the entire money I needed to buy a house by now during this single stream if I just said, guys, if I get to live in a house, Banny can be on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Slow zoom on viewer who's sweating now. <laughs> Shaking, holding credit card. <laughs> you heard him chat. <laughs> oh man, this is expensive as hell. Look at that. It's just two notches and it's a hundred thousand new, new yen. I guess Sounds like... of Stimmy's going directly to Dan's wall. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people are freaking out about that. It's too much. Yeah. I mean, that wouldn't be the case. She would live where we run Gigaboots, because the idea is I move into the house, you know, renting it, uh, and then we'd be able to have Fanny in said house. Thank you so very Jam for giving, gifting a tier one sub to Uzgar, who now gets the power of Banny. I'm not sure how Banny would deal with us just having a <laughs> small price to pay for smart Banny. Let's fucking go. Bunny in the house, let's fucking go. <laughs> Thank you, Vox, for the 500 bits. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that'd actually be delightful. People ask me all the time, they're like, hey, does Banny get in the cables and stuff? And I'm like, Banny's never seen any of the shit I make stuff with. Right? Like, never once. That is kind of scary. It's all gonna be tucked away behind stuff there because I'll have space for right things. things. I'm just gonna keep putting it in the gun. The gun shoot good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess in theory I could stick it. Do, do I? Yeah. Dan still so. sleeps on park bench. Fanny has his own house. <laughs> <laughs> Did Dan get a house? No. No, I haven't found anywhere to rent this place. Because I need to rent a house. If I rent an apartment, I'll get evicted because I'm loud. <laughs> Many places in Florida do not have thick enough walls. Right. In this area. Let me put it down. Which one is that? I guess this one is the missile-like thing. And the other one is the weird grenade. Oh man, I did not realize how much damage that grenade put out. That is a lot. That is a ton. How much for just Banny to get the house? <laughs> Soundproof walls are just two walls clipping into each other. This is real. I, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. 
I've always been surprised by how soundproof Bob's place is. No other place I've, I've been at has been this soundproof. Right. So that's the one thing they did right when building this, uh... <laughs> like, like, what, what is... What do they call it? A McMansion? Like, this is a Mick townhouse. <laughs> All of these things have things you will totally want. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go rumbling one more time and then we'll change games so Bob doesn't melt. <laughs> I mean, at least now it's, we're past the invent dump. It was the beginning. The um, funny thing is Slay does the same fucking thing, and, and it's they, aesthetically worse in a way. And they expect that to take off. It's like, you can do this. Do this after you get it. People are just what the game is. Yeah. Right, it reads Verge says, my house is not soundproof at all. You can hear people, someone whispering like three rooms away. Bad. Yeah, that that's real bad. Yeah. At least those are people in your house and not the next house over, technically. Right. But yeah, no, that is real bad. Uh, the house I shared with Agron Zeon was pretty bad. Like that. The, the wall somehow just made this conductive chamber where someone could talk at a normal volume in the living room be heard perfectly fine all the way at the furthest point in the house. Yeah. It was a nightmare. It really sucked. Like, I feel the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Live in the Midwest and buy your own house. <laughs> it's just that easy. All you have to do is not move one state, but move several. Right. Because as we mentioned earlier, we're, we're like, I'm legitimately thinking about moving a state. I, I don't want to. I'd rather stave that off a little bit longer via renting. It's looking pretty... My neighborhood... Our neighboring walls are pretty soundproof, but the ceiling sure isn't. Ooh. This is uh, getting pretty dire. We're just in a death march here. That's rough. You just did all your upgrades. If like, you look no. in the uh, lower left... Uh, you could see every time he hit me with a bullet, it was non-stop. Well, he shot down 10 dudes, maybe that's enough. 10's barely anything. <laughs> also, okay, you can get health. Okay. It just sometimes gets a little scarce. Okay, so I'm title of Florida Man for marketing reasons. <laughs> I'm not trying to compete with Cat on craziness. Right. Also, my content speaks for itself. <laughs> There it is. It's like, I know there's somebody right in front of me. I guess I should explain that element of this game. So, uh, if you look at the radical, when an enemy's near me, it'll light up one of the four arrows to tell me what direction they're in, even if they're cloaked. Huh. So I can try to suss out where they are, maybe, based on that. You know, I never got to play Slay, like, online. And it was so such an obscure thing that I really, really doubt anyone has ever looked into porting that code to make it possible to run now. Right. Move to a state I actually want to visit those boxes. Uh, yeah, that, that's the idea with the not here part. Also, rude. <laughs> I'm not a fucking McDonald's box. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here to serve you. Is there some Twitch guy who's been live streaming for weeks? What? Is that true? What? What do you mean? Like somebody's just been live streaming, like, the whole time for weeks. How? I don't know. I mean, we've talked about doing that via shifts. Yeah. You know, where I'm gonna go pass out for six hours, I'll be back. <laughs> Which, you know, is a thing we could possibly more easily do. It's about how sometimes it just... Health is not available. It's some sub-a-thon thing. Okay, so I think that's run by multiple people. I was assumably... Oh my god, please. Please open this door and let me leave. <laughs> That'll be all for today. For today.
My parents are a building a two bedroom house on their second lot and it has fiber tri Oregon. No, it's just the one person. You can't stream you sleeping, so I don't know how they'd do that. You know, we've gotten so much money, I could have bought a second mech and tried out a different design. No, that's true. That's, that's it's so not true. what it's about, though. It's about being strong. <laughs> it's that, yes, you are correct. It's definitely about being strong. I'm going to check out the park. The idea says that he can vouch for Oregon. 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 Oregon, Oregon C. Mikado. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I'm afraid of the whole state because uh, I've heard rent is so bad in, uh, you know, Seattle. That's where area. That's not Oregon. Is it not? Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. Huh. Yeah. Those are very, that's pretty. Aren't, they aren't like right next to each other? Where they no. They're next to each other in as much as we're next to Alabama where real estate is cheap. Uh huh. <laughs> Trying to think about like Okay, uh, yeah, it is right under that ooh. But that's where Portland is. That's so that, that's why it breaks in my head. Pretty good at crashing our real estate market every few years, so keep an eye out. We are too, but then the price doesn't go low enough and it doesn't stay there long enough. This is how bad it is. I should have said this way faster. Mm. Guys. Multiple properties I looked at, the price of renting them would have $400 in the last five years. Yeah. Yeah, it's insane. But, uh, yeah, this thing does 3,500 damage. So, um, I'm buying that. <laughs> That's why wouldn't I want to hit them with a big gun? Lunch seems like she's got some pretty good thoughts on Vectus. But, yeah, no, we, uh... We went over at the beginning of the stream, but a lot of people have, weren't there then. But our area is especially bad because yes. we live next to a military base in a vacation place. Uh, so yeah, everything's completely screwed. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I love that description. Yes. Yeah, also, uh, my brother lives out there. I don't know if I want to do that. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Could just be like, yeah, no, I'm some city you've never heard of. <laughs> Does it take both? Am or I... is it? Okay, no. It's just. It's an arm based one, so I'm gonna have to replace one of my two pew pews. Yeah, I figured. That makes sense. No? No. Do you have to replace both then? I may just not even have the weapon, the weight capacity. Hmm. But I can't look at it to find out. Hey, if you move up there and I move to Canada, we'll be a few hours from each other, says Vox. <laughs> I live in Nebraska where everywhere is hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, you galley. Yeah, an apartment I rented in 2009 for $900 is now $2,200, says Blake. Jesus. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Well, everyone, I have no idea why I can't equip this thing. And maybe your chassis just can't hold it? Yeah. It's gotta be something like that, or I need more body sockets. <laughs> body sockets. Does the handler cook for you or something? That's insane. God. You know. How the hell is this sustainable? Oh, wait, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It needs wow. regulation, but that just won't happen. Jesus. So I spent all my money on a gun that I can't equip. Good and, times. And I don't know why. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the shop and, and look at an equivalent gun. And maybe staring at it. Where the University of Oregon is. Oregon. They, it's not expected that anybody lived there longer than four years. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's how. Oh, yeah. Our, 
yeah. I guess our town doesn't have a major college. With this, that. We have a community college, though. There are people who move in. Bob, it's no longer a community college. They dropped one of the C's. You're and then right. Then they changed it entirely. That's Northwest Florida State College. That's true. So we're also a college town. So we have literally everything if you want to make rent be apocalyptic. Yes. Yeah, is there an obvious weight limit anywhere? I don't... There is, but I'm not sure that that's what's causing this. I feel like it should let me into that menu at all to communicate that. Also, I think the two things off my back that I unequipped should add up to that weight, but maybe not. <laughs> I equipped your other gun too, so it's just this. Tip, tip, tip. But yeah, I have no attachment to staying in this town. Like, obviously, there are people here I care about, but at the end of the day, like, I can't bleed money for the privilege of living in a town that offers me nothing. Yeah. 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 Something else. It must be a compatibility thing. Like, uh, I can only use the other max. Underkill. Yes, that's, that's fucking very hilarious. funny. Needs more kill. If only you had more kill. Yeah. Important. <laughs> did, did, were you still missing an arm? I only got one arm. <laughs> Damn, Bob was. God, I love a good millennial housing d d a doomer stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this you're is, gonna miss that, right? This is why I'm, I'm moving, moving to the woods for a year. Yeah. yeah, no, that's totally fair. Believe me, if I could move, you know, pretty far out into the middle of nowhere and get great internet, I'd definitely consider it more. Right. But that's that's something that, you know, it's hard to guarantee. Oh, have a good night, Zebo. Have a good one. It's only for a certain brand of suit. Who knows? Yeah, I assume it's that because the Photon branding is on literally every piece of equipment I have. Oh, yeah, you're right. Huh. Yeah, I think that's a Kojima, but I'm not positive. No, it's Aeron. Huh. So that's weird, and I'm not sure that I knew that that was a thing in this game ever. <laughs> I'm trading internet for peace. Fair. Yeah. We no, don't have that option because it's our, it's our only source of income. Yep. <laughs> Outside of these streams, we have no discernible skills. <laughs> like that conehead thing. <laughs> you have no skills that you can offer to the US economy. Get back to live streaming. <laughs> you can just get a hot spot and live on, on a gator or whatever you do in the Florida wilderness. <laughs> Florida wilderness doesn't really exist. There's there's Florida real there's Florida beaches and Florida trailer park. I mean, it doesn't feel like wilderness. You, you don't get the. There's plenty of swamp and muggy, awful areas. Yeah, I think that's what he's insinuating. Yeah, just get a tent to die. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> I've seen you edit videos at the live. Just waiting for Amber. What's the live? Uh, you would not have discernible skills. To people who offer jobs. Yeah, no. I applied for jobs in the game uh, coverage industry. It got nothing. Get a no. Yeah, no, you don't have a degree for it. I don't have a degree for it. Right. Like no discernible exists. skills. Uh, don't worry, I have a degree. It means nothing. That's <laughs> how it goes. You can slowly buy an entire trailer park, make it a good complex to stamp on. <laughs> Man, imagine if I had... No. 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 
Yeah, the trailer park is already like rough in a lot of areas. It being in Florida has the extra thing of, yeah, no, a hurricane can come wipe out the whole place in seconds. Yes, it's real bad. Florida's great. Living in paradise. <laughs> Have you tried being born into money? No. I hear that works, this I, box. I didn't even try that once. I should have right? thought of that. Man. I also really should have invested in Bitcoin when I first find out, found out about it. I'd be a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> try not to think about that. No, they can't see. <laughs> dude out here. This is visible. I guess they ran away. Okay. Between Bitcoin and GameStop, I can't wait to find out what I'll miss out on next. Yeah. <laughs> That's awful crap with a gun. I know a friend who bought some, what was it? Like Humble Bundle using Bitcoin. Ugh. We can't have universal basic income because if we do that, that implies we want people to not die in the streets of poverty. Which is obviously Which, the true goal of uh, America. Like, yeah, I don't. That's a, that's what really they're after. This music has some thirteen two energy. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. I do like thirteen two soundtrack. Yeah, this is real good. Okay, drama. Fucking Siva. I've been hiding it very well. The control scheme can kind of be a nightmare. I cannot stress how much this game would have been aided by uh, shoulder buttons. Like RB and LB. Let's find some. <laughs> let's find some recovery items first, and then I blew them up. <laughs> oh, take that, Siva. So, who do you think sues us if we try to make the Mighty Number no. Nine review the movie? Uh, everyone will forget by then. You, you think level five would forget? Yeah, I don't know if they own the IP. I mean, they own put or they own concept and concept owns that IP. Oh, they own the whole of concept. Okay. I, for yeah, some reason, own... like, I thought that he, he, they extracted KG from concept. No, they bought camp. concept and then renamed it some insanely bad name. Just don't worry about level five. They, they've been they delayed a, a soccer game. It's what seven years? <laughs> yeah, but they also are very litigious. <laughs> To unreasonable extent. <laughs> they sued people for stylus movement. They did. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, they're pretty. What game is this? This is uh, Phantom, Phantom Crash. Crash. It's got really good vibes and music and very funny text, but it has too much of it, so some people get mad. <laughs> and confused, honestly. <laughs> like, why is there this much text? You ain't leaving. That's also a neat strategy to do. Just sort of hang out near the exit when people aren't coming in and then uh, blow people up who are trying to get out. Right. The song is reminding me of a strong bad email song with the tune, but I cannot remember which one. It's driving me insane, this feel. I don't even. I don't even, man. 
I can't wait to walk back into the internet for the first time and find out that my number nine what, review won three Golden Globes. <laughs> There's one part that sounds so similar. Yeah, I don't know. If you find out, let us know. I'm curious. Please, I'm dying now. Because it's like, I, I would never have connected these. See, it's p fucking me up because I would have, but I haven't. And it's, that's my job, right? The song reminds me of uh, Ghost of the Shell PS1 game. Particular. Yeah. And you know, there's gonna be something like that in there. I can't remember though. Because this honestly reminds me more of the intro to Good Sand Long Complex than yes. anything I've heard from the game. Uh, what's the name of the composer on that? Do you remember? Oh, uh. Famous one. Is, is he just Yoko Kano? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's like Yoko Shimba. No. Bicycle bell noise every time you land a hit, just something. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, you kind of did a bunch of work for for the show in general, but this, the intro was sung by Origa. Okay. I was I thought that that might be the case, like maybe that intro was done by someone else. This dude, if they're behind me, they're gonna launch that bazooka to my ass once and I'll die. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just, just get out. out. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. If I hadn't spent all my money on a gun, I can't wheel. <laughs> that thing's very happy. Do people want to see the Tenchu Return from Darkness or perhaps some Tony Hawk game? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a full let's play of this game now. God, could you fucking imagine? <laughs> Jesus. That, that would be insane. Like, I don't... Oh, that's that. Apparently that book was died recently. Or a few years ago. Man, these other mechs have really cool weapons. Like penetrate staff. Drill arm. Uh, okay. Uh, this, is, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Meanwhile, I, I have basically what Actually, I'm Actually, if I remember right, I think I tried this game and I tried to use melee weapons. It was a complete nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but see, how would you know if you tried this or Slay? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's impossible. It is impossible to tell, yeah. Gotta get Gil into this game now, I guess. This <laughs> big nerd Sam. <laughs> this is now a Blink stream. Yeah, I do. I do wonder if like if Gil would ever check this game out. I don't think he owns an Xbox original. Gil's like, hello, you have said my name three times. <laughs> I wonder like I I guess I've not seen him do stuff that's directly match related. So I'm not I, yeah, no, he sticks with a lot of JRPGs and quirky other types of games, but mech is such a small genre. Right, like, I don't I don't think that there's a high chance he doesn't like them, but I don't have, like, positive proof that he does. Right, that's fair. This game has very good vibes. Um... I don't know, man. I keep looking at these weapons that come with the photon, and I'm like, they're just not... They're not doing it? These numbers need to... <laughs> oh, okay, numbers-wise. I was like, are they not cool enough, or are they not doing enough damage? I, it can be both. It can be I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try the triple fire. I like that he tries to warn me, like my ass can read. <laughs> oh, you can color your mech, yeah. Yeah, I was just being an asshole. <laughs> Sure, we'll try red mad. What we got for stick? Sure. The faux theme song for best friend squad and teen girl squad number nine. Holy crap, feel. Okay. I, one moment, I need to go back in. A little we need to listen to that. <laughs> yes. I wish I could look at what I have currently, because I feel like it's worse than that, but 
don't know. I wish I should go equip things, figure out what I'm doing there. That creep wolf says, sounds like every time I use a melee weapon in Monster Hunter. I'm curious, you, are you saying that about when I said melee weapon to this? Because most of the weapons in Monster Hunter are melee, right? Yeah. I think yeah. there's only like two longer range options. This seems crazy. <laughs> yeah, so this is just a little bit more damage. Because I put money into it. This <laughs> is feels bad, man. Yes, I am. I like the big gun. <laughs> okay. see people hunting real animals with big swords. It's because they're not brave enough. <laughs> that does not look as good as I was hoping. I don't know what you're talking about. It looks great. You don't just look like... bad. <laughs> Where did it even put this? We'll find it. Oh, all the oh, way on the back of my home. <laughs> so no one can see it. Are you still trying to become the top wire head? Yes, Beal, of course. Yes, I'm trying to become the top wire head or even just a good wire head. I'll settle. <laughs> then maybe you'll be uh, recognized by sentient dog AI. Or maybe I can get lunch to steal my car. <laughs> when, when do we actually get to uh, start dating the characters in this? I don't know, Bob. <laughs> I guess we'll have to play the whole game. <laughs> There we go. Okay, Bob. If this works out, mm -hmm. then this will be really good. Okay. If it doesn't, I'm real screwed. <laughs> How long do you have to play before Bandy comes alive? <laughs> God, could you imagine? Bandy becomes sentient. The world is in danger. Oh, you wouldn't believe I'm making it up. I don't think there's actually dating elements in this. But I don't think so. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Milch, what are you planning to do in Shinjuku? Whoa. Uh, naturally, I'm going to do some research on how to win crimes. some easy prize money. <laughs> oh, the A-ranker, Atsuro, just passed by. Not important, the prize is going to be mine anyway, that's all I care about. It's like Raikity and the anime character. <laughs> there are height restrictions for buildings in Tokyo Bay and Shinjuku. And with our current SV equipment, God, you're so annoying. You were the one who said there were easy picking, pickings in Shinjuku. I didn't say that. I only said that it's easier to earn money. Exactly. That's why I need to do more research on hunting grounds if I'm going to earn more. Let's hurry. Act when the thought strikes. I will get the lion's share. All, no. of, all of these characters would be really good Twitter avatars. What? <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. What you have more to say, you're persistent. Humans can't tell how chips perceive the flow of time. I don't know about you, but I plan on living my time. Living on my time. I'm not going to wait for someone to feed me. So I think you should adapt to my pace. That is all. Move quickly. Hmm. Her name is Melk in German. Good to know, Smith. I do so much work and I only get paid a percentage. This is unfair. <laughs> Big Nerd has posted a link to that Teen Girl Squad thing. We should we should hit play on that. Cause when are we gonna get claimed by Stronghold? Right. right. Okay. Just, I don't know. Oh no, my non-existent ad yet revenue. Okay, good. It does stop the music. I was worried it'll just play the music. Here we go. A glue stick, some clear paint. Words cut out I cannot from fucking a believe you feel. <laughs> BFF carved in a tree that stands for powerful. <laughs> came to life, put on a play with so and so. Unfortunately, they didn't get very good reviews. <laughs> What's her face? A staple sauce. A heaping bowl of staple <laughs> sauce. <laughs> and crazy learners permit girl. Gave me a ride to Babbage's. <laughs> what? They don't got no turbo graphics games? Okay, my art gallery. Let's get ready to be so dangerous. <laughs> oh, no. Looks so good. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> it's very strong. It's like. 
when you can't skip right to that point, it's like getting injected directly with home yes. water. Like it's okay, good. This 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 is gonna work. Look at that. Look at that. It's good. I'm surprised you haven't done that already, Vox. Of, uh, of course, yeah, no, <laughs> that's that's insane that you haven't done that. That just seems really weird. I mean, we did that to KZ one day. <laughs> he didn't appreciate it, but he should. He still doesn't. Motherfucker <laughs> hates getting cold shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Doom guy of Max in terms of move speed. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh man, that was a good bear. Look at that. Or is that a bear? Or is that some sort of weird raccoon thing? <laughs> yeah, that's like a red panda. I've had this song imprinted in my head since this game came out, so it, it can't be overwritten by hearing that other song once, unfortunately. I don't think that song sounds like this one. <laughs> Doesn't really sound a whole lot simpler. <laughs> Casey's like, I found a gun commercial that sounds like this. <laughs> this is how I win. I'm already down to 50% health. This is not going well. Yeah, no. It's not. <laughs> Rare pandas are the raccoons of Japan? <laughs> I mean, they got raccoons over there, too, so. Not so, quite. You know. <laughs> and obviously, Tanuki are the raccoons of Japan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that I'm just a mile away, and I see their AI go, we're down to 25! <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a pretty decent long range, uh, long range option. Okay. That's good. So if I just, you know, find a clearing. <laughs> nope, still got his shield up. Yeah, I think something that all these talking about that came back in the day was like, it was just these arenas over and over again. I, uh -huh. I, whereas I was more used to like Garmin 4, where it's like a new stages to go through. Right, but like more normal fucking video games back then, especially because you can you can do something like this nowadays, I think as an indie game. Yeah, I think um, people are a lot more accepting of this. Yeah, yeah um, they have levels. <laughs> yes, you go through a linear story. Not, you bash your head into the wall that is the rumbling arena. <laughs> One of three, which have different times of day, so that's me. Um, and then get the plot to random, oh my god, so about how good this is. Yeah, Jesus. That person just fucking exploded. This is what you get. Don't worry, you don't see the Kiwi when they go in, when he goes and visits. So you don't need to worry about distractions. <laughs> so why are robots controlled by animal pictures? Uh, th that's the AI. We want them to have personalities for animals, don't you? Right. If, if your AI could be represented by a kitty cat, wouldn't you want that? Right. Wouldn't you want your AI to be Baney? <laughs> that cat's way more serious. Look out for Roger if you haven't. If you haven't seen him, he's pretty serious. Okay. He's for cereal? Yeah. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, well, yeah. yeah Look at Jesus. that. You were lucky you made it out. Yeah. Look at that guy. Who's about to kill you? Or he was also trying to leave and I took the elevator. Now he's gonna get blown up. <gasps> Man, that was rough. I wonder, I guess you lost I, fourth day. I have stumbled upon some indie projects that are trying to be Mac games. I've not seen if any of them actually like fully got made. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like all, all of the ones I can think of were in early access and it was kind of rough. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if any of them really got, got it together. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. I'm great. So, yeah, that triple fire is good. I need to put even more money into it. Okay. 
this is one of the only video games we've ever streamed where it's impossible for chat to tell me what to do. They're just like, what the hell is this? I'm like, yes, this is how I win. Sure, we'll do that. Because no one's played it precisely. <laughs> Project 6 and Gear Crush or whatever it's called. It's the truck more. That's cool. I need to give Rogue Legacy 2 a chance. I cannot believe this is what happens the second I move out the front door. I guess I'm selecting a class above me. And this is my fault. And I should not be doing this. Fuck you, buddy. Where are you at? Oh, you're right next to me. I gotta say, doing the claw on the Xbox original controller is one of the weirdest controllers you can do that on. <laughs> we scared up all the wrong advice givers last <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's fair. That, that might be the case. Holy shit, yeah. I'm entering the wrong fucking tier of competition. I need to keep a closer eye on what tier of rankers are here. Yeah, that thing is this rate. Yeesh. I played Slay a little bit, but there's probably way too many differences. Way too much differences in my memory of it is bad. Yeah, I feel like having a clear recollection of that game's near impossible. Because it's such a... Both games are mechanically so bizarre. That's important on back. It's important for the last thing I hear to be that song. Okay, so let's make sure we go to the correct class. Oh. Oh. Okay, time time to just go to the next day. Some some sometimes you're just not feeling it, so you go back to sleep for an entire day. Did you start going to school? What happened? <laughs> yeah, my love interest class D rankers were not uh, at school today, so I just went home and slept. That's fair. Yeah. You know, sometimes you, you can't build up the stats. You need to actually recover from all the nonstop stat building. Yes. Yo, Gigabyte, I heard you're gonna fight in Shibuya. You got guts. You know that this place, there's a monster called the Love Struck Lady, or whatever, looking about. Right, speaking of the devil. Shinku, you guys must really have nothing to do. I have, I have something to ask you. You don't know what this is. It says, give my love letter to Siba, you fool. Like I care. Bezdis. Nice I typo, bro. Yeah, right? Bezdis. I've never seen a letter that looks like this. What? You don't know what a love letter origami is? I didn't even open this thing. My opinion, Shinku's taste is something no one can understand. Oh, Roy, I like this. Huh? You don't know the power of a love letter. Grow up, kid. The slightly stained shirt. That stylish purple shirt. That... Uh, Nicola, a cup of tea. Her blush is so bad. Like, it doesn't look like it fits on her face properly. It's... <laughs> That's great. His beautiful eyes behind those glasses. His fingers that move ever so gracefully. Here, Roy. The stove's not working well today, so this will be a bit hotter than the ideal 55 degrees. Thanks. Green tea should always be hot. Gigba, you want some too? That overnight stubble, he always wears his pants starting with the right leg. Weird. Just how did you know that? Uh, that's the classified secret of a woman in love. Isn't that a crime? If love is a crime, yes. <laughs> so a woman in love is entitled to do anything she wants? <laughs> you still don't get it. This is the right of a love-struck woman. Yo, Gigabyte, let's get out of here before we're stuck with this criminal. <laughs> Don't you run away again, Roy. Please help me out this time. So, the only woman in the game not a crim criminal so far is uh, that one who had killing intent. Yes. <laughs> this B2B criminal. Which is fair. I mean, that other person stole her car. I, I yeah. get it. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd do that. <laughs> I'd get that way. <laughs> I'd become that kind of Yarrow. 
We hit a flammable object. Yeah, I was like, I didn't think there was a. Why did it just. Oh, shit. Whoa, there's a tolls. Is uh -oh. that I somewhere I should go? I don't know. I'm worried that's just death. Okay, no, it's actually This reversible. area comes back in Slay. They have an area much like this. <laughs> How thrifty. <laughs> Women be murdering. <laughs> hey, hey, the the only confirmed crimes in this are, um, let's see. Stalking. Stalking and, and stealing. No murder yet. Yes, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> and, and stalking. Yeah, I have a bunch of lines for being at low health, but he just murdered them in one or two hits anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the weirdest part about this game is how quickly things die. Yeah. Oh, hey, Gloria. Hey, Gil. Uh, we were talking earlier about whether or not you've seen the game Phantom Crash or Slay, which stands for Steel Lancer Arena International. People were like, man, this has some good vibes. You think Thor hide this? If somebody said this was a video, this seems like a game they would have seen on Thor High Heels channel. And I'm like, yeah, but I got to it first. Because I have excellent taste. So when it shows up there, that's my baby. I have not. It never released in PAL, I think. I think Slay did. I think Slay did a worldwide release simultaneous. And it was, um, well, it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what that game is, man. This is this. Oh, game. yeah, that, su that lighting effect is too much. It's too much? Which is insane, because if you look at it, it's just... Polygons. It's too big for the Shagohawk. Like it's just, you know? you know how it is. How do you even get out of this place? Uh, yeah, no, I just ran into that problem <laughs> yeah, actually like, myself. I'm like, uh oh. That's what I was thinking too. Was like, is, is he gonna voice that or should I ask him if he knows? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Everything's fine. Oh, That's no, too much. Can't handle hatred. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm. I really. Curious to go play Slay again, S L A I. Uh, by the way, if you're interested, uh, go. Um, this game has some pretty good vibes and uh, really good internet sort of stuff <laughs> outside of this. Of course, we we've done so much of the text. Now it's just incidental text when we run into certain characters. So there will be less of it during this part of the stream than earlier. There was a good hour there. Yeah. Now it's usually about crimes. <laughs> Yeah, now it's usually about stalkers and people who steal each other's car. Saki. Forget it. Was Saki a big deal? No. Okay. <laughs> Annihilated Jesus. They're like, hello, this is my face, and I'm like, hello, this is my triple fire bazooka. Yeah, once I started going to the correct difficulty rumble uh -huh. arenas again, uh, things things improved drastically. Oh god, the drill. So hey, Bob, the drill is what killed me in one hit the other time. Really? And it just did that, and it didn't even make full contact. Okay. It's pretty good. So the drill's pretty good. This stage has considerable criticality. Yeah. Yeah, uh... The one of the only reviews I found in this online was the person shit talking this level because that has verticality. <laughs> is Slay the sequel and is it good? It is basically the exact same game except for they fucked up the weird CG aesthetic of the rest of the game and made it weird online avatar energy. It's hard to describe. You can just watch a video though. In fact, you can watch the one from uh, gigaboots.com. <laughs> It's not a great video, but hey, it's a video on Slay. You, you don't get many choices. Right. Um, and see what I'm talking about. Because I, I, outside of uh, the battles, there's a, there's an aesthetic that I appreciate more in this one than that. I'm positive more people would talk about this game if it wasn't Xbox. Yeah, no, this game wasn't hit on Xbox, I'm sure. character models in this game are in a total of Yoko. I don't know. I don't really get that energy because their foreheads aren't the size of a state. 
Fake honestly remind me of some one of the weird uh, like Shin Megami spin-offs. This is just. Nocturne. Yeah, people were saying that earlier. Yeah, a little bit like that. And, and there, I feel like there was one that he was even closer to. Oh, thanks for the bottle. Hell yeah. We get th three bottles. We're 30... Oh, no. 30% of the way to our goal. We could do it. We should have had the goal at one by last time. That's the more achievable follow goal. <laughs> I would like to think we could get 10 people to follow us a week, baby. Maybe. That would be nice. That would be nice. We get so many followers during the mega streams, but outside of that, we came all of what we did last month. Yes. Yeah. This game has great vibes. I almost want to say it has a Killer 7 vibe. I totally get why you would say that. Yeah, they do have a weird, creepy energy to them. Yes. <laughs> I always really like when things have that weird, creepy energy. That ex that specific one, you know? People will follow because they want you to play their levels. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, not no. true anymore, Silvermane. We're not playing anyone's level. We're not even playing Dream. <laughs> so there's like no modern equivalent of a live stream show we do where they're like that. Because the music in Slay Good is awesome. Uh, this exact song is Slay. There so, you go. <laughs> yes. By the proxy exact. Man, I can't believe... I guess I've only killed 24 people. I'm pretty sure I need to kill 30 before the ranker, the real bad ranker, shows up. <laughs> Mox trying to add levels. The menus vaguely remind me of Bridge Racer Type 4. Huh. I, I can get that. Your level, Harney on Main, was entered, which is rated. Thank you for your submission. You can submit three more levels. Don't listen to my pop box. Keep lying. Don't, don't submit any more levels. <laughs> it's rough. You haven't died in a while. You got too greedy. <sighs> I made a shitload of money, so you there did. are no regrets. You did. Now that this money is scaled up this much. I think about it. It's weird we never got a Pat Labor game. Another popular mech thing from mm -hmm. that, that era that thinks we're actually getting games. Yeah. I just joined. Why are there pictures of cats talking to you? Uh... Where can I buy this game? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so sadly, eBay, um, <laughs> it's not looking great out there for people who want a copy of this game. Uh, but yeah, this uh, game has AI piloting these mechs uh, that you talk to as a person. You can buy... You know what? Just show them the pet shop. Just show them. Just show them where you get your AI. One moment. Let me, let me go there. It'd be hilarious if we just called the pet shop. It should be called that. Um, so here's where you buy your AIs. <laughs> You get a lot of strong choices. <laughs> oh my God, we got a Falcon. He's really good. So good, so good. Wolf two. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. That's good. What a good video game. Uh, also, for anyone who's like, why is there only one theme for battling? There isn't. There's a ton of songs in this game. That's the best song, though, so I always play with that. <laughs> oh, so you're insane. Yes! <laughs> How much does this AI weigh? I assume that's not much. Yeah, no, that that is very little. Thank God. <laughs> it would be so bad if this game was like, yeah, you're, you're too heavy because you're dog. You're dog AI. It's actually shaped like a dog. You have to put him in like a giant dog slot. That would be unreal. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, your your uh <laughs> your chassis is compatible with cats. Oh no! You need to My buy chassis buy... is allergic to cats. Yeah, you need to buy a chassis for cats. Ah, the worst. You can even upgrade your your AI, which makes your aiming reticle a little bit bigger. The AI were 0.5 T's. What does a T stand for? Ton. <laughs> Man, I would really love to just go through this game and get my AI up to the point where this is my aiming reticle. Cause that's insane. That is really for insane. insane. That much of the screen. Seven million. That's crazy. I'm surprised how much it costs to upgrade these things. Yeah. Well, when you think about this is determines its ability to just instantly find someone and shoot them to death. Kind of makes sense. Can't believe they predicted that, that recreational warback pilots would be internet cat, cat pictures. Yeah, I know, Dan Bob. It seems crazy, but it's true. Genki, they don't miss. <laughs> Vanny confirmed away a, a one fifth of a ton. Whoa, what is with that last? Holy! Whoa! 12,000 damage per shot. Whoa! Only 12 bullets. That's insane. In what world? I need to win. <laughs> I only need it's to... a 1v1 battle. Yeah, I only need to kill one thing. I don't pull thing. this trigger until the important person comes out, then I shoot him to death in three shots. Yes. Jesus. Well then. That's unhinged. <laughs> that's that's really something. I think you have both guns like that. Oh my god! <laughs> they just blow them up. <laughs> Turns out the rest of these are just like, yeah, no, you've been equipped with paintball guns. And then that went like, here's a real gun. Here's a real gun. You should <laughs> kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it this time. Okay. Do you think we're going to move on after this one or not? I mean, I'm, I'm still torn on what to move on to because we have this pile of Tony Hawk games. We do have a pile of Tony Hawk games. And I could blow through one of those like it's stuff. <laughs> what does chat think? Should we move on to some Tony Hawk? Oh, yeah, we could do a, uh, a vote thing. That's true. I don't, I don't know what we could move on to other than Tony Hawk that they would be interested in. I, we can see if they want to do Tony Tenchi 3. Oh yeah, that's true. Tenchi Return from Darkness. Uh, no. Spiff or Fox, whoever you decide. Can one of you make a poll for uh, Tony Hawk versus Tenchu? If they don't, I will in a second. I need to blow up one real quick. Right. God. Get her. Before she steals your car. <laughs> Even other criminals I think, think they're kind of endearing. <laughs> Too bad she's dead now. <laughs> God, can you imagine if you had the. I time? almost died. Yeah. Don't look at me. Yeah, you got a. You got <laughs> shot. Tony Hawk vs. Tenchi is a game I would play to scrap with a gun. Okay, here we go. I forgot what. <laughs> What? This is a box poll, isn't it? One moment, I need to see who made this. I'm sure that I can, actually. <laughs> oh, I forgot what Dan said, it's just pulling ahead. I thought that would be unfair. <laughs> Vox has posted a picture of her face. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, that's a very Vox core, I forgot thing. Oh, look at that. What I got that? first prize for blowing up lunch. Oh, nice. Does that mean you're the head of Shibuya now? I don't know. I think this was Shinjuku. Oh, was it Shinjuku? I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vox, for helping. His lunch dead. No, I think that they just control them externally. They don't die when you beat their mech. Yeah. You know what, Bob? I'm not. I'm not seeing anything that tells me. Maybe I should check the records in my hangar. 
Who tells you, oh, what, how ranked you, what, how well ranked you are, yeah. I guess, I don't know. Rumbling record. Oh. Return rate half of the time. How long have we been playing? Two hours? Yeah, okay. okay. Game achievement rate. Whoa, this had <laughs> achievements? <laughs> okay, yeah. So there you go. For nighttime, I beat lunch and daily at Shinjuku D Ranker. Okay. And then there are all these other ones. So, so now I just need to get gas. Oh, what chemical? <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen Gazzo. Jesus, look no, at him. No, no, I think he was on a chat window in the background during one scene with uh, lunch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote for Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Did Tony Hawk just assassinate that guy? Who's Tony Hawk? <laughs> the next Hitman game gets really weird. <laughs> God, that would be really good. Tony Hawk should be somebody you kill in Hitman. <laughs> what? It's like Gary Busey. I guess. I everyone was... would be like, you you sneak up to him in the party, right? And everyone's talking to them, and they're like, you look like Tony Hawk. Because was... Chat was talking about Tony Hawk is the assassin, so then no one knows who he's killed. But that's true. <laughs> that's true, but I don't know. I like the idea of him being the celebrity in every conversation you hear someone being like, you look like that one guy. And he's like, I hear that a lot. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. It's really close still. Poll ended. No, it ended. It ended. So okay. so so Tenchu won. Wow. Didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> uh Ryan Secrets on I saw him talking about how Hitman on PS5 was insanely fast and makes him a lot more prone to check or like trying things. Mm -hmm. That's cool. What That's are we talking about? Hitman on PS5. <laughs> Yeah, apparently that, that looks super fast. I, I would hope, you know, because it's supposed to be the new Hitman, which came out after. Right. Yeah. But it, you know, it includes all the old missions, so there's always a fear. Yeah, you killed Gary Busey, Busey in Hitman. Hilaria yeah. says, I, is that the chick from Ridge Racer and a dog? <laughs> yes, this is, in fact, the best video game ever made. Like, which one was the chick from Retrace? Lunch. Okay. I don't know. She's got wings on and stuff you can't see in that picture. Uh, Dan Bob says, I sent you something important, Dan. Do 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 do. Trying to get the TV in rank D. Don't forget her wings smell like sweet potato Chris. Yeah, it's important lore. I, why is it this What's monkey always smell like? What's the problem? What is this image? I know that it's the crow from this game. It has that text, but I don't know why. Well, there it was a text that showed for uh, him losing. Did it really? Yeah, it had that on it. Cause loser. The labeled both her, I, her I and can't. the crow. I actually didn't catch that, but it had that text. That's really good. <laughs> yes, the monkey song is back. Monkey, yes. Unfortunately, now we're back to the, the regular song. There's no monkey noises. Unfortunately, but if you really like that monkey noise, you could go and buy it from the shop and then make it the only song that plays. Oops. Well, now no one else can get it, I guess. I guess. Reject Mech, return to Monk. Mech. <laughs> could you imagine if your mech could be animal shaped? Jesus. That would be real funny. Okay, let's get running. But yeah, I think after this attempt, uh, we'll move on to Tenchu. I'm interested in seeing Tenchu on the Xbox. Yeah, I, I want to play as Ayame because I haven't done that in a long while. Maybe it's because it's late, but I'm actually crying. 
from laughing at the monkey so walking the venoms too i think i think there's just an energy there the, the level of commitment you just you're just not used to seeing you know thanks for the follow i'm trying to hit that goal it really does thank help you, Karen Ultra. Fall. thank you for following uh we play lots of weird games here that's true if you if you if you like this if my you, god stick around if you like random monkey noises <laughs> we got that. We'll, we'll probably end up in some other cursed game. <laughs> yes. That's true. <laughs> the complimentary toshri. Close enough monkey noises, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is sh 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 Block. I noticed that, uh, that, that, that triple rocket launcher seems to just eviscerate everything. I should maybe just be walking in with two of them. <laughs> right? <laughs> One on each shoulder. The bugs me, I can't find the lyrics of the song because I can't make out the words at all. Uh, the song should be Phantom Crash Mona Lisa. Um, good luck. <laughs> right? Maybe someone's done that. Maybe. God, I hope. I, I wish more people knew about this game. It's, it's like only three YouTube videos talking about this and Slay. Uh, it's one Thor High Heels video away from, you know, being a huge cult classic that everyone has always loved, actually. <laughs> they just don't know. Meanwhile, I have always been damaged, and I'm like, man, I wish I, I owned an Xbox instead of my brother and could own this game with <laughs> money. Like, this in Panzer Dragoon, once again, Xbox Original had a pretty good lineup for the first few years. Gil says, I should do an essay about it. <laughs> Get that street cred. Yeah. You gotta say in the mid in the middle of your video, Dan Video Games from Gig Boots is how I found this game. So that way, we can also pressure Thor into doing that if he ever talks about it. And then <laughs> I sound like some weird super underground hipster. <laughs> no one's ever heard of. I like when Agro sent you a picture of that, that I think was Gun Valkyrie. Yes. It was, and then was super surprised when you knew what it was. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we should cover Gun Valkyrie. And he's like, you know! <laughs> I can pressure Thor if you want this, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If Thor talks about this game, no one will ever be able to buy a copy again. There are only three on eBay right now. That's okay. Pirating on Xbox is easy. Right, at least there's that. At least there's that. See, and that's, that's, that's the important thing, right? Being able to digitally access the thing is important. You know, if you want to shut down the source for the PS3, just completely open it up. Be like, put it. You can install anything on these. We don't care. We anymore. don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> Here's an update that just breaks it open. God, that'd like, be good. That would be the, the proper way of dealing. With it. Yes, the way that everyone alleges Steam says it, it'll do. Hello. Yo. Oh, sorry. Yo. Yooki. Tenchi Buyo. Yooki. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You bastard. Don't stealth the second. Stop having a shield. I'm gonna blow you up. <laughs> Owned. Yep. Was that seriously the person who was the ranking champ of rank D? Speaking of which, I don't think anyone who reviewed this on YouTube has gotten any significant distance into the game. That's insane. I think we may have played more than any of them during this one stream. Shit! Holy God, who are you? And what fierce deed he sent you? Stop it! Jesus. If Damn. I only knew the name of the person who killed me. <laughs> Siva, of course. Yeah. Piece of shit. Yeah. God damn it, Siva. So powerful. Yeah, no, the dude just punched me in the throat. What is that asshole even doing here? Sad sound, but here's this thing. Good job, you did well. I don't feel like it when you say it like that. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm sure I'm sure Thor would at least find the vibes of this game very good. I mean, look at my save. Oh my God. 
It was pretty cool when I hit save and it saved and it did that <laughs> like that instead of taking a, full a, minute. a minute like fucking. Dan, he played Michigan Report from hell. No, no, I haven't. I, I apparently need to. I've been told. That's really funny. You expected to bring up a normal menu, but it's a, a prompt. Not a menu. It's yeah. just it's just a yes no prop. But yeah, awake to love, Mona Mona Lisa. So if anyone wants to listen to the only song from this game I've played during combat, past the first three encounters, there you go. <laughs> it's a really good song. They used it in the intro for a reason. Well really they used a remix of it. That's the fucking point. Anyways. We should change to that game that game that Vox can't remember that I said. Yes. The current stream boss looks like an animal ship. I don't. One I, moment. I don't think it does. Let me see. I really can't figure out how to tail on it. It has a hat. Yeah, I, 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 I can't tell from here. Yeah, that's all I got. Tenchi Moyo or something. <laughs> you got it, Vox. Nailed it. Yet another person who does not know what Tenchu is. We did that Archer Devs even. No one knew. It was so frustrating. It's like I I thought this game was at least somewhat known. Nope. Sorry, Bob. I'm just living in a cage. Yeah. No one knows about the great video games we played growing up. Nope. It's almost like we should make reviews. <laughs> Man, imagine that. I like the text going off the screen. It's pretty bad. I forget. Can't you widescreen? I don't know. I don't know why that audio was so bad. Uh, yes, it is widescreen. Cool. Let's just uh, hit this and boom, it's widescreen. Whoa! Look at that! Seamless! For the, you, I have to change it on our side. The game that was on G4's cheat a few times. Huh. Here. Oh, this is important. Bob. It is I'm important. Sorry, I can't skip this. The iconic intro. I know this game, it came with an anime movie called Samurai X when I got it. What? Why did this come with Samurai X? And yes, that is a Kenshin related. Uh, this is Wrath of Heaven Gill, but it's called Return from Darkness on the Xbox, just like the Enhanced Edition. I recently found out that the musician for this who did this intro uh, also did the soundtrack for Kenshin. Yeah, that makes fucking sense. Yes. And of course, it's the same person who worked on all the way of Samurai games. Yes, that also makes fucking sense. Fire needs to get, get to work. <laughs> they really do. What? <laughs> was Bob Moore. Obviously. <laughs> the yeah. Yeah, the soundtrack is really good. It is. It is unreal how good the soundtrack. Only that new Sekiro was just a tension game. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, this is the game series that that new Sekiro, that Sekiro was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a new Sekiro. Yep, because FromSoft ended up with that IP. How many 
sometimes have to play a from game. <laughs> it's one street. Well, this isn't a from stop game. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, now they own it. <laughs> Where's my re do release from Slop? Get on it. I need the online mode. I still need to play Sekiro, but every time I mention it, someone spoils something. That's awful. Reminds me of that ninja game that the PSP Ropa game advertised. Was that by chance Shinobi Do, the, the n spiritual successor to Tenchu? <laughs> Actually, that would make sense because I believe Ropa might have been published by the same publisher. Trump up as be like that. Yeah, no, that that opening's amazing. Let's go. Does this have the flying woo enemies too? I don't remember that. Well, the fire effect on this is a little extreme. When it first ignites, it makes their entire body blur out. Yeah. <laughs> As Bob flashes the light in the audience eyeball <laughs> to check if they're high. <laughs> I'm gonna play as Ayame. I haven't done that in a long time, so I'll see how this goes. She rescues village girls. Uh, she doesn't have the iconic mission of kill the en or the corrupt merchant. So maybe we'll just go back and play level one for Ricky Mara after this. Just because everyone needs to see that. He into tears in front of town officials. He explains that his daughter was taken as a payment for a loan that he could sure, not repay. PS2 voice Other village it girls is. have been disappearing delightful. tonight as well. I'm here for it. Witnesses come forth with news that the village girls yeah, were taken go to the temple Spiritual successor to this. Yeah. Made by the because same people. Of the temple, yeah. Is the original Tenshi one too? This was made by K2, a weird group that just or the gobs or the Capcom. The Lord Goda has no that. choice yeah. but to send you into the bamboo forest for silent justice. Silent justice. I thought it said for science. <laughs> for science. <laughs> and then uh, just, or you get to bring in so many of each item to each mission. I have a limited number of health stories. It's very much like uh, Dark Souls. If you like Dark Souls, you should play Tenshu. You should just do it. All right, everyone. Be fluent. <laughs> oh man, a sticky bomb. Nice. Wow, a sticky bomb. Is that like an Estus flask? <laughs> yeah, Dan. It's just like an Estus flask. Oh wow, Bob. This is a lot. I did not have a poison rice ball to bring in yet. You do get poison rice balls, though. Forget the bottle of Ninja Lube. Wait, wait, why am I moving? Okay, the controller was freaking out when I first loaded, I guess. <laughs> that was very strange. Oh my god, I forgot how close she gets to the ground. This is great. <laughs> yeah, that is really helpful. Man, this, I, I, I'm always shocked when we go back and we play these games with the HDMI solution, uh -huh. and the widescreen looks so good. Right? Stony Banjo walking. <laughs> oh no, he saw me immediately. I'm fine. He won't go investigate. Waddle, waddle. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, forget it. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Legendarily dumb. <laughs> I I think I just saw a ninja literally fall <laughs> a few feet from me. Ah, oh, who cares? Ah, <laughs> oh, <forget> it. <laughs> ah, house fire. Ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> There's water here. Dark Souls has water. Exactly. Oh. I think the things about moving in water is they do hear you. The despite the AI being bad, it is still better than Sekiro's. <laughs> If you forget about it, the problem will solve itself. Oh, 
oh yeah, you can do this weird, like, forward roll to flip. It's very jarring. Oh man, we got two dudes right next to each other up there. Are the original Tenchu games better than Sekiro? I think they're better for the time. The Sek Sekiro sneaking is really, really bad. Uh, when a PS1 game is sometimes better than you, you kind of rough. I, I, I like original Tenchu a lot more than Sekiro. Sekiro's really, really not my thing. Yeah, Sekiro does, it like really definitely veers into the Dark Souls territory of just feeling annoying. Um, so I, I enjoy Tenchu a lot more. But I, I do like some things Sekiro does. I don't think it's a terrible game. I just, I wish it were a better stealth game. And focus more on being a stealth game than trying to be an action game. And I hear a lot of uh, Dark Souls people don't even like it because you don't get a lot of variety in how you build your character out either. You're just kind of like, oh, you get, get good at exactly the way the game wants you to beat it or you just die. No, the running animation is really great. Your real complaint is with the movement speed. Yes. Uh, see if we can get them to forget about me again. So, any idea what they did after they were covered by Capcom? I don't know. I feel like at some point I looked that up and was able to find something, but I'm not 100% sure. Ah, forget it. Fire. That uh, thing in the lower left that's a question mark, that tells me how close I am to an enemy. The number right next to the question mark is literally a distance. Hey chat, who wants to guess what's in the bowl? Sometimes if you can you can kill them right from the front like I did there, just uh did not do it fast enough. When's the six pop gonna blow up? So this means I'm going to get a really bad rating for a level, and also, if I manage to stealth kill everyone, I got those symbols in the lower left. If I fill all those up, I get a new move. Which sometimes are those things like, oh, you can cling to ceilings and stuff like that. They're actually both attack moves and stealth moves. Okay, Chad, I started a prediction. What's the prediction, Dad? Oh, the what's in the ball? Yes. Because I saw multiple people say the same thing. So I thought, okay, this is the time. Is the bowl full of beans? <laughs> Let's see how the prediction's going. Looks like we've got 25,000 points for yes and 20,000 for no. Now it's 54,000 for no. Wow, that was a swing. Somebody put a lot of money on that. A lot of channel points. Not money. Can't thank, be money. Thank you, Coil Twitch Bot. Jesus. For 100 bits. What are you? Yeah, I think I'm this way. I bet 25k on the beans. <laughs> yes, <laughs> game for soda. <laughs> Selfish says they were the ones. They were the one who put like 26k on no or something. Oh, it's that bot, says Foxandra. Yeah, what's what's with that bot? There we go. I've seen it in other people's screams too. <sighs> Thinking about the beans. Posting the picture of the yes dad next to the beans. Oh no! I'm taking your bean money, says Ixia to Cascade for something. 
bad. Reverse out says all my friends love beans. Dan, I thought you were on holiday. Yeah, as it turns out, no, not really. Thank you, Syn Synchro, for uh, subscribing for four months. We really appreciate the support. Okay. Here we go. Cascade Persona. You made out like a fucking champ because it's a bowl full of beads. Jessica Fleur isn't here to shame me. <laughs> it's not wrong, though. It was beans! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the bean gang the bean gang wins for what? <laughs> uh oh, we got dog. See it should be like the ninja line, but it should be doggy! <laughs> I wonder if I could kill the dog with one shuriken. I forgot that you build up a meter from your kills to like do some super kill technique. Uh, that's what unlocks a new ability. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you fill it up completely, you get a new attack to use or a new uh, just thing like cling to ceilings and stuff like that. Yes! And it's like, oh, this is a full, like a part of one of those things. Jesus! Dude, you headshot that dog. <laughs> yeah. The dog's real dead. <laughs> what game are we on now? Oh, we're playing a Tenchu Return from Darkness, which is Tenchu 3 on the PS2. I don't think uh, the PS2 version has widescreen. Huh. Vox says, we're on Tenchi Muyo. Vox, just piss everyone off. Start saying Tenchi Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Spiff says, that dog had a lot of blood in it. Yes. Oh, was there another dude? <laughs> oh, I killed this one at least. You know, I thought this would have been easy vote-wise because I thought people would have heard Tosh go mm, when I told her I was in the bowl while I was in the kitchen. <laughs> Tosh does not like beans. We already get so many bean voters. I, I'm surprised it wasn't. It was It was only 24% for yes. Here. I know. Cascade Persona made a base. <laughs> like, how much did you get, Cascade? 206k goes to Cascade Persona and 11 other people. We have made kings. Yes. Beans, the kingmaker. <laughs> yes, you did. You missed the bean poll. I'm sorry, you gotta pay full attention to the stream, otherwise you missed the bean poll. <laughs> the bean prediction, it was in fact bean. You don't see anything. Ignore the knife. Oh. It even has the shiny effect on it. Right. Ninety thousand channel points went to Cascade. Oh, that's so fucking many. I had to save up for months on um Retro Island Gaming's channel to get eight K. <laughs> Jesus. I thought you were going to trick me by saying the bowl had beans in it, but it wasn't full. No, this is pretty full. One might say too full. Hey. Ixie, it says, I was over 20% of the no hedge bank. <laughs> we're getting there. We might actually get that technique, and you'll get to see that cool animation they do when they get a new technique. It's really sad that these characters are now owned by people who will never use them. And the Acquire is now like, yeah, we released in Stealth Assassins. Uh, we we want to make game with, with that. It, won't, it can't be Tenchu, though. <laughs> yeah, no, this whole situation fucking sucks. I guess it's so cool. Oh, thanks. The... More Estes Flask. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Nah, Ubisoft doesn't own Tenchu now. I think they had distribution rights on the Wii version of 4. Yeah. But, um, the rights go to FromSoft. Doesn't give a shit. Ninja! Ah! <laughs> 
You know, I think that may have alerted others. Maybe. That guy seems a little sus. <laughs> Spiff earlier said that dog had way too much blood in it. <laughs> well, I had to get it out. The dog's better now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we did it. Do the thing. Yes. See, if I could remember shit, I would memorize that. But I can never. I can't memorize. It. My brain's real bad. Well, that that is. That thing. Get that back flip kick. Oh. Now I'll knock dudes away. Oh, I took his spear. I forgot you could do that. Yeah, right? For people who don't know, this has a versus mode. And the Xbox version has an online versus mode. <laughs> if they launch that Xbox Live emulator... Mm -hmm. No! Yeah. This can't be happening to me. Oh. That's a nice pair you have. Wait! No! I'm not ready! I'm ready. Why don't I show you? Ah! Let the girl... go? What? How dare you disturb my game of cards? <laughs> uh -huh. You are one of Gorda's pets. Ah! Hey! Get back here! Your family owes Echigoya, damn it! Echigoya? Looks like you chose the wrong party to crash. <laughs> <laughs> that man will fire that gun once and break his wrist. See, that's why you play this guy in multiplayer. Yes. That was weird. Yeah, oh, it was. a tree in the foreground. I think the camera fucked into. Either that or a snowflake. Maybe. Um... The PS2 version runs at 60-ish, you know, like this. Fly, baby! Fly, baby! I, something tells me the spear isn't actually a good idea, but it's fine. I mean, you got so much reach on him. Yeah, I do. Oh, uh oh Die, baby! There's two great lines. Fly, baby, and die, baby. The music is so good. Oh, no, no, no. You're using your Estus Flex, right? Yeah, I'm about to. For some reason, I thought the, uh, the rice ball would, would heal me. Uh, yeah. It did a little bit, not as much as the Estus Flask. Mm -hmm. This is the first level in the game. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, this thing is not great. I have the ninja rebirth item, so it's not a big deal if he does kill me. I'll respawn. Quality PS2 game here. Yes. I'm leaving. <laughs> Quality. Thug. thug. <laughs> Jeez, Bob, I thought you were a ninja. You're just a thug. Did he say I am dying? Yes. yes. <laughs> this guy's definitely Joggy. No, he's the character Joggy's based on from uh, Yojumbo, the Kurosawa film. Yeah, his gun would be really good for stealth kills. <laughs> Ninja bang! <laughs> and then the guy next to him's like, must be nothing. The mention of Ichigoya's name by Tajima in the bamboo forest was proof that Tokube had inherited the family business after his father was killed. You must infiltrate the Ichigoya estate and punish the evil merchant. Always bug me that the, the two storylines, Rikimaru and Ayame, don't quite line up properly. Yeah? Yeah, because 
you kill him here. Ricky Bar has already killed him at the Echigoya Manor. <laughs> yeah, it's really rough. Oh, there's Poison Rice Ball. We got it now, guys. Ooh, and the blowgun. You can one-shot dude with that. It's great. And if that thing didn't blow up earlier because I didn't hit the right thumbstick and make it blow up. That's my Unback bad. says there's two of them. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, too bad the cell genre is basically dead. Like, Hitman's yeah. like the only one still going. Yeah, it's really sad. What's up? First, we need to talk about the ethics of cloning technology. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? It's been a good stream tonight. <laughs> But yeah, for anyone who watched us play um, Shinobido 2, mm -hmm. you can look at this and see how similar, like, aspects are. Right. Oh, doggy. Oh, I didn't bring any shark, I, did, I ran out. I don't want to waste this freaking blow or, like, pipe bomb thing on that. Dog. I wonder it's if I... just a dog. I think I can actually stealth kill the dog if I jump on him and hit him. Probably. Button to look around. I bet it's on X. Okay, it's on white. Jesus. What's wrong with the white button, Bob? <laughs> it's, it's the white really badly placed. Oh, someone else was nearby, I guess. I can't believe it, Bob. Oh, never mind. Oh, he also dropped something. He did. But it's there. Oh, it's a dog. Yeah, this looks like that trailer Shinobi Dove 2 I saw. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So how low rent is Shinobi Dove 1 compared to this? It is pretty low rent. It won so bad because they have mm. those physics in it. And it feels, you know how the running animation doesn't match up with the movement speed? Even worse than that game. Fitz says, all right, I've been up since six. Bedtime for me. Good night, Dan and Bob. Have a have fun sneaking up on dog shake plug back. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> he's not still having Jesus. There we go. All right, finally. Now he's better. Just stab a dog and fill a fucking bathtub full of blood, and you're like, that doesn't make any fucking. <laughs> You, you throw a shuriken through a window and kill a dark guard dog, and when you open the door, it's just that fucking scene from The Shining with the blood <laughs> elevator. Yes. Have a good night, Smith. There he is. What? I'm very stealthy. <laughs> Please believe me. Now forget about me. Forget about me. <laughs> Where'd you go? No Vortex says Shinobi Do One has more potential in combat, especially in alchemy. See, I haven't played one. I only played two and the ten shoes. Yeah, I need to play more of one because I. It was back when you know had to rely on various means to get PS2 to play. Games. Import games that I may yeah. or may not have owned a legit copy of, and uh, it was rough. Yeah. Yeah, I came to freaking Europe, but never came to America. I was yeah. very upset. Also, even if you got it booted, like the European version, mm -hmm. your TV would shit a brick. Yeah. See if this works as well as I remember. Yeah, he's just dead. Oh, but they saw me immediately somehow. How the hell would they do that? I don't know, man. But like, try to calm them down by feeding them a poison rice cake. Oh, you're right.
<laughs> Will their AGG get the best of them? Oh, they found this corpse. Darn it. Oh, well, they'll they'll forget about the corpse soon enough and walk over that rice ball and eat it. <laughs> it's looking like it. Yeah, okay. Now go back where you came from and eat that rice ball. <laughs> oh, that guy's running, wandering off into the fields. Oh, well. What about you? Okay, you go in for the rice ball. You know where it's at. God! What a smart, smart man. <laughs> oh, looks like they're yawn here. Oh, God! I can't believe they poisoned that jelly donut. <laughs> <laughs> Random food on the floor. My one weakness! Oh, did he get over it? Was it not enough to fully kill him? That's sad. That's, that's sad. <laughs> He's going off to his, see his home, people. Most of them are just wandering in what? different they, they then wandered the far corners <laughs> of the earth? I don't... And if you stab them while they're holding it, you can they'll drop it and you can pick it back up, says 0720. Oh yeah? I'd never do that. I think that happened once accidentally for me. Alright, now the real reason to kill all these guys so we get the key that was sitting next to them. Oh, did one of them pick the key up? I guess the one I haven't killed has the key. Hmm. I don't see anything else. I'm like, can't you slash the doors down? And then I thought, I was like, wait. That should be done too. <laughs> gallop, gallop, gallop. Yes. This guy's really smart. I can't believe you snuck up on him so well. There it is. Okay, so what's the key for? Oh, this door here. Which there are other ways into the mansion, but I, I'd never do this one, so I think one. That's actually the hardest way to get in there. Huh. Yeah, return, uh... I thought it was Return from Darkness. Is it Return to Darkness? I'll look it up. Anyways, yeah, I'm not sure. uh, yeah, no, it's the Xbox version of uh, Wrath of Heaven. So that's pretty cool because we've got this Xbox HDMI mod. Since it's 480p and widescreen, it looks a lot better than the PS2 version. <laughs> oh, man. You weren't expecting that shit. Okay, it is from. Okay. Because I figured the subtitle had to do with uh, the Ricky Maru part of this campaign. What? Right. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Fucking going axe murder on your ass. Should play Fatal Shadows any of these days. Is that the uh, Wii one? No, that's uh, the sequel to the PS2 one. Okay. I really need to play through it. I... I did, feel like I did, but I'm not 100% sure. Did that name... I, I don't know that I've ever seen it. Did that have the name Kuranai in Japan? Yeah, that was Kuranai okay. in Japan. Okay. It's got... Uh, it doesn't have Riki Mara. It has Ayame and uh, the new girl, who is kind of like Tesh... Or not Teshu. Uh, God, what's his name? Tesmaru? Yeah. Tesmaru. Yeah. She's got the same sort of, like, got the backwards or sword on her back. Like, no. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen um, I remember it looking better. I. Yeah, I don't know. I need to. I need to play more of it. This guy's just stuck. Okay. Okay. Almost. Inga, help me! I'm stuck. <laughs> I wonder. Yes. Okay, this is really risky. Let's see how it works. Oh my god, that made me go really slow. So it didn't work at all. But hey, got him. Ignore me. 
Okay, good. Which one is Divine Retribution? All of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Lord Keeper uh, Thal, are you new around here? I gotta ask. Gonna get ready to go train, so I'll catch you in a few. Okay, Gil, have a good time with your workout. Do a good one. Get jacked, be gamer. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Guard, oh, that sword sticking out of the corner is weird. I should check it out. Oh, no. <laughs> Become strong, Vanny. Where is this guy? It shows him really close. He must be on the next floor up. You know, I constantly wonder how Vanny will deal with the move. Yeah, that's fair. I think she might chill out a bit. You think? I guess. Yes, because of yeah. the terrorist she deals with. Right. <laughs> yes, I expect to hear that sound a lot. <laughs> it being Banny. Oh, there we oh, go. Okay. Did not see that. No. I've not done this pass in so long, I forgot. But uh, but this is the ideal pass to get a lot of kills. Because he saw that. I got like mm -hmm. four kills down there. Yeah. Uh, Banny just has terrorists that she has to deal with, so she kind of just isolates and stays to our room. It stays to our room even when we're not there. What is with the sky bar? I don't know, man. Let's look at it. I can deal with yeah, most there. of it, but that, that one thing. Right? Oh. Easy pick. <laughs> or so I saw it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. I love the next leaf. Yes. He looks like an action figure. You just pop the head off. You of. right? No. No. Yeah, we got it. What did we get this time? What did we get last time? Uh, I got that cool kick. Ninjutsu block. Okay. Well, that's important for when it makes me do combat. I'm not here. He's so casually just... <laughs> yeah, I think it's a real shame that, like, for whatever reason, Acquire can't make a PS5 or PS4 or Xbox like Shinobi do. Right. I I think I think they would have much better odds with that or much better chance with that than they think they would. I mean, that sounds like what they want to do. So, well, like way of the samurai, the stuff fucking man. Yeah, yeah, you but they they did that down. press release like recently. I know. Where it's like, I, hey, I we just... want to. But yeah, it's... until they show me results, yeah, I'm that's going fair. to act like they're never going to do it because track record shows. <laughs> right. The ceiling entrance up here somewhere. Oh, Ow. Ah, oh, here it is. You're not gonna kill that guy? No, it's uh, fine. It's we, we got enough kills. Oh, you can only do it once per level? Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, 
You know, sometimes I feel really good about my pitch I did on Armchair Does for a Tenchu game. Yeah. And then I remember my drawing. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Dan. There are limitations. Why was oh, that Jesus. guy just walking off of a roof? Um. Where are you? Nin Ninja Times? Yeah. Made that normal? People used to walk on roofs all the time in Japan. Yeah, it. All right. right. You saw nothing. Ah, <laughs> oh, forget it. Uh, this game is Tenchu Return from Darkness. It's a really good game. It's the Xbox version of Tenchu 3 Wrath of Heaven. It has widescreen, which is fancy. the other way. He didn't do a cool jump or anything. He just fell down like a dumb <laughs> Well, everyone was stupid back then. Especially guards. Only ninjas were smart. And look at this one. Total dumb. This is right. But yeah, with the uh, FPGA memory card, we're actually able to do a We Play Your Tetsu 2 level series now. <laughs> uh, I would be really interested in that, but that is the hardest call to put out on the internet ever. Right, I don't think anybody would sign up for it. Because apparently no one knows what Tetsu is. It's apparently vaporware. Yeah. Yeah, just it's really easy for us to get save files onto our memory card now. So now the only difficulty is people making levels and getting their files to us. Right. <laughs> I would like to, but I don't trust my capacity of making a whole ass level in time. Yeah, I feel like no matter what time we put it at, it's going to be a problem for a lot of people. Ah. 28 hit Nobunaga Oda. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. But yeah, the thing is, people could just use an emulator. I can take true. that save file format too. I have a program that convert that can convert from every type of file format to every other for the PS1. It's really helpful because uh, that. FPGA memory card for people who haven't uh, messed with it. Really incredible. You just stick a micro SD card in and it can just keep making virtual memory cards that can switch between. Um, the thing is, it saves it as <laughs> excuse me. It saves it as raw data, not as individual save files. Um, so that's a little weird. You gotta convert that. In fact, the last thing that I think that used that format was Gleam. That's true, Scuzzer. As long as you knew what you were doing, you could totally um use a PSP emulating a PS1 <laughs> to make the levels and then just get it off of that, which would be easier for most people than getting it off of a PS1 or a PS2 or right. If you had free McBoot, you could get it off of a PS1 pretty easily, pretty easily. See, the thing for us is. We could do the series using free McBoot and doing that, uh, but when you take in so many levels, you want to make it as streamlined as possible because sweet Jesus. Yeah. Also, if you had a PSP 2000, you could stream directly onto a TV. Uh, we have a Vita TV, so we could do it that way if we wanted to. Assuming the PSP emulator could play Tetsu 2 well. Yeah, and like, which like part, of the, can. part of the problem was that uh, Mega Man uh, PSP game. Well, that was because up. that was just a PSP game. Yeah, those saves, like, ideally, PSP, I feel like we, yeah. want, we want to do our best to cut the PSP out of it on our side. Well, the PSP save file is different from a PS1 yes, playing I'm... on the PSP. <laughs> Big Dude Sam's is banned from the Tenchu Wiki for posting Gigaboots memes. That'll never, that'll never stop being fun. No. Those aren't, those aren't Mega Man Breaker Beams. Those are Gagaboats, man. You stop it. Oh, that kitty cat. 
It's okay. an official emulator, and the only game I can think of having problems with it is one of the Tomb Raider games, but there is a workaround for it. That's not true. Mega Man Legends actually has a desync problem on uh, the second half of the game. Pretty bad for a cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> Very strong. That cat looks better than the Yeezy 9 cat. Fuck. Yeezy 9 cat is like the worst looking part of that game. <laughs> That's so bad. I feel like modeling a good cat's important. Kind of is. Uh, Scuzzer uh, Field played through all of Legends on a uh, PSP. Or Vita TV. Which is a PSP. But I guess maybe if you were playing on a PSP mm -hmm. and not a Vita TV. Right. Maybe. Maybe some level of attachment there makes it work. Uh, thank you for the follow, by the way. We're halfway to our goal. Nice. All we have to do is stream for six and a half more hours and we'll hit it. Yeah, right? <laughs> Keep streaming Tenshi. People love that. Thank you, Nerdy D Disaster Fluffle. Uh, yeah, I have to wonder, did, did we... I think I missed that, Vinegar Ultimax. Sorry that I missed you resubscribing. We really do appreciate that. Yes, so much. Yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't here. OG it. Xbox content, have a sub or a follow. I'm broke. No, it's fine. I, I swap those words all the time. I'm used to the YouTube world of things. Ah. They're <laughs> just talking so over that's each other. Yeah. Your father searched for all those years. I... Just between you and me, it is known as the jewel of the earth. Legend says there are two more like it. I feel like the widescreen framing isn't realm. right. <laughs> he who acquires all three will discover power beyond his wildest dreams. Hmm. No. That is very, very interesting. I'm a bad man. You're a bad man. We're very, very bad men. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Is that a business proposition? <laughs> Consider it a favor. Kidnapping <laughs> girls isn't enough, huh? How'd you open the door and do that? <laughs> you must be one of Goda's Ninja dogs. Ninja Stage hands. <laughs> now let's see. Kidnapping, jewel theft, bribery. You two have been bad boys. <laughs> see, I told you. Dogs! Bebe. <laughs> Uh, hot damn, that was easy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna have to alt F4 your spines. <laughs> what the? <laughs> well, I really should be getting along. Go ahead and run, coward. The blood of this ninja will stain your tatami and will rust my sword. Yeah, the uh, the Ricky Mario entry for this is way funnier. Oh yeah, for sure. But I really like this one too. Yeah, and I think that the, the her first level thing was also really good. <laughs> yes, no, that was fantastic. Um, what I was gonna say, nerdy, is we actually um, this is a uh, Xbox modded with the HDMI mod and that uh, that that open source mod chip. So. Please, please, don't kill me. <laughs> you, you just skip it, and stab him. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we're actually going to be doing a few more streams of stuff we want to play. Like, for example, we don't have OutRun 2. Mm. We want to do that. And a number of other games that came up during the stream. Hell, I actually wouldn't mind if we would mute the game audio long enough for me to deal with it. Um, if we could uh, play some Burnout at some point. Mm. That would be great. I learned yesterday that the PSP has a co uh, port of OutRun Coast to Coast, which is insane. Yes, isn't that weird? The X the HDMI mod for the, the Xbox does look really nice, but if you have official component cables and you have an OSSC, you're, you're getting basically the same level of quality. I bet, actually, if you wait for that Retro Tink 5X to come out, there's a chance that'll look even better mm. than the OSSC. Right. Um, and that's not to say this HDMI mod isn't worth it, right? That's that's to say that it's not worth it on video quality alone, but it's nice to have just a single cable in the back. Right, yeah, that is nice. And I gotta stress, I gotta stress, 
that that one coming from the people who did the GameCube HDMI and the the PS1 digital and the, all those other solutions, is gonna cut the Ethernet point. Yeah, don't don't get that. Like don't. It's get, use an upscaler, upscale it to 1080p. It will look about as good as theirs does. And yeah, I j I can't stand the fact they're trying to cut the Ethernet functionality on an Xbox. On an Xbox. Yeah. What are they gonna do to the PS2? I don't know. They they just they. Ugh. Anyway. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you won't well, if you were standing and also dead. <laughs> Dan Bob says, "Boy, if I only knew of a giga level tech channel that could make comparisons and put boots to Eddie Dowders." <laughs> yeah, I I really should get on doing a comparison video of the quality because it wouldn't be hard. We have that other Xbox. It yeah. works. It's true. We have games on discs. We're not just pirating them. This shit's for real. So, admittedly, we are playing them all off the hard drive, but. No, wait, no, uh, wait, wait, don't. We had a deal. No, please. Um. No sign of that jewel. What exactly is going on here? <laughs> Just start shaking and getting mad. I finally have it. Soon, Goda's jewel of virtue will be mine as well. Wide. Time has nearly come to my servants. You will enjoy yourselves, I promise. <laughs> Um, we are actively taking any suggestions for this stream, but if you want to recommend some original Xbox games, there's a chance we would be interested in doing that in the future. Right. You know, there that's already happened, like, twice this stream, like with uh, OutRun 2 and other stuff. I got an actually decent score this time. Good job. No <laughs> longer a thug. Yeah, plenty of people who follow the channel uh, want to see Blinks. For sure. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually played Blinks. I, I played Blinks for five seconds, and it was like, this isn't this isn't Mario. I don't... <laughs> why are you trying to make a mascot out of this dude? It felt like some of those um, series exclusives, like the medium and other things, where they're trying to pump them up, and I'm like, this is fine, but... the incident and the conversation. A few months later, a treacherous incident occurs. Hamada, one of Lord Goda's men, takes Lord Goda hostage and demands that the Jewel of Virtue be brought to him. Timed with Hamada's acts of treason, a mysterious band of ninjas attacks the castle and takes over every floor. Jeez. You must hurry to rescue Lord Goda. That's a good excuse to be able to kill everyone in the traitor. castle. It is. It's a great excuse. <laughs> uh, a Fable 1 stream would be real fun. I agree. How have I not bought a copy of Fable 1? Do Those... I still have that? You might. I might. I, I didn't keep mine from back in the day. Because once again, Fable 1 was really fun, but I was so betrayed by Peter Molyneux's bullshit that I traded it out of frustration and anger and betrayal. <laughs> the actual game is really enjoyable. I enjoyed my time with it quite a lot. I... Clinches the feet of fools. <laughs> <laughs> this dumb That tigers. seems like a trap. Like literally, they're saying, "Yeah, if you're not stupid, it won't, it won't grab you." <laughs> yes. And then you go, "I'm not a dumbass." And then you step on it and it grabs you. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. I I looked up Fable Lost Chapter and I was like, "What? It, it's DLC what for is the first this? one." Yeah, it's just DLC. Yeah, but they like... made it on PC when they were on PC, I think. So really, if we wanted to do that, wouldn't wouldn't like the um. What is it? There's a 360 port Yeah, they did an anniversary one. edition on the 360. Yeah. yeah, so that's the one we'd probably want to do, like an Xbox Series X playing that. I'm curious how that goes. Yeah. Oh. Is this another read into Rebirth? No, it's some poison vice. You're boss. like, oh, food! 
Luckily, your characters don't do that. Good That's lord. That's good. That's good. Isn't it part of Game Pass? I think Able, every Fable is. Yeah, it is owned by Microsoft, so that makes sense. Uh, Victor says Lost Chapters is also on Xbox. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it is. Oh, it I... must have been part of that first, the, the very early DLC. Yes, so. and I'm not sure what our solution to play that would look like now, but I don't know. I haven't looked into it. Victor also says don't play Anniversary. Oh, yeah? Is that what adds the cut content? Because I played the PC version, I'm pretty sure that's the ending chapter. <laughs> hey guys. I guess when you call it the lost chapters. I remember it having an ending, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't actually good. I don't know. Either way, I'm 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 happy to do Xbox original streams. You know, it's yeah. always nice to sit down and just do these streams of these old what? systems. Right. Know exactly how it was. Yeah. Like I enjoyed I enjoyed the GameCube stream. Yeah. Like when we just played a bunch of games like that Batman game that was un un unbelievably, infathomably terrible. Yeah. Not unlike Ninja Gaiden Plus Hurricane Pax versus Ninja Gaiden Black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we I remember being hyped to get the hurricane pack on day one. Is it raining? I'll check. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I remember the hurricane pack stuff. You know? Yeah. Coming out for Ninja Gaiden. And then they came out with Ninja Gaiden Black, and it was just like, well, I already traded in my Xbox. <laughs> Because when I was explaining my frustration with, you know, the Fable thing and other stuff, right? Um, to Handsome Joe. Mm -hmm. Joe was like, yeah, yeah, it's, I don't know, man. Ninja Guy is kind of bad. I'm like, what's what's bad about it? And he's like, it beats me up. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's basically how the conversation went. And I'm like, it doesn't, it's not even that hard of a game. I just... Once once you get past the opening chapter, I felt like the quality went down a little. And then once you get to the city, I feel like it goes <laughs> down a lot. Like, it's not very compelling the way it structures the first bit in the city. I feel like it has to improve from there. Someday I'm going to beat that game and know myself. Right. I, I enjoy what it does. Like, it builds out how kind of how the city works together. But I get it. It's definitely not the same thing as the first chapter. Yeah, the first, like, two chapters are really good flow-wise, like, really good cin cinematically, I feel. Mm -hmm. And it feels like what a classic Ninja Gaiden game would be. Like, just from a cool ninja palace, cool shit, beautiful environments. Here's an airship. That not that crazy? And then it's like, okay, yeah, I can, I can, deal, I can deal with the airship. It's a weird total shift as I get into my BDSM nin ninja <laughs> outfit. But, you know, I can deal with that. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. And then you get to the city and it's like, eh. But I don't know. It was fine. It was really fine. I was fine with all of it. And, and, and then somewhere somewhere underground, somewhere underground, I stopped being in love with the game. <laughs> I don't know. Someday I'm going to beat it because I really did enjoy it. I think they still see me. <laughs> they really? Just, what they, gives me that they idea? They just can't figure out how to get up here. Is it the, the double exclamation point? <laughs> That guitar sound. When's the last time you heard a video game that had that sort of sound? <laughs> right. Because all I can think of is Diablo 2. Like oh, a sort like, of like village theme. Probably another uh, Way of Samurai game. Yeah, of course. You're totally right. Way of the Samurai 1 does have a sound like that. Vinegar Ultimax says RimWorld. I somehow forgot that that was an enemy type. The lady ninja with double blades just like a Yama. Yeah. I think she's playable in a uh, multiplayer. So a Yane is dead or alive and a Yame is t okay. Yep. That's 20 years later and I'm still doing that. <laughs> oh, there's another one here. Jesus. Have you considered using a bomb or a shirt again? Good. You could try baking a cake. A ninja cake from hell. Oh boy. Welp. I'm to use my Estus flask. Ah, oh, very, very dark souls. 
I feel like a lot of 6th gen consoles are neglected at online streamed oh. content. Yeah, you know, there's... I don't know why. Like, I, I, honestly, PS2 gen, my favorite gen. So many it's super interesting games. We finally got 3D running well. Mm -hmm. It was so exciting. You get a lot of variety in games that you really didn't get past that point. No. And that's a shame. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I'm just going to take a nap. Oh, there she is. Oh, she found the dead guy. Um. Yeah, I just, I don't know why. Don't know why we uh, we don't see more people streaming it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. I guess it's because it's win. harder to, to, like, get on HDMI. Then retro console? Like, SNES? Well, you so, see, so many people just, you know, just they're fine with simulating that because it's easy. Many are, but not all of them are doing it. Quite a few are using OSSC and Retro. I mean, that's why Retro Tink's popular. That's why speedrunners use Retro Tink, because it works. It True. just works. And all of the things that work for that would work for this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I feel like more people stream PS1 and N64 than any 6th gen console. Yeah. And I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Probably because Zoomers grew up with them and people don't see them as retro. And that's true. There is there is an intro. There is a level of um, people don't see them as retro. But you would think Zoomers growing up with them would make it more popular. Who knows? Maybe we're entering the era, you know, where PS2, GameCube, and Xbox will be seen as more of the thing. Maybe. Right? It'll be weird because we rode the wave the whole time, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. We are like, yeah, SNES and Genesis is great, and then we hit PS1 nostalgia peak, <laughs> and then 64, and we're like, yeah, that was pretty good too. <laughs> Once again, Bob, it, it feels like for a while there, we had great generation, uh, generation, great generation, <laughs> uh, generation, and then we hit PS4, and it felt like the entire industry had to come back to life, which kind of delayed it from being... Oh, Jesus! He just in there the looking at the door. But yeah, no, you're totally right. GameCube is currently the, re the retro thing, according to my friend who owns a game store. GameCube games sell for like four times the price. Huh. I mean, I heard that from people, you know, who... Oh my God. That is the funniest looking shit. Yeah, it is. Okay, real quick. Can you go back to the bottom and show Tosh? Tosh. Tosh, look at this animation. <laughs> Just going up, slide whistle sound. Uh, I can't, like, the camera's stuck behind me. I, yeah. I can't separate the camera that way. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> yeah, no, I have no idea what she meant either. <laughs> no, you, oh, the, the, if I crouch, the camera goes behind me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Like, if GameCube's so popular, why aren't we seeing more streams of GameCube stuff? GC Loader exists. It's one of the cheapest optical drive emulators on the market. Plug-and-play HDMI solutions exist for the GameCube. The GameCube, quite frankly, is right now one of the easiest to stream sixth-generation consoles, and I don't know why I rarely see any content of it. Uh, all that was done just for the sake of Melee. Uh, no one actually cares about it otherwise. People care about GameCube games, though. Weirdly, yeah. Yeah. No, immensely. That's it's Nintendo and it's then, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people who were super young <laughs> when the GameCube was out grew up with the GameCube because it was cheap. Right. Scuster says I see GameCube games having content for them all the time. GameCube was my first console. I don't see a lot of streamers though. That's that's really what I'm saying. Vinegar Ultimax says, I see a lot of Mario Sunshine and Wind Waker. I do see that, but I don't see... I don't see generalized streams around GameCube. I mean, a lot of people don't do generalized streams, I guess. Uh, a lot of people do. A lot of people are just what? the DOS streamer, right? That's true. That's the sort of thing is around. I, I see tons of... I follow multiple channels that are just, this is the console I do. <laughs> so I see SNES. I see Genesis. I see DOS. 
I see, I know many people who are PS1 and N64 cuz aesthetic. Like, that's generally their thing. But I feel like, for some reason, GameCube doesn't get as much. Oh, that's true. There is a Wind Waker randomizer. I still haven't tried it. See, and that's what I'm talking about, Ixia. Ixia says, I see more people streaming on the Game Boy Player than streaming on the GameCube itself. <laughs> yeah. That's absolutely true. That's true. It does feel like it does feel like people only care about the the main Nintendo games on GameCube. I mean, nobody wants to play any of the third parties. The third party was the weakest that gen. Yeah, but that whole GameCube stream we did was almost entirely third party. Mm -hmm. Like the first party stuff was Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Oh wow. Okay. We got through. Let's run it down. Mario Kart. We did Smash at the very end. Uh -huh. Kirby's Air Ride. Mm -hmm. I think that was it. We did like 11 or 14 or 16 games. But I don't know. I just, I just, it's weird. It's weird to me. I want to see more content on six gen consoles. Like, those people typically want something really, like, very Nintendo oriented. Like, think about stuff we did start party wise. Mm -hmm. Batman. Incredibly yeah. bad. Yeah. That weird first person shooter, really bad. But it was interesting to see. It was interesting to see, but people don't want interesting when they're doing those, I guess. I guess the people who like GameCube like the main line stuff because those are good. Yes, people who like GameCube like Missionary. I totally get it. Their yes. favorite flavor of ice cream is vanilla. I totally get it. Yeah, no, that's that's the feeling I get from that. But but this is a smaller subset of the larger problem that is I don't see a lot of streaming of 6 gen. Like, we're playing Tenchu. Yeah. The, the game that doesn't actually exist, I guess. <laughs> All right, Giga Boys, I'll be heading to bed. See you on the other side of fall goes well in about a year. I expect you to gain international claim in my absence. <laughs> Dan, Dan, Bob, mark this down somewhere. I'm pretty sure we will be about at the same level of viewers when we're live now as we will be a year from now, <laughs> except for for a large event thing. That just seems to be how it goes around these parts. But uh, I, I, I want to believe in us, too. I I hope that it goes well for you out there, Dan Yeah, that's, that's that's what I care about. I care about you doing well. I hope you make bank. I hope everything goes all right. But Dan, or, but Dan, Dan Bob wants us to do well, too. You shouldn't ignore that. <laughs> Come back and own me with that, that number in a year. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, see, you had 600 people yeah. watch you play a different yeah. shitty star. I mean, what are we at now? 150. This stream has been small because we're playing Xbox. Right, but we've been up to 200 people for playing Xbox starting at 7 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Ninja Vision. Use Ninja Vision. Press and hold the white button <laughs> to enter manual camera mode. The button. Click up to zoom in. Down. Press and hold white and use the right thumbstick? Are you fucking kidding me? This made a lot more sense on the PS2 where we had uh, R1, Shit. L1. Oh my god. That's rough. That's something growling. Dan Bob says, you're both so fucking kind to deserve the world and a half. Get your money and get a house. That's Dan just... Bob. Thank you, Dan Bob. Good luck. Stay safe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how dangerous the forest is. Hopefully it's fine. Farms are dangerous. <laughs> Dan B. There he is. For a Sharks fan, you're all right, Dan. Good luck. Wait, Sharks fan? <laughs> Where's that even coming from, Baydog? <laughs> Geist, Beautiful Joe, Resident Evil 4. I'm not seeing the context for this. Were those the ones we played on that stream? We didn't play Resident Evil 4. We did play that on a different stream. I can see. Oh, there he is. Oh, hi. Once you hit the Naruto <laughs> podcast, you'll hit a big time. Could you imagine we hit the Naruto podcast? That would feel insane. That would be pretty insane. Guys, if we hit the Naruto podcast, I, I, I'll be floored. Hey, Bob. I think we we'll, we can do it one day. I don't know if we can do it by next year, but I I feel like it's possible. Hey, Bob. Imagine you made three times the money you make now. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd that's be pretty uh, nice. That's nearly inconceivable. I spent most of my life dirt poor. Now that I'm on the poverty line or slightly above, I, I feel like it's ridiculous. 
except for the whole I can't actually play. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, shitty Naruto game stream when? See, I've already played Naruto games, so it's our like the fuck the, the that podcast cannot be the same as the Bleach one. Right. Yeah. You've... So we're free to play those in advance. That doorknob's very wide. It is. Don't open that door. Do not. <laughs> I don't know why that doorknob's yeah. so wide. Run away. Oh, he's already. Dave Bob says, hit me with the Danny Richardson for the road and I'll be on my way. <laughs> Danny Richardson. Here, I'll give you a couple for the road. Danny Richardson. Danny Richardson. There you go. <laughs> Danny Richardson. Explosion. <laughs> Explosion sound. Oh. And Melesra. I love people just yelling executive producers and <laughs> Actually all of these are executive producers. Hey! I'm used to having Podlords mixed in. <laughs> and viewers like you. Thank you. We come back to you, Dorks. I'm happy I clicked the two did good night. Okay, have a good one. Take it easy, nerdy. Don't worry about it. She wanted to take their face off. Okay, just thunder in the game. It's not a. It's not a dog. <laughs> I see you. I saw. I, I guess some people have heard of this game because I saw the uh, Neo Two character creator uploaded for an Ayame skin. I was like, okay, somebody knows. Wait, what happened? Uh, on Neo 2's character, just someone made an Ayame skin. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I feel like this game was, you know. Yeah, I felt like it was somewhat well known. Do not come Mainly with one too. I'll cut Gola's throat. <gasps> Ayame, You're, we must do. You do not fit the art style of anyone else ah, in this game. Yeah, it's just the monkey course. man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ayame. <laughs> I escaped Take somehow. Cover. This traitor must be punished. Yes. Get him. Get yes. him. Get him. <sighs> Insanity. Treason. Whatever. I choose not to live by your rules. <laughs> that was the last second block and Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> A pretty dramatic level. Yeah, it is for he fighting knocked those <laughs> items out of you. Oh, he did. That's bad. I bet if you beat this level without grabbing them, you just yeah, lose so. them. Uh oh. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Charging. He's weirdly powerful for a random statesman. You should get that pickup. I should, but I couldn't reach it in time anyway. Tragic. The jewel of the earth. The jewel of heaven will be in my hand shortly. And that doesn't match that at all. Jewel of virtue. Hamada, have you gone mad? I am not Hamada. I am Tenrai. <laughs> the mysterious voice that came out of the dead. That's really bizarre. <laughs> yeah, it is. If you end up doing the Naruto podcast, I might be, end up being tempted to buy the Naruto box set like I'm currently tempted to buy the block, 
Bleach box set, so that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Two of them were stolen by thieves in the past. The one left hidden in Goda's possession is the jewel of virtue. With the you have a nice clean cut off this bleach first. Now it's all this up that's Goda good and you'd buy. Naruto it's less clear and maybe you shouldn't buy any. Before that, Goda must prepare for other attacks by Tenrai. By seeing him control Hamada's dead body, it was evident that Tenrai was I feel like they were supposed to have animated that. Power. Yes! Lord Goda knew that he would need to have weapons of equal spiritual strength to fight back if Tenrai ever attacked again. Goda's family diary spoke of Yoto swords that were so spiritually powerful that his ancestors had to seal the swords in a shrine in the cemetery to keep the swords from taking the lives of their owners. To get to the shrine, now an old house, one had to break five sealing stones within the cemetery. You must go to the shrine in the cemetery to retrieve the Yoto swords. But be careful. The spirits blocking your path cannot be hurt by normal swords. I feel like this is probably a good place to make the switch to Tony Hawk or Yeah, probably. Something. Um I wonder if people have opinions on which Tony Hawk I play. Right? I'm just gonna go with three. Even yeah. though I did that yesterday. <laughs> Whatever that was. Maybe yeah, you I want think more. That was yesterday. <laughs> um I guess I could play underground one. Oh, this is I'm really torn. Yeah, people seem to be for three. Boys. Creekwell, but you say you're interested in getting the Makuman box. Did that get an ending? I never picked it up because I thought that they it just abruptly ended after one season. And hate to dome on trigger. I know it's very close to my face. Oh, I actually didn't install three yet. VOD mute time. Whoops. Probably. Uh, I'll just mute the game audio until it can turn off the music. Man. Oh, the manga box sets. Okay. I have to fucking install it. Oh, right. And this is the one that has a kind of messed up disc. It's fine, except for the video, which is the ending. Right. Which is unfortunate for everyone watching. Yeah, so no one expect the ending, unfortunately, but you got still Tony Hawk. We still got the rest of the game. Yeah, I bought this copy on eBay. It's not good. I contacted eBay for a refund. They're like, okay, if the person who sold this to you doesn't respond in time, you, you just tell us and we'll fuck him up with this money bad. <laughs> I'm like, great. I don't blame you, Creek Wolf. The, the anime does not look very good visually. <laughs> and I know that that's part of it because that's like the Death Note art artist, so they're real, real solid. Oh, right. This isn't 16 by 9. <laughs> nope. You don't want to play Stretch Man? Nope. Stretch Talk. Did you see a uh, Bucky uh, Lasik with his iconic smile God. has uh has already made it. Bucky Lasik smiles. Great. It's rough, man. It's so powerful. So we need to choose a different skater. All right, you can only change the music and stop in game, right? He's also got a weird smile. Yeah, it's Bam. Uh, of course, yeah. That's, that's Bam for you. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Sorry, Rodney. Your your stats suck, except for Flatland. Sure, Chad Muska. Why not? It'd be funny if he skated with the boom box. He has a trick that pulls it out. That makes sense. That's more reasonable. Okay, let me unmute this. This should be good now. Since it's that day. Oh, is that? Yeah, I've never actually used this feature before. 
I'm really curious what that does. Did you get in trouble for the Neil C. Sirica Tony yeah, Hawk of stream? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that that is his stuff is filled with direct points. So. Yeah, so he gets in trouble for it. That ah, good job, Dan. <laughs> hey. I forgot there were people here. <laughs> really? Yeah. Huh. One of your goals is to knock one of them in. Oh no! It's to the water though. Oh, okay. not the lava. Kill a man. Like, uh, Tony, is that okay? Are, are, aren't we supposed to save this for underground too? <laughs> Yo, chat. That guy knew my name. Yeah, that's weird. That's pretty cool. And real quick, we're gonna check this goal list. Cause usually there's a do blank trick over. Oh no, this is one of the 50-50 TC's rails. TC's rail. What's up, Bob? I'm just thinking about how uh, this is way weaker than the first two Tony Hawk games first level. Yeah. I, I don't hate it, but it's just, it's just not. I mean, it's, that's stiff competition. It is. There he goes. That isn't water. He's gonna die. <gasps> I feel like you really lose something by not having music. Yeah. It's kind of like a level three. Yeah, yeah, I can see this being the third stage in a Tony Hawk game. Absolutely. I forget, do they keep the letters up top? Because I think they move those around too, depending on which gator you use. Oh, really? Uh huh. Yeah, different goals and different placement of a few things. Uh, luckily, the, uh, eh. that doesn't change very often. I don't think it ever changes. That makes sense. They probably don't have one really hard place to get. They, they, they know that it's still attainable. They stuck a stat point up there. I'm not... Mm. The criminals. They only do that with some of the skaters, too. Mm. I forget, does this thing close down every now and again and that's how I'm supposed to 50-50 TC's rail? <laughs> and then he went to hell. <laughs> it's a really high quality sound effect. I'm gonna eat a little bit of my sandwich. Cool, you beans. do that. No, oh, no! Dan has bean monopoly at Bob's house. You have unlocked Canada. All of it. Yeah. What? Last game you went to iconic levels like Philadelphia. And this game you go to iconic levels like Canada. All of it. I don't see what the problem is. I feel like I should turn this game the fuck down. Because it's really loud compared to Tenchu. There we go. I think there's even an argument to be made that it should go lower, but we'll do this for now. Yeah, I hate this stat point. I should really not even try to get it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done trying to get that. Okay, let's... Oh, very bad timing. Oh, hey. Oh, God. I should watch that video that tells me what TC's rail is. Hey, that ain't it. Okay, here we go. Are any of the Tony Hawk games like Burnout Paradise style huge? Uh, Project 8. <laughs> Just had to kill, spell skate and kill a man to do it. Oh god, thank you for unlocking Canada, Dan. I can now leave the house. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yep. Patience. This goal is one of the most annoying in a Tony Hawk. Is, most of it is just waiting. Wow, yeah. To do that. What's your sandwich, Bob? Holy cow, it's coming down! Run! What? 
Jesus. Very fancy. Uh, this is a Publix Ultimate sub. It's got, uh, what, turkey, roast beef, and ham, I think? Mmm. I always order garlic pickles, and this is the first time they've le left a note saying, yeah, we don't carry that. So I don't think I've ever actually had pickles on it. <laughs> and then cool. just like, then like, well, I guess I didn't order. I guess I forgot. Uh, points and TC's rail, which I still don't know what it is. Got it. <laughs> the points it is. Always got to get used to having bad stats. Yeah, right. You just get so used to being a super Chad that you forget what it's like to not be able to do shit. Double heel flip. The arrogant. The absolute arrogance of the double heel flip. Yeah, no no sandwich prediction. Sorry, Creek Wolf. Sorry, I, I'm playing this. I don't have time to go over there and set up a prediction. And I don't think we have any mods still in chat. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so that's DC's. Sure. I can, in fact, 50-50 that. I can do that for you, game. What? I noticed uh, on this version, and I don't remember being as rampant an issue on other versions, the um, half-pipe just seems to let you out in some places. And part of me wonders if that's the controller or, or this version of the game. Right? Because that's real bad. Yeah. Like that, or do it without purpose? No, that time was on purpose, because I hit the sick goal. Right. Like that. Okay, so it must be the D-pad or something. So we should swap out this controller for another one, even though it's blue, and I like blue. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be that. That's why it's nose grinding. Oh, I was like, why does it keep doing that one? Because I'm literally holding nothing and it's pushing up. Part of Skate the Infinity. No, I don't think so. Cover shot. I assume since it's a skating game, it's a PC indie game. That's an anime. Oh, okay. I, it took me a second to remember. I did not check it out. I think I've seen a picture of it once. So this area's uh, goals are better. They probably should have started the game in Canada. Maybe they're like, we can't have Canada be level one. That's just the whole country. And yet they should have. Let's uh, just go and impress some skaters make this uh, a number of things all in a row <laughs> let's see yeah, i should probably check it out sometime see if that's any good see if it's free for skating i doubt it'll be that <laughs> i don't think it's it'll a be tall able to be order a, it is a tall order it's not kyoto animation if it were that would have been day one <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Whoa. On, What's up? Was, uh, I'm surprised you stayed on your board. That's all I'm saying. You're surprised what? You stayed on your board. What? No, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so that's one, two. Huh. Oh, yeah, this time. It also moves these guys based on which skater you choose. Of course. <laughs> that's replay value. You have to learn things again. I bet you can't even kick flip. So there's our high score. It's so weird to play this game without music. Yeah, no, it's just it's eerie. Spooky Skater Town. I am not seeing this last skater. Unless you were somehow not convinced, which I'm pretty sure you were. Can you stick it? Yeah, I don't know. 
There's some other skater missing. Huh. Maybe he's in a totally different part of the level. No. No, they don't they don't move him that far. <laughs> Tony Hawk was that muse, it scares me. Says you kill Yali. Uh Canada, the scary he's plays on Earth says unbacked. Okay, so here's one. Just think about that uh Aqua Teen episode where like Canada is just a shack. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, that was lame. You gotta do something, eh? So don't stop now. You gotta do something, eh? <laughs> well, he's impressed. Okay, let me shoot off. Come on, man. Yeah, we can't put Neil, Neil CC or gone because that's the same exact problem already with Tony Hawk needs a cast. Yeah, we're just going to get claimed to death. Right. Sorry the future's like this. <laughs> this is what Twitch wants. Yep, this is what Twitch wants. Also, since we did other games this stream, I'd feel really bad if we lost all that to Dan wanted to play Tony Hawk with music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be rough. Yeah, I feel like this guy might be one of the skaters I impressed, but I'm not sure. Right. What about you? No. Can you find a loop of a way to love? We'll it's called Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Mona Lisa is technically the artist. Awake to love is the uh, song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be funny, but. <laughs> Jesus. That's true. I could just I could just play that over this and that would be perfect. I should do that. That's a great idea. That's the good plan, Creek Wolf. Just provide your own music by playing Goldfinger and <laughs> another tap. Yes. Okay. Get up. So, Bob, mm. comedy movie podcast. Okay. Oh, no. We review comedy films. It's called You're Supposed to Laugh. Then we already have first contact name. <laughs> and yet we don't do that many comedies, I don't think. Strangely, even though there's I some real cursed ones. Also, like, committee's been stealing all the comedies, as far as I can tell. Yeah. All, yeah. all the comedies we've done, I think, have been relegated to committee. We cringe at your movies. Yeah, that is actually Curse Content's uh, unofficial name. Okay, so let's get up here. I am totally going to play that uh, Phantom Crash song and admit it. I just want to get a clean break on this level before I stop to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Blade. <laughs> that, that man's not okay. I guess the I guess you're right. I guess the channel has some movies that are allegedly comedies. Yep. That's true. That's true. Outside of those though. Feel like we haven't we haven't reviewed many comedies in official. That was the break bid, Dan. Hey, Bob, do you want to answer that? <laughs> the, bit, the break basically didn't exist, but I'm really glad I didn't put up videos this week to go with everything else. Bob, did you know we do about 13 podcasts a month? Yeah. So that's cool. That's pretty cool. It's a lot of stuff. Because it's... It's four and a half weeks in a month. Two podcasts a week. That makes nine. Chuggy Bleach and Mondo Cool makes 11. Committee makes 12. And if you count the commentary track and the review separately, which I feel like you should, because so much work goes into the commentary tracks. Um, yeah, that's 13. Yeah. 13 fucking podcasts a month. That means you guys basically get a podcast every other day. Yeah, it's it's just insane. We've been over this. <laughs> yeah, I guess the people online might not have, have done put the math. together how much stuff we do. Yeah, 
And then on top of that, we do the 20 hour death streams and, uh, uh, and we were doing three 4K60 videos a week. There's a lot. Yeah. Doop, 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 doop. Ah, so that's why it's been so bad since I've been working. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Creek Wolf. Um, one more time. Get skate. Nose grind around this shit. Wait, was that really it? <laughs> it really is a never-ending waterfall of content. Yes. Yeah. No, it's uh, we, no one, no one does more content than we do for podcasts. So where's the S? Uh, it's around where I start. Okay. I'm just fucking up. Wait, that guy's pretty stupid. Yeah, and he's making sounds like it's not going well. Shh. <laughs> My ability to keep up with this podcast has been bad. Okay, that makes sense, because, yeah, they're constant. Yep. There it is. Now I just got to go back this. There it is. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, so that everything? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. I really like Tony Hawk 3. It has some pretty good levels. It's not as insane as 4. 4 is great for single player content for Tony Hawk sickos. Mm -hmm. The levels are huge. They think of psychotic goals to make you do. <laughs> and if you're really good at Tony Hawk games, you kind of need that. What's up? Really wish they were working on a new Tony Hawk. Yep. Yep. Ugh. Hurts. Activision sure is fucking stupid. Oh, we need them to work on Diablo, Diablo 2. 2. And then who knows what. Because what else? What, that's what really gets me. What do they even do after Diablo 2? They, they have nothing else. They can go back and finish Warcraft 3, but there's like nothing else left. And really, like that's what you took them off for, fixing Warcraft 3. Right? Like what? Just let let people own the original again, and they'll be fine. Right. But yeah, you're probably right. They'll probably try to fix Warcraft Three. Yeah, because I can't think of any other game that's like from Blizzard that would be it's in need of rework. They redo Lost Vikings. <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> I guess you could redo Diablo 1, but that'd just be weird after doing 2. It's like, why'd you bother? This is, do it, do this as an update for the other one. Finish StarCraft Ghost. <laughs> sure. Yes. I love this loop of them making sounds. Because we talked about it at length on the podcast on Big Thing. How upset we are with Sony for doing that. It's really terrible. <laughs> Diablo 3 is like nearly 10 years old. Now they can remake that. But you're making Diablo 2. You just, you literally have something better. And then you're working on Diablo 4. Which is... Hopefully, better than Diablo 3. Yeah, no, it, I'm sure it saves them some small amount of money, you guys, sir. So, that's it. That's the only reason. It's terrible. Wait, they did remake WoW with Classic, but I was wrong. That's not a remake, though. That's just a server that... That lets you play the the old, like literally the old code for. <laughs> this time will be different. <laughs> yeah, Swigner. Yeah, totally.
Have they even made StarCraft yet? Well, StarCraft 2 is... Yeah, I don't think they would remake that. <laughs> God, you, why would you remake StarCraft 2? Right, like, I guess you could remake 1, but that... that then, then, actually, didn't they, they do that? Yeah, I think they did in HD I'm version like, I'm going one. insane! Yeah, I, I was feel like, like they did that, they, and I should have checked that out, but I didn't! Yeah, they did do that. I also didn't play it, even though I should have. Yeah, we need, we, need to do, we need to get into that. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, playing Tony Hawk 3. They can make StarCraft 3, but again, the, the, this is a, a mainly remastering company that they've absorbed, so it's real weird. Like, seriously. All I'm saying is the next thing they make better be a Tony Hawk themed up. Uh, <laughs> a, a Blizzard game that's just a Tony Hawk game with Blizzard characters. <laughs> that would be funny. Someone who has no idea what's up uh -huh. is going to show up to the stream and have a stroke. That's fair. And that's great. <laughs> it's a good song. God as it ever. Made to boarding. That's really rough, Bay Dog. <laughs> Mate boarding. <laughs> that guy's me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't play the Tony Hawk music. We'll get claimed. But we played Phantom Crash earlier in the stream. So, you know, why not play more Phantom Crash music? <laughs> it's a good song. In fact, play the exact song that we played three million times <laughs> during that because nobody got tired of it then. Why would they get tired of it now? I'm oh, sorry, she changed the title of Obscure Xbox Original Game. Yeah, no, if uh, we played FanCraft earlier in the stream, if you like this song, definitely go check out some of the other music in that. It's real interesting. Oh, yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, no, Two we, levels at once always feels good. We do need Tracer as a character in Tony Hawk. <laughs> Just to get her for Tony Hawk 3 plus 4. Yeah, totally. 3 plus 4 is such a bizarre concept. It is. It's like, here's it's... this Tony Hawk shaped thing and this nightmare. Yeah, here's this thing that's to completely different. Y you ever see those Onion comics with the sicko shirt guy? Yeah. Well, that's people who enjoy Tony Hawk 4, and I'm one of them. They need to but have, I have to admit that it is a sicko fucking thing. They, they need to just, like, here's three in the brand new thing. It's like an extra level sword or something. Whoa. That was weird. Don't worry about it. No, Lucio. I mean, he has roller skates. I don't know if we can convince him to wear a skate. Or he skates He skates while wearing the rollerblades. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that's fine. It's like, can we redesign your character doll? No. He no. cannot take off those rollerblades. Those are his feet. He's like Axel. I mean, I think that is, is they are robot legs. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. Because I remember it's really built out if it's not actually robot legs. You know, a smart man would have just played multiple different songs. <laughs> from Phantom Crash. Not just aiming to play the one. Right. One moment. Let me hit loop. Maybe I'll throw some other music in here, like Panzer Trick. You know, I don't miss many things when I come back to Tony Hawk 3. Mm. But I miss Flatland, and I miss Wall Plant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That didn't go well. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do it this way then. Quit! <laughs> Quit dancing, Axel! I thought Kingdom Hearts! And then this guy, uh, and then... <laughs> That's funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, though, I also did, don't have a, didn't have a clear, immediate instinct of, yeah, Axel, the Twisted Metal character. The Twisted Metal character with uh, arm wheels is, he, uh, and legs, so he can't. My, my mind went to guilty urine trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, people will get this. It's a direct analog to exactly what Bob's talking about. Everyone's like, what the fuck's a Twisted Metal? <laughs> Yes, Axel from Mega Man X, the most powerful character. <laughs> yes, he's so cool. Everybody wants him back. That's why they need to make a new game. It's for Axel. <laughs> Mega Man Axel? 
<laughs> I almost got all the pumpkin. What's up this speed? I feel like if they do that, it, it has to be a spin-off like Mega Man Zero. And you know, where Mega Man Zero got more like kitty looking, Axel has to look more manly. Oh, Cause yeah. it has to be the reverse. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Because it's for people who were into Mega Man Zero who are now into gritty things. <laughs> yeah, Man, this doesn't look right at all. Eh. Sketchy indeed. To be fair, the Twits of Metal Axel isn't as major of a character that is King of Hearts Axel or Disgaea Axel. I don't know who Disgaea Axel is, so I can't speak to that. I think that uh, Twisted Metal Axel is only in like one game, right? No, he's in several. Okay. I thought that he was like one of those one-offs. No, God, no. Just... That would have been terrible. No, he's integral. Okay. He's he's one of the main characters. Um, but, you know, it's Twisted Metal. Yeah. So... so people don't, like this crowd of people don't give a shit. Right. That, that armchair dev's Twisted Metal sure will be rough. <laughs> Big Ben and Axel needs to be designed by one of the guys who makes Warhammer 40k. Yeah, basically, play. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what I'm going for. That would be exquisite. You know what? I'll bring this axe to him since I can't remember what the last pumpkin is. Why is he looking 2D? He's like super stretched. He's called What's the happening? Thin Man. What is That's going why? on? He's supposed to be really thin. Jesus. Whoa! <laughs> yep. Three's weird. I have not played three enough to not be surprised by this. <laughs> I know I know those first two levels. Apparently I can't even remember this one. Oh really? Hey, there it is. No wonder I couldn't find it. It's like really hidden off. What what is um Heel Flip the trailer hop? Okay, sure, I'll try that. Now I'm trying to remember Axel in in Disgaea, because I, I don't offhand remember that name. I don't know which trailer is the trailer hub. Oh, it's that guy. Yeah, I feel like he was only really important in two. So it's been a long time. Can I say? Oh, that <laughs> house is 420 and I never realized. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. He's one of those bonus characters that shows up at the end of the other games, but <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> other than that. He was a major character in 4. He caused the pandemic. I don't even remember that. I need to play through 4 again. Why did that not move? Chops twice. My penis is complete. Now I can finally die. Yeah, yes. I, don't, I don't even... Yeah. yeah. His lore must Whoa. be real weird. What's up? What? The door shattered like it was a piece of glass. Yeah, I broke it. It was a glass door. <laughs> What's the issue? <laughs> <laughs> and is there a problem here, Bob? <laughs> Sad Muska is powerful. Hell yeah, he is. Have you heard his beat? <laughs> it's true. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Whoa! Almost got it. And this haunted house is crazy. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I think Tony Hawk games are the only games that I have the I need to beat this once a year sort of thing for. That's fair. I hear people who say that about games that are way longer and it scares me. Yeah, no, I see that for for like Bioware games all the time. Like, I can that's, that's a <laughs> lot. That's a lot. <laughs> or Skyrim. Mm hmm. So what do you need to do up here? So I'm actually supposed to get that. Oh, okay. And I'm doing the wrong thing, which I have a really bad habit of doing here. Skyrim at least can be shorter for us. Yeah, I don't think they ever rush it. But yeah, no, that's that for sure. It's not as much like, Jesus, okay. 
There we go. Type of game for me is either Kingdom Hearts 2 or Aria of Sorrow. Yeah, uh, Aria of Sorrow definitely should be that game for me. I don't beat it yearly. I should get better about that. I can get Skyrim because my playthroughs usually consist of adding mods until it's, un it's unstable to play it until it breaks. I mean, that does sound pretty fun. <laughs> Just like, hey, what will be the, ca the, the straw that breaks this camel's back? Yeah. <laughs> you no, load that's... it up and it's like, oh, oh, is this city? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I should probably do that for Double May Cry 3. I, I, I used to be better about playing through it. Yeah. And, and then and then things got busy. Yes. So okay, Bob, we strike back with quote getting a vacation by just launching headlong into themed streams that are like these are games we love. So shut up and watch. Them. <laughs> so to be fair, I I really did enjoy the um the pet shoe thing where you're just constantly trying to sell people, yo, it's like it's like this <laughs> from Dark Souls. <laughs> you should play this, Dark Souls people. Yes. Uh, that, have a good night, Yuki. Like, Yuki Alley. Yuki Ai. Those, those, eyes. Eyes. those are both yeah. eyes, yes. Have a good one. I'd be down for a mid-month mega games gigaboots love marathon. <laughs> I think Vox might sue. I don't know. <laughs> That's her bit. No. Can't say those words together anymore. Oh, no. She owns them. That's rough. That is. Man, it is uh, not easy to hit that area. Because there are branches up here. Oh, he needs the branches off the wires. Gotcha. Yeah, so I can restore power to the satellite dish. Oh my god, Tony Hawk. <laughs> I was holding Y to grind and then it went hard to the right instead of grinding along the thing I was lined up with. Now, Mr. Yakuma, I cannot answer the question of favorite Skyrim mod. I've never used a Skyrim mod. <laughs> so, that's not for me. I feel like but Jim Ratgazer would have a, an answer to that. Probably involved boobs. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, probably. It'd be weird if it didn't. It would. There we go. Nice. Last two seconds. TV time! And I was like, Gex? Is that, is that you? I've escaped! <laughs> and then that's when I just shoot him repeatedly with a gun. <laughs> You were never meant to escape. <laughs> so, okay. As I recall... <laughs> that, 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 right, that's what it is. Jesus Christ! <laughs> is he shot to death? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, what's that iconic line from Rich Evans? <laughs> Rich Evans is known for his iconic one-liner of... Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, seal the back to the Phantom Zone. <laughs> Mod total is 149. I think someone was. I, I, I think it was Flight Knuck saying earlier it was his was 490 or something. It was like, good lord. Oh, that wasn't the gap. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, shoes. God. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about being able to make that jump. 445, okay. Thank you for confirming. Uh, clarifying, rather. <laughs> yep, no, no. What about diagonally to the right? <laughs> Chad Muska sinks into the earth. 
He's like, I guess this is my destiny. Yeah. This one is like one of the worst in the game. Okay, so it's the blue one. Where does it fucking want me to jump to? Oh, well, heal flip it. Maybe all the way over it. Can you do a, like a spine trasher over it? Over this, a thing with a ramp on one side. Oh, and I nothing. thought they just said to do that over the uh, the the trailer. Yeah, this. Oh, this. that's the trailer. That, yeah, that. I thought it was a much smaller thing to your left or rather down behind you, because there's like a smaller blue building behind the red one to the right. That? Yeah. I don't think it's that one. I think it is. This? No, you would have seen the street in that shot. Yeah. Yeah, okay. instead of just dirt in the side of the thing. Just, I never know. Just got here. What song's playing? Uh, "Awake to Love" by Mona Lisa, the Vocaloid in um, Phantom Crash, a game we played earlier. Very iconic Xbox game that no one has heard of. <laughs> yes. God help us all if I make a video on it. No, everyone will give a shit, and then no one will be able to get it. Tragedy strike. I have good night, Cell Diamond. I love that every landing is on his deck. Yeah, no, he perfectly lines that up. He's powerful like that. Yeah, I don't know why Chad perfectly lines that up. That's just how it works. <laughs> Man! Okay. You know what? We're gonna get a good score and then just leave. Fair. This, uh, sometimes you can, I, I honestly, I skip this level. <laughs> Most of the time, because you can. You huh. can get enough stuff and everything else and beat the game without doing this. Can you grab the back of cars in this one? I think sketching is invented in the next one. Okay, that's what I figured. Because they have all those great missions involving it. They sure do. That's right, Dan. Dan, do you know if uh, the lip grip, grip, lip grab glitch is in Tony Hawk 1 2 remake? I do not. And I'm not sure which glitch you're speaking of. I'm going to go catch this wall. I fall asleep in my office chair twice. Have a fantastic night. Have a good night, Polite Connect. Pl 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 right? Take it easy. Well, it's time to blow through the rest of this game. Oh yeah, the Tony Hawk remakes are really good, uh, Shop Bang. Like, they are immaculate. They got a lot of good features in after launch even. And if you have the PS5 or Xbox Series, look, they, they run real nice. They always run at 60, but that gets us at the 120, which is crazy. Yeah, it looks real good. We better hurry. I remember the airport. It's really just that last level. I'm like, what the heck is up with this place? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because Dan always skips it. I try. Really not good. Let's see. Avoided it on PC because of Epic, but that I forgot about. I have PS5 now. Yeah, yeah. If you have PS5, go buy them. It is 100% worth it. Those are great games. <laughs> it kills my shout. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that'll be hilarious. I hope you enjoy some moody skateboarding, everyone. Right? I'm skateboarding in the future. It's my grim. Parents, my parents are dead. <laughs> is is his mom implied to have died, or does she just not get mentioned at all? I don't know. I don't huh. I, I, I genuinely have no idea. Thanks, Gate Buddy. I'm glad you beat the shit out of me for hand delivering your ticket. <laughs> yeah, man, that, that that game. That game. Yeah. Man, that game. Yeah, I even vividly remember remember the goal of getting the flags. It, <laughs> it really is just that other level. <laughs> it's that level, I think. Yeah, we'll that see. one sucks. 
sucks real bad. This is the one that has that secret level up on a boat, right? Yes. Okay. And the Xbox version is supposed to have another secret level on top of that. Oh, thanks for subscribing, Viz Paradox 13. Just enjoy watching you guys keep it up, but don't overwork yourselves. We'll try. Yeah, right? We'll try. Look, most of the overworking now is they have to for a house. Yeah, that's true. This almost became the Knack Death Stream. That's right, KZ. Kickflip over the enemy leader's head to stop the war. That's how it works. You know, that would that has a much better chance of working than what you do. <laughs> yeah, he might get moved by my awesome skate skills. <laughs> it's like, oh man. You know, I wasn't sure about these guys, but they can they can skate. They can skate just like we skate. <laughs> and then the Helgen crew, uh, which is really just the the evil skaters from uh, Paul Blart. Uh, <laughs> salute you and the war ends. Uh, we're using the S controller. So, you know, the one designed for human hands. Yeah, the good one. This all has bad what, black and white buttons. Yep. Everything's so scary. Do a melon on that tank. Now boarding coach. Okay, so now we're gonna beat up the burglars. Bye. They skate as well as we can. And that's how BAM <laughs> Wait, that, that's how racism is ended in Detroit you can't Detroit become human. Yes. Definitely I'm back. You're right. Okay, so that was cool. The Tony Hawk version has BAM's crew give, being given the neighborhood neighboring city. Jesus. How Okay, bye. There we go. Eh. David Cage wishes he could be emotionally is emotionally deep as a Tony Hawk game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I uh messed this KZ the screen cap of this is uh the notifications I wake up to. And it was just two different houses saying no. One of them was no, the other one was uh someone else is applying, but you're free to apply as well, but we think we're going with them. Oh my god. I called this number and I'm like, God. I think housing suck. Yeah. Eric Sparrow becomes homeless and you let him move into your room for some reason. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> really rough. He the, takes that, half of your house. He takes that. He don't. God. He doesn't pay you. No. Of course no, not. No, he just gets half of your house. Yeah, I remember as a kid thinking the open bathroom thing was really weird, but since I'd never flown on a plane, I'm serious. Since I never thought I, since I'd never flown on a plane, part of me went, maybe it's just like that. <laughs> it's fucking weird as hell, but. Is there just the bathroom with no doors yeah, on it? Yeah, you skate this? in and out. That's where the first burglars were. Weird. Oh. Our skateboarding is very serious now. <laughs> Wom -wom. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Sparrow immediately kills everyone in your family. This is... <laughs> I'm about to just make this movie. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds on point for him. That sounds more reasonable than what happened in Hill Zone. That's true. I believe Eric Sparrow would do that. That man's a psychopath. <laughs> yes. Do you think do you think we can get that voice actor to reprise his role as Eric Sparrow in our movie version of this? Maybe. I'm trying to think what he's doing now. Oh wait, he's he's Ben Diskin. Yeah, he's too big. I'm sorry. Ah. I was for a second I thought that he was the Days Gone guy. I was like, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, Ben Diskin I think would get it. <laughs> Just the chat. Is, is he more of a psychopath than Deacon St. John? Whoa. Uh, Eric Sparrow? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with yes. How about you, Bob? I don't know. The most of that game is literally that guy 
Uh, losing his mind. Dailing out a radio. So Eric, Eric Sparrow stole VHS footage of you doing a sick trick and then tried to tell everyone he was you. You are a blue giant. Uh, <laughs> look, Eric Sparrow is a sociopath. <laughs> uh, Deacon Day's gone as a psychopath. <laughs> this is different. Okay. I, I don't know, man. He started the game and said <laughs> there was no progression. I know. <laughs> Dude's got problems. How many pod lawyers do we need to hire Days Godman? <laughs> <laughs> Hooked grind around the baggage claim. Okay. This is a a reference I don't get, but maybe someone else will. Eric Barrow is the same level as Louie from Pikmin. <laughs> I'm shocked that wasn't you, Shark. Uh, right? I was like a. This sounds like something they would say, but here we are with one back. You sharks alt account. <laughs> We're on to you. <laughs> no one has played Pikmin Bob. No one can confirm. <laughs> yeah, right, Casey. Why is it serious music for Pro Skater? <laughs> uh, Skating serious. Yeah, scary music is very serious. We also don't want to get, uh, you know, demonetized. Yeah. Don't want those DMCA's. And <laughs> it's really funny because it happened to have the Killzone Shadowfall soundtrack. Yeah, I got it for a video project. Uh, I ended up using it for our intro, but uh, video project never happened. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't played Pikmin, but. <laughs> I do see meme memes on their subreddit about Louie uh, being unhinged. <laughs> okay. Look, they need jokes too, even <laughs> if they're just pretending their game exists and there are no jokes for Pikmin. <laughs> Guess that game isn't real and it never should. I don't know. I think this is this is actually funnier than having Steve Gunner play. I think. <laughs> yeah, this is insane. And you had, with Steve Gunner, you never know when things are going to edge into just yeah. This is like this music. is from the Beatles. Right. Like oh well, I'm fucked. Right. I don't, I don't know. What, what are you I supposed to do? I genuinely don't know. Crooked slide. Isn't there some menu that tells you? Nope. Not in, not in three. Look <sighs> at this. Grab, flip, flip, special. We like, try it. It'd try be cool everything. if it said, you know, here's the crooked grind. Do that. Is it left, right, maybe? Bob. It's a normal grind, so it's not left right. Okay. I thought there was some weird thing where Oh there you go. Oh my shoot. god. Is that up and right twice? You sickos? Okay, just keep doing this until it gives you credit. <laughs> Pick the one made my brain worm scream in pain and I never touched it again. Oh, okay. Wow. I came out on skate. Wow. Yeah, cool. the bathroom. Oh, how weird. That's why I subscribed despite never playing Pikmin game. I guess that they have good memes over on Reddit. <laughs> like, oh, this must be hilarious. You know, this half of what Agro relies on to be a very funny person. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm going to make an obscure reference and someone somewhere will just assume I'm funny. Yes. <laughs> That's how it works. And then, and then you know, he does it in a video that involves someone's brother who's the master of thing he is referencing. <laughs> and then they blow his ass out for having none of his shit straight. <laughs> and, uh, I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't, I didn't know all these wow jokes don't land at all. Uh, Agro's an idiot. <laughs> I will be right back. Mr. Thor, please report to the white courtesy phone. This is so moody. Escape run could mean life or death. Okay. 
thought I was pretty close with that score. I love the stereotypical Hollywood sound for the trailer. Oh, that was that was close. I should have bailed that honestly. Up, oh, up. Oh. We're just gonna do one of these and one of those, and hey, we're done here. Okay, goodbye. There we go. Yeah, he always tries to soften his fall by landing on his neck. It's very smart, actually. So this should unlock two levels. I feel like getting the stat points here is better than actually getting a gold, because... Well, then again, I guess if we want to play the secret Xbox level, we probably should get a gold. Oh, it's a deck. It's always so weird that you collect decks in this one. I don't I don't think you do that in any of the others. Uh was that all the stat points? I love being able to turn the completely 90 degree angle back there. It's real good. No, see, the neck is cushy, right? So it cushions his, flaw, his fall. It just makes sense. God, I hate that they put the revert on the same, same button as spin this man. So I don't, I don't ever use the buttons to spin my dude. I will use the D-pad. Thank you. Okay, that's good enough. End the competition. Alright, look at that. Wow, first place. Wow, that's super cool. Thank you. Look at look at both these levels. I accidentally told it I did not want to use my stats. There. Uh eh, eh. cool. <laughs> You know, it's always hard to choose, like, I think it was really this most recent time I played through Tony Hawk 4 that I realized, like, wow, Tony Hawk 4 is a pretty inexcusable game just made for psychopaths who got too good at Tony Hawk because they love it so much. Like, it's not designed for normal humans, and it's kind of fucked up that it exists the way it does. But, and like, the goals are so malicious, and a, a lot of them start to get into that underground territory where it's like, this isn't even skating. This isn't even remotely skating. But I don't know, it's nice. It's nice to have one of these classic Tony Hawks that sort of just beat the hell out of you. Okay, we're we're done with this run. I'm oh, not even <laughs> What makes it closer to the underground? Okay, so here's an example. You get to Alcatraz, and one of the first things you do is you... I forgot the word already, and I'm distracted by playing, but you hold on to the back of the, uh... 
one of the guys who runs Alcatraz's vehicle and you follow him as it goes up the entire thing and you have to scare away all these different groups of people while he says funny jokes. It's gifting. I don't know. My brain remembers it as that, and I'm like, no, that's like Skiffy. You're just thinking of Skiffy again. You're thinking of the war crime kitty. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, that's the first thing you do, and that's not even... It's not even remotely, like, n normal Tony Hawk gameplay, man. That sucks. Um, and that's like every level. Every level has like, between between five and ten different things that aren't, you know, normal skateboarding. Shit. Ah! How, how high was that? I know I failed a number of times. Fucked up how all the judges are one white guy. Cool. I did it. Yeah, see, whereas this game is cake simple for anyone who got really good at the, the retro Tony Hawk game. Fucked up that it's that loud and it's set for 5% and went out. Kills them soundtrack then intensely loud. Sorry guys, I played the Chad Muska video, but um, then he would. Play music. Yeah, we can't have that. So you beat Chad Muska's story? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you, you you left and it unlocked two levels and it was like, hey, do you want to just go do Tokyo and then you're done? And I'm like, yeah. 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 <laughs> I can still go back and do LA and cruise ship. LA's not that bad. I'll do LA. I'd rather do LA any day of the week than that fucking trailer park. <laughs> Skitching. Skitching is what I was trying to remember. Thank you, chat. I was talking about how Tony Hawk 4 really starts to get into that underground territory of things that aren't skating mm -hmm. as missions. Yeah. 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 Like, a lot. Let's see you tear it up. In fact, uh, I could boot that and you would see that immediately, chat, where you'd just be like, oh, yeah, this is just a lot of that. Wow. Let's see you tear it up. <laughs> that was a good read, Bob. I'm going to need uh, 37 more because you're every character in this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's reasonable. Okay, do it again. That's reasonable. Okay, and, and it again. You're really tearing it up. Thank you. Okay, we, we can ship this video game. <laughs> we got voice lines. That's all they asked for at uh, the publisher. They didn't say who had to do them. Oh yeah, Tony Hawk 1 plus 2 is a great place to get back into the series. Like yeah, it's, that's, that's much better than... Yeah, I feel like I feel like go to that. Yeah, you know? that, it's like it's the best. It's so good. It's ridiculous. Jesus. Oh, my God. You're really dead. That guy's really dead. <laughs> Holy. Can we get a woo? Uh, woo. Can I get a clap and like an air fist what? pump thing? Thank you. Okay. Now we're ready to ship our Tony Hawk game. Go, Skiffy. Jesus! <laughs> Look, Bob, it's just the LA cops. When are we doing the Tony Hawk first air one, two stream where Dan grinds to level 100? That is a good question. That probably should be a stream. That probably should be. That already was a stream, technically. Yes, but now, now we can do it for real. Yes, this time will be different. I'm not sure that people really want to hang out for that. And oh well, I can scream it. You killed that man, Chad Muska. How could you? No, it's oh. fine. He he stopped the cops and everything resolved it. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess it's not fine. Okay, let's do free balling in the secret tape. Next. Oops. 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 Did he platinum one too? Because he could stream that. that. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I'm back. Yeah, you have to get level 100 in order to platinum it. And uh, me grinding to 100 is going to be ludicrously um, stupid. Yes. Not not in a funny haha -ha way. In a this is grueling sort of sort of way. <laughs> um, but I've done every other trophy. 
Except for that and get all the gaps. And, you know. Oh. Yeah. But really, though, you know, now that I'm listening to this Killzone Shadowfall soundtrack, we should just be streaming uh, our way through uh, Killzone 2. <laughs> That's, where else are people going to get that content? We do need to do that eventually. As in, like, Sunday, right? <laughs> Hi, Caliban. This is a joke. I'm going to be on that show. Yeah, it's true. You got to be, be on, on the Vox, show. The Vox Off show. Every time I do this as a new skater, I think, what if they moved it this time? Because they move so much. Right. It would be really messed up if they did that, though. Okay, there's one, and then there's two. There we go. What does that even leave? Varial, ki varial kickflip the tower's... Tower rails gap? I don't even know what that is. Man. So do you remember the weird message you have to do to grind to level 100? Yeah, it's you put on a double score modifier, and then all these other modifiers, and, and then you just do a special trick for 10 seconds, and then you restart it. Oh, that's it. Okay, so which one is... I missed... Uh, I feel like I missed out. I never played any of the killing or resistance games. I assume you mean kill zone. The, the phone just, you know... Yeah, it's like... It had its own ideas. Um... Yeah. Oh God, it's like... It's like cat dog, but it's just two bannies. Oof. Oh, you haven't been seeing that? That's been all day. Of course. It's delightful. I don't know what your problem is. Yeah, we still need to play Resistance 3. We've never done that one. Yeah, so we we really just need to do a Resistance playthrough, like the whole damn thing. Yeah, we do. And then we do the thing we do for themed months, where we just go, and here's the portable one. We reserve the right to bail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it could push. be really good, or it could be a nightmare. Yeah, there are two portable ones. The one's probably going to be really bad, but it might uh, only be Vita, like two hours. The Vita one's supposed to be a nightmare. Yeah, absolutely. I don't even know how playable that would be on the Vita TV. Oh, right. There so is some touch screen out. stuff. Yeah. I think back it's touch stuff, even. I want to say those are mini games that makes you play, so it should be something more doable, but I don't know. I don't think so. This, uh, for people not not noticing, you know, may be hard to notice. This sucks. Because they put these ramps, like, in a really awkward spot, and the incline on these are so insane that you're... You just decelerate completely. So what are you supposed to do here? I'm supposed to grind up one of these, do a varial kickflip. Oh! Yeah, and you see how much m momentum I lose there. Yeah, if it was just these upper ones, they would be cake. Did you play Blinks? No, we did not play Blinks on the stream. Oh. Oh, it is the upper one. <laughs> Cover shot. Got it. Cover shot. Well, have a good night, Miss Yakumo. Have a good night, Yakumo. Yeah, we didn't play Blinks this time. I feel like the next time we we do one of these, we'll probably play Blinks and Outrun 2. At very least, I, I'm not sure what else we'll play, but those are definitely. Maybe on the we'll list. get Red Ninja. Yeah, that would be nice. Have our weird, uh, Tenchu like. <laughs> I assume Fatal Shadow never came to the um to the Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just PS2. Astro's Let's banny was a tentacle instead of a set of legs. Yep, that's been in chat too. <laughs> Bob's like, I, I shouldn't have signed up for this. This, this banny emote was a mistake. And I'm like, okay, well, how about this other one? I have an idea. Oh, no! Cover shot. I'm going to be honest. I think it took until this time for me to understand what he was saying there. That's fair. Jet set for future? Maybe. Now, I know neither of us are a huge fan of the series, but... but why not give it another chance? Right. Hey! Hey! Come on, man. 
Hey. Kills on soundtrack. Very much reflecting my interstate. Right. Very tragic here. Yuck. Yuck. There we go. So you bust something up. <laughs> huh? What you got? He moves a week. Let's see. <laughs> he said as he watches events smash glass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Come on, man. What you what got? What are you, chicken? <laughs> you, you're just bleeding. Buck, buck, buck. <laughs> Like, I don't. I feel like you can have, flip the yeah, kingston. You can, you can flip the kingston. It's a thing you could do. <laughs> God, I have one one goal left in suburbia. <laughs> uh. Hyping me up, but instead creating a fe feeling of unease and deep thought. <laughs> Yeah, is that not how Tony or Tony Hawk's supposed to make you feel? That's how I feel when I play Tony Hawk. Trying to remember where the various weird. This environment has the largest collection of just weird ways to do things in it of anything in this whole game. Yeah, I remember it was a nightmare when we got here last time. It was like, why? I'm like, oh boy. I can't really make out what the heck that head of Vanny is there, Saver. The tails? Okay, it's tails. Got it. Yeah, it's derpy tail. See all the never soft employees are hot ladies. Oh yeah, is is that how that works? Do they like graft their faces onto them? Uh, no, of course not. It's just never soft. It's oh, just never okay. soft employees that are ladies. Okay. And they wear shades and have their under tit hanging out. The yeah. never soft boost babes. I see. Yes. Whoa, there's two of her. <laughs> Twins. This is just that uh, cruise ship that they covered on uh, Internet Historian. Yeah, the Internet Historian. <laughs> yes. I don't know. That guy sounded pretty fluent. That's true. Sounded like he understood English. Hey. Hey. You got one. I did one thing. I did a thing. What a rough level. Oh, man. Okay. We got this. Who needs manuals? Not me, apparently. I should watch that video again. Good video. Just watch it for the ad, though. Skip everything else. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that chopper didn't murder me, but, uh... God. God. Oh, no. God, that yeah. God, that sucks. It's also cruel to have a foil in a Tony Hawk game this fall. Uh, you can empty it. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> Casey says, honestly, yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just... There's sometimes things in Tony Hawk games, especially three and four. Especially four. Um... Would they really want you to figure out this really bizarre way they can connect a gap? <laughs> They're like, yeah, that floating item, get it. And you're like, H how? <laughs> well, obviously you jump off holding up at this degree of this angle and, and yeah. 
I'm I'm very smart actually. That's why yeah. I can get it and you can't. And you're like, oh, that's why you make the money and I'm just a guy who paid you fifty dollars to get shit on. Yes. Yes. I, I really appreciate the uh, upgrade of being able to get off your skateboard in underground. The fact we never got a uh, classic style Tony Hawk that did that is a real shame. Yeah, no, it's weird. The closest we get is the uh, Tony Hawk Underground 2 uh, classic mode. Oh, yeah, that did happen. Yeah, I mean, that's the part of that game that's tolerable. Something tells me mm -hmm. this is not going to work out. What, what makes you think? You don't think I can find that last Oh, there it is. Get it. I oh, was the no. But no. That's terrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> One moment. Okay, there's trash in the museum. Let's focus on that. Uh, Caliban, if you have a fat model PS2, you could just, um... I can't remember how to open that. Sure. Um, you could just use the, uh, internal hard drive thing, get an adapter, use serial ATA, and then... Rip your games to your um to your hard drive, you know. Yeah, that's that's a thing you can do. God knows, uh, we've hit a few games that have problems with the uh, laser on multiple different consoles. Like yeah. that's why we replaced our uh, GameCube uh, drive with a uh, SD card reader because Wave Race wouldn't play, and that made me furious. Yeah, that's fair. It's like I've been trying to do this, giving games a chance forever. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> Are we? Luckily, the the, the uh, optical drive still works fine on, so I can actually play Wave Race on that. That didn't change the fact I was fucking angry. Yeah, it's a pretty simple procedure. Um, you just need to find something that is a serial ATA adapter for the PS2. Okay, let's just skate to the top of this normally and then skate down to get the S. Instead of the insane, insane stupid bullshit I did last time. Okay. Come on. That was oh. <laughs> I thought the S was between that part and the ground. No, it's just above it. Sorry, Dan. Oh, God. Oh, no. Yes, I everyone's very Kate. excited for Kate. I'm, I'm not. This will be yet another run where I got nothing. Jesus. Uh, I put the manual thing, but it uh, didn't get it in time. You hate to see it. I'm taking drill to my head. I did replace the disk drive on my old Birkin GameCube with one that works so I can do HDMI. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, I really like that the GameCube hey, has a good it. HDMI solution that doesn't require a custom yeah. mod that actually isn't worth it. Like the Wii. Yeah. Because as much as I'm kind of kind of negative on this, you know, where I'm like, yeah, just get component, use an OSSC, right? Mm. I'm way more negative on the Wii hey. HDMI. Uh, Bob from Retro RGB did a disgusting hype man job for that, and it does not earn it. Like, that that, that HDMI does not look so much better than the component to justify the hundreds of dollars you have to spend to get it. Right. That's unreasonable. I finally spelled skate, Bob. Are you proud? Yes. Good. So good. Oh, no! That's not fine. murder. This is, this is what the game demanded I do. This is how I'd be a skater, okay? Bloody hell! Where did that come from? I do not recall that man being British in the original PS2 release. They must have changed his voice because they thought it was funny. I'm like, was is that supposed to be someone in particular, or are you just 
I, I assume that's a model of a guy at Neversaw. Probably. Yeah, that man is very dead. Nah, he's fine. The, the water cushioned this fall. <laughs> you can't die from falling on water, Bob. It's soft. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. 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 Okay, one second. View goal list. Lent slide and awning. You know what? That's... I don't... I almost referenced content that didn't come out. Oh no! That yeah. happens a lot. Yeah, no. We there's... recorded over a month in advance. It's we, uh, we... pretty fucking nuts, actually. Right, we did that, and then it's like, oh, well, this, this content got pushed even further because we're doing content we haven't recorded yet that needs to come out first. Yep. So it's... It's all sorts of a mess. It, it's the most ridiculous the shit has ever been. It's like, don't talk about anything. Sorry. Content? What content? I'm not sure where the where the tape is. <laughs> I don't. Does it even show you if you do that little hints thing? Does it give you any sort of idea? Do you guys have any pre-COVID content? You mean in the podcast buffer? Of course not. Jesus. Jesus. That would have been 14 months. Yeah. No. We're not that crazy. Yeah. Death. <laughs> yeah. Man, I cannot believe I can't find the valve for that thing. There's there's a super obvious valve that you break in order to shoot the water out of the pool. To drain it. Yeah, right. I don't I don't know where it is, though. So. Oh hey, it's the song from the intro to the spoiler cast. Great. What a song. It's pretty good when, you, when you're blasting on some headphones. <laughs> yeah, no, the music was surprisingly good on, in that one. Yeah. I'm not even sure which part this plays during. I, if I were to guess, though, it's the boss fight that's hilarious. <laughs> Feels like it would be during the credits, but maybe not. I, you said 14 months pre-COVID, and I turned to dust. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That was the blue thing on the wall? Is that... Are you talking about the valve? To open up the pool? <laughs> blue thing on the wall is pretty non-specific at a level with blue <laughs> lining everywhere. Right. Is it high, medium, or low? Is it in the cake area? <laughs> Not in the cake area. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like this song's too upbeat. <laughs> For credits? Yeah. You know? Maybe. Trying to remember the credits because there are two credits, right? Things in that, and oh man. <sighs> Bob's like these alien bastards are gonna pay for making me grind these lines. <laughs> Damn it! No, you're trying to trick me. <laughs> Not enough for a six core, though. No, never enough. You're never sick enough, Chad. Chad, Chad, eat this raw chicken. Then no. you'll be sick. No, I don't Do want it. to. Do it. Okay. Then Bam will let you on his team. I hate that the Neversoft babes 
literally knock you off your skateboard. That's insane, yeah. It's really fucking annoying. I guess they're just like, no, they're never soft. They're powerful. Yeah, they're never soft. They're always hard. That's the joke. Yeah, it is. God. You know, I'm pretty optimistic about the uh, vaccines and stuff. Uh-huh. So I I assume we're going to start seeing some drastic improvement. Because, you know. Yeah. They, they are functional. Right. What a bad joke. Yeah, and yet it c clearly can't be as bad as the fucking uh, bungee joke because those guys would never tell him. Right. So, clearly, those people, those people are the most fucked up puppies. There we go. Yeah, that's all you wanted, right? You didn't want to impress any never lot. No. Never soft girls. Hey, man, I just, I'm happy to get those three done and then look at again. Are we sure there's another level after this? Mm-hmm. Okay. I've seen pictures. Okay. Probably find us around fall or winter. If it was any luck. Oh. Baydog has first shot Wednesday. I still don't find so far. It's so fucking. Yeah, I hear that if you get side effects, it's like really immediate. So I assume you'll be fine until the next shot. Or it's sudden. Yeah. It's not immediate. Those are two yes. different things. There's a delay. Right. But it hits you fast, <laughs> and then it leaves you. <laughs> that was blunt. Vinegar Ultimax is a... I, I, it's probably bad that my sleep schedule is back to being awake this late. But at least I can watch the streams again. Yeah, I guess that's the positive, right? Right. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see if we can't. Oh, yeah, she's banging. We definitely have the same problem around this area. Nobody seems to think that the disease is real. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, most, most of our bars and stores and everything have people wandering around, around without masks. Yeah. Or a wound. Dr. Wowie. Ah! Not that. If that's the blue thing you were talking about in chat earlier. This the awning. Gotta be that. Well, that's up to the awning. So I guess I need to go up, do it. You have just one, right? Let do me see. The do the Chad trick. Be a Chad. Do the <laughs> Chad trick. Dude, where do you want me? Do you have to do it between the two awnings? Nope, didn't count it. Huh. Because it's a grind. You're right. It's not. Are there more awnings? But is that. <laughs> do the neck trick. <laughs> you know the one. The one where you land on your neck. No, that's not the right one. Do it again. What is he? What? what? So, what? Are you, are you, is it the right kind of grind? Mm -hmm. That's a blunt slide. Oh, nose blunt slide. Okay. What if it's on the edge of the ship? <laughs> the uh, the valve to release the water. Yeah. Hmm. 
Might be. Oh, good. You're still going. I was worried you'd run out of original Xbox games. Oh, no. Don't worry about that, though. Please. We're now playing Tony Hawk. Yep. I mean, I have a stack of Tony Hawk on the table in front of me. Can go into infinity. Well, we beat the good ones. So let's play Thug 2. <laughs> <laughs> Nose blunt slide. I only know about neck blunt slide. <laughs> <laughs> Is that sound good? Ugh. Is that... I don't know that his neck should be making that sound. Is his tongue supposed to be outside of his head? Is in yeah, he's sticking his tongue out at you. Are you sure? <laughs> How are they so strong? Why do these babes keep beating me up? <laughs> Slow down, babes. And what if this doesn't even have anything to do with unlocking the uh, next stage? It's just, oh, there's some I mean, weird parameters for that. I think there's a Neversoft lady up there. Like, next to the pool. So that would make my life a lot easier. Okay. So are we beating all of Thug tonight? S saver? Fuck. Yeah, I don't think so. Thug's probably shorter than Tony Hawk for Skater 4, which is a little insane. Right? I think that the valve at the pipe on the top back of the ship near the big red tower. Okay. He seems uncertain though, so we don't need to ban him if he's wrong. Uh, uh, it's like four hours at most. Yeah. Cover shot. Oh yeah, we should we should try out Metal Gear Solid on the Xbox at some point. Solid two? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I just, I've never seen it on an Xbox. It'd be interesting to see the difference. Because so you always hear the, the, the rain part runs terribly. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it. Okay, here we go. Back here. Gas Emerald just saw how to drain the pool. Hmm. There's a rail near the front of the pool. Huh. Let me. Uh oh. Okay, so here we go. Here's the pool. Trying to find this thing? This blue thing? Doesn't have anything on it. The other side. How's that deck taste? Very small rail near the big red bit. Oh, is it just the little... That weird room? shelf behind it? Oh, oh yeah, wait, that's wait, 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 yeah. wait. No, yeah. it's that. Yep. Fuck. Man, yeah, it really they blends in there. Probably should have had a color. Also, that was not blue. No. Spent most of this time looking for a blue thing. Uh, I don't think they... He has the one who said it was blue. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> Guess I'll die. She's like, cool, now land it. <laughs> then it cuts to your funeral, and she's like, nice. I'm impressed. <laughs> and that's what it takes to impress women, man. <laughs> Killing yourself with sick tricks by landing on your neck. Okay. And then getting buried. I don't know. It's the I'm only not, time they'll be impressed. I'm not too impressed. The the uh, the whole coffin like flips over. Oh, I'm now oh, impressed. Oh, it just starts clapping. <laughs> Like one of those monkeys with the symbol. <laughs> oh, I figured it'd be the regular Tony Hawk. Three claps, fist pump. I mean, that's that's always good. <laughs> yeah, keep it up. <laughs> Women love the neck trick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Women love this one trick that hate men because it or that men hate because it kills them. <laughs> 
It kills me when I do that trick. Okay, so that's four of the seven. Here's number five. Mm -hmm. She likes my beats. Luckily, it's an easy job. Oh, she wants 5,000. God, I bet she wants the next trick too. There we go. Okay, we got her. Okay. Now what we got left? Go uphill. I'm begging you. Okay, there's got to be at least one up here. There she is. Okay. Oh, oh no. The fucking thing right above my head just bopping me back down. Right. Yeah, Women want one thing, it's the next trick. <laughs> <laughs> And now I need to find out where the last Never Soft Girl was. Did it actually count her? I didn't see it that time. Yeah, it did. Okay. It counted every every single one of them I've seen, which is a problem. I thought there was somebody in the greenhouse. Yeah, I'm about to check it as I wiggle my way down to hell. <laughs> yeah, yep, there, there she is. is. This is the only other place on the boat I could even think of at that <laughs> point. There we go. We did it. Now the secret tape, which seems fucking impossible. It's somewhere that has to be on the top level of the ship. Yeah, no, because... I've, I've tried jumping at it several okay, times so you, already. You... It's just an unbelievably hard jump. Jesus. Yeah, it's a ramp that's up there. Women only want one thing. Sick melons. <laughs> that's right. Fucking hard agree. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jim Rackazer would see eye to eye with them on that. He too loves sick melons. Eh. Nope. Alright, have a good night. Look. Lala's in verse? Yes. I see La Zanya. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. There's no G's anywhere in that. Yeah, no. It's uh, inventive. Deep scarring from Garfield. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a good way to phrase it. Oh. Lala works, Lala. Okay. No need to come up with a lasagna themed name. Oh, don't worry. Bob will find a way to mess that up too. <laughs> That's true. Lola. Have a good one, Lala. Good usage of stream timers. Hey. Yeah, how long People are up? curious. Oh, wow. I'm... It is eight and a half hours. No! We'll so, just do a short little stream with some Xbox. Yeah. yeah. It's not 20 hours. It's short. There you go. Very casual Xbox stream of eight and a half hours. God, how did you get up? I guess you just have to keep yeah, going back and forth and have eventually. To... But that's the thing. I never built up enough momentum. Oh my there God. There you go. There we go. I fucking did it. Yeah. You did all the goals, man. Yeah. And then I fell to hell. Okay. No, that's not true, Bob. I did all the goals here. That's true. The trouble comes in that 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 one that one specific goal in suburbia is that really all that's left? That's all that's left. Oh my god! This music is really confusing me. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that again. One second. Yeah, dirt mound, half pipe, dirt mound thing, rope. So it's not that one. Yeah, yeah, this is the, uh, the one with the dirt mound. It's the nightmare one. Are you, maybe you just have to take the dirt mound over it? Like, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay. Was that even what you meant? No, I meant using that thing. And like going over the wrong direction. <laughs> Oil so there's rig. our uh, Xbox exclusive level oil rig. Cool. That means. Don't we have to skip this? I guess since we have music turned off, it doesn't play music over the credits. Okay. That's weird.
This is an Xbox exclusive. What's up? It's an Xbox exclusive. This isn't actually. Oh, right. I've right. seen this on PS2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. This this is too jackassery. I don't I don't need that in my life. Okay, uh, is everyone excited for oil rig? Eerily silent employee wipeouts? Yeah, there's a reason they play music over it. Wait. Where is it? Where is it? Let's save. Even though I think I just did. And quit. They didn't program it correctly to be selectable from in the actual game. You have to come out to this menu. That's nuts. Yeah. Pretty fucking bad. Yeah, why wouldn't you be excited for oil rig? I bet it won't have any goals. It'll be like, let's get heaven. I'm thinking it's not even in here and I have to... Yeah, I have to go to a different mode. What the heck? Did, where'd they put it? They single put session? it in like single session and multiplayer and all that. Okay. Expectations are high. <laughs> have you ever seen this place? Uh, in pictures. Okay. I think I may have seen it in a video once. Yeah, no. No goals or anything. Just, hey, you can get here. I mean, this looks kind of neat. Kind of reminds me of the tanker level. Yes, and that's... I think during the last time we did a stream where we did that, I was like, this kind of reminds me of that secret Tony Hawk level that's only in the Xbox version. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, big Wait, shell. I can land down here? Wow, this area is huge. No wonder it was this running kind of bad. This is kind of stupid. <laughs> but look at all they can do with the power of the Xbox. I can just go between two half pipes down here, whoa. See, we should really do horse here to see how it's horse. Oh, they have valves you can bust. Oh, wait. So is there a goal list? Is it hiding? No. Okay. But I bet it does something special. Probably. I don't know that anyone's ever posted exactly what happens if you get them all. I feel like someone has to. Uh, but it wow. is a weird, rare version of the game. Yeah, and you would have to complete it 100% in order to see that. And dude, you remember that Ape Escape Racer and how we're the only people on the internet who apparently unlocked multiple vehicles? Yes, but that's a, a game that never came to America. It's a little different. This is a re-release of the PS2 Tony Hawk games. I feel like reviewers barely gave it the time of day. Or they're just like, yeah, it's fine. I wonder if Gershman talked about this in his review of it. Huh. Because I'm sure he was the reviewer for Tony Hawk. Right, that would that would make sense. There's so much going on in the song. Yeah, great. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> ah. oh, okay. He was trying to stop, man. He was trying. <laughs> he was trying so hard. I can't. Okay. Here, I I I just need to like I just need to do a game of horse to see where it sticks sure. us and see if it's thought out at all. You have a second controller? Yeah, and the, okay. the controller box yes. thing. Man, they redid this level for American Wasteland. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I actually got the 360 version of American Wasteland on its way. Uh, I've never owned that version before. I realized it's really stupid that I don't own that version. Uh, that makes zero sense. I have every Tony Hawk game, basically, so why wouldn't I? I'm gonna go ahead and skip this one, too. What is that sound? That was that was the kills of Shadowfall spoiler cast, or as it likes to call it, music. I wonder how much attention GTA got on Xbox with how much better looking it is on over there. Uh, but it took a full year or more to come over to Xbox, did it? Which GTA? I thought San Andreas was simultaneous.
Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the game we keep sticking in the Xbox to make sure if the disk drive sticks in, we lose nothing of value. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because bubble wrap. For people who don't know, a very kind viewer sent us these Xbox controllers to play Xbox with. Which is good, because we had no Xbox controllers. Right. Very spooky. I should probably end it after after this. Probably. Yeah. It's pretty late. I got to show up for an open house that was probably canceled because they already rented the house to someone and they didn't notify anyone. <laughs> Great. I love real estate. Yeah. I love real estate. All right. Here we go. <laughs> you want me to unravel it for you? What are you, baby? Wait, there's two of these on there? Jesus. I was like, he seemed really confident that that first one worked. I'm, I'm sure he's about to get punked by a second one, but let's wait for it. Uh, it was nearly a year in between PS2 and Xbox. Uh, San Andreas was October 2004. I didn't realize that was 2004. I thought that was an 05 game. Uh, and Xbox was June 7th, 2005. Did they port any of the older ones to it? Uh, I think Vice City is on it. Okay. I don't know if 3 is. I'm sure Vice City is. I wonder how the system link would work. Uh, sure, I'll take Chad Musk. Good luck, Bob. The burn's not in this one. Whoa, his face. What? It's Steve Caballero. You'd be surprised how close that is to his face. I saw him in that documentary, and I was like, yeah, that sure is that same dude. Now, does that other dude you played is... Bucky Lasik? Yeah, does he have to boost the stats already? Yeah. Okay, we'll just use him. You mean Max Payneman? Yeah, no, this is the face, man. It's real good. Yeah, I wish I could play GTA 4 on the PS5. That would be great. Yeah. Right, we're going to the oil rig. So that document you had for like six hours to watch with the watermark on it. Yeah, they're real, they're real great. I helped them fund their documentary. They fucked me. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so obviously we're doing horse. Yeah, of course. Uh, your player too, so I'm gonna give you. There we go. <laughs> I did it. Nice. There's lots of noise there. Yeah, watch out for that. There's a Jesus. lot of noise. Oh my god, Buggy Lasik, no! <laughs> you gotta take me a second to get used to how three feels. Me too. Currently doing GTA 3 on the PS5, but then again, it's that PS2 emulated thing that Sony did with those games, so it's there are weird glitches. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> he didn't <laughs> grab it. You lost because you're dead now. <laughs> Yeah, I know. She drowned in the ocean. I feel like these starting areas don't feel great. No, it doesn't seem good yet. Probably because this level is great. They're like, we modeled an oil rig. You can skate it. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? It's like, there's a ramp somewhere, right? No. Saber says, now I'm thinking about ja the Jack games and Daxter's face coming apart in Jack 2 and 3. What? <laughs> Is that a problem with the emulation on uh, PS4? Because, oh my god. Oh no. Ah, now you're the one who dies. Okay, here we go. Slide. Hello, ladies. It's me, Chad Mosca. You know, the PS4 versions what? are pretty miserable too. The worst thing about Vice City getting re-released every five years or so is it loses more and more of an psychotic soundtrack. Yeah, that's... Mm. 
Yeah, that's, that's rough. unfortunate. Yeah, if I go back to that, I definitely just want to play the original. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Xbox version should yeah, be good. That, that should be fine. That should be the b better version of all of them to play, I think. Yeah, music licensing is a real fucking bitch. Look at me. Yeah, this sucks. Yeah. This is what I thought it would feel like, too, so I'm glad we're confirming it. It's like, land, please. <laughs> and it's like, there is nowhere to land. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's like, it's Tony Hawk 3, I can't flatland. I have to hope I can just set up these flips just right. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. The end of time. <laughs> you know, we talk about games that start a new game in a series. I know we've talked about this with KZ before. G but games that are sequel to a game you love, that kill people from the original game to give you, like, emotional baggage to come into this one with, right? Yeah, or movies. Or movies. Yeah. Um, Tony Hawk should have tried that. Bam, drown. Oh, no. Wait, we just did this one. You just wanted this one. What are we back here for? Bob, they all look the same. I think this is like that Star Fox Adventures thing. This isn't the same one. It's a mirror image. Jesus. Because, yeah, I think this is... Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! It's a really cool shirt. Dan, please stop, bro. <laughs> what? That would be hilarious. They're just like, bam, drop. Uh, could you imagine if I drank? This would be fucking weird. That would certainly explain all the liquor bottles in the fucking pantry. <laughs> They're all sitting there in there like a fifth drank. Like, hopefully this is enough. Yeah. It was a good landing, Dan. What are you laughing at? I feel like Bucky's gonna take this one, you guys. <laughs> yep, feeling pretty strongly that Bucky's gonna take this one. <laughs> oh man, you blast oh, him though. There we go, ghetto blasting. Are they still doing Jackass 4? Oh my god. So yeah, I don't know about this level. Yeah. I feel like this is real bad. Yeah, no, this seems raw. Yeah, it does. Well, I look forward to seeing this level again in Tony Hawk American Wasteland someday. Hopefully that version's revised in a way that makes it better. Right. Um, I'm going to be on Vox's show on Sunday, the Vox Off show, so if you're not subscribed to twitch.tv slash voxandra your number one source for voxandra please be sure to go do that you can hang out over there and uh enjoy the show um aside from that we don't really have any plans right i would love to get to that knack one and knack two death stream sometime but uh this month's recording schedule got incredibly insane uh and it's none of our faults this time <laughs> but maybe maybe i'll squeeze it in between this friday and next i would have thought it's saturday but we got the box off thing on Sunday. So, anyway, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Let me turn off the Xbox. That, that'll turn off the stream, right? That's how it works. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Am I going to write anyone? I don't know. Yeah, I'll see if anybody's up, I guess. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> Retro Island showed up. What? What? <laughs> hey. Retro. <laughs> I was just checking to see if you were live. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Dr. Orochi gets to inherit my wealth. <laughs> and my pirate's curse. Ah. He's playing Shadow Hearts? That'll Ooh. actually appeal to people here. They play JRPGs.
I just got home from work, says Rick. <laughs> well, okay, well, now you need to stream because I'm getting home from work and I need to watch your stream <laughs> for a couple hours and then go to sleep. And I'll be like, yeah, DOS games. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to raid Dr. Orochi since he's playing uh, Shadow Hearts, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you would all like to go over there and post some long baddies, that would be great. Uh, Make sure some dinosaurs are in there, too. <laughs> Yeah, the dinos don't get enough love. They don't. They're, that's, they're that's fair. Like one of my favorite demos, for sure. They're super great. Super swell. Anyway. You all have a great night. <laughs> Tosh, that's too close to the original song. You're going to get a oh, copyright shit. strike. Oh, no.